a posthumous national honor. The four gallant officers have been accorded the award of members of the Order of Niger, M-O-N. The 13 courageous soldiers who also lost their lives have been awarded the officers of the Federal Republic Medal. I commiserate with the families of our fallen heroes and the entire armed forces. I share in their pain and grief, the grief you carry today. It is my prayer that God will comfort all who are bereaved as a result of this tragedy. A befitting funeral. May their souls rest in peace. In the meantime, the defense headquarters has declared eight persons wanted in connection with the killing of the officers. The military authorities made the announcement in a post on X with a display of their photographs stating that they were prime suspects in the killing of the officers in Okoma community in Ugueli South local government area of the state. Well, Ruben Baru who is among the eight prime suspects connected with the killing of the soldiers in a viral video last week, accused Tom Polo of masterminding the attacks. This one, now be my last video, when I go do concerning this Okuama and Okoloba fights. Okuama and Okoloba, they get land issue. The land issue, small crisis called the day. Oh, now, nah, we be is your people. We federal government give power to the bomb bakery, to the bomb dessert, and they cook. They use the same army they escort their own, they go sell. They betray their own blood. That man, he go use the army, carry people from Okwama community. Three people where they carry, they slaughter them. Now, they know they come back to come carry community leaders. And I know very well, say, once the community leaders are captured, the youth are powerless. The action take place. Or now they make comments, say, now peacekeeping, all those army come. Point of correction, no army come for peacekeeping. They they fight in favor of Tompolo, because Tompolo have ordered them to do so. When they say, make I show my face, all these are comments, when are they comments? Now just ordinary written. Now writing on just the right. If I know if you talk through for this is my land, you know get where I go go when I go talk through when I go believe him. Now this video will be the last video when I go do. All right, Ruben Baru there. Earlier this morning, Dr. Abati, I heard you saying you were scandalized by the fact that he bears the same name as you do. But you know, as always, they are still suspects at this point, and I'm you know. Happy that at least that there's some sort of, uh, you know, investigation already taking place for our 17 gallant soldiers who lost their lives unnecessarily. Well, uh, Ruben Baru said this is the last video he will make. I hope it's not that uh, uh, he's planning to, uh, you know, commit suicide or, you know, uh, mm -hmm. end up as a fugitive. But these are persons who have been declared wanted. Now, what the law says is that if you've been declared wanted, the sensible thing to do is to hand yourself over if you have nothing to hide. Yes. And if you have any information, it's not by running away from the law. It's by, you know, going to the relevant authorities and assisting them. As I said earlier on this morning, a man is innocent until proven guilty. Okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all. My people, we're back again. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Nigeria matter, it be as it gets. So we are back here again to continue from where we stopped yesterday. I appreciate every one of you right there. I would like to quickly appreciate some of you on the comment section once again, even though I've showcased almost everybody already. Mother of all, Mommy Diaspora, good evening to you, Mommy. Thank you very much for all you do. Thank you very much, Mr. Johnson, Emmanuel, Abu Azi. Good evening to every one of you. I appreciate you, Abu Azi, for all you do. Didi Anthony, Austin Prince, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Michael uh, Okata. Thank you, Evie Jack. 
Thank you, Madam Bella Naomi. I appreciate you. Lighthouse in the building. Thank you very much. I uh, appreciate every one of you right there. A couple of you, uh, three people have supported the channel already. Uh, Adelaja Ogumbi, thank you very much. My pocket never run dry. Uh, Jekyll Obedient, thank you very much. My pocket never run dry. Jaja in the building. Thank you very much. My pocket never run dry. I appreciate you very, very much. Guys, if you are right there on the comment section, please emulate what uh, these are brothers are doing and support what we are doing here. Encourage us to do more for you. Guys, press on the like button. Help us to share. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the noti notification bell so that we can talk like this together. We have Martina Albasi TV just coming in right now. Good evening to you, madam. Thank you very much for all you do. I appreciate every one of you right there, even though I've already showcased almost everybody thank you thank you thank you i'd like us to move on okay we have mr joseph og with us we have cx with, with us we have eboka john and uh, many others uh thank you now go now go bless you now i'd like us to move on my wonderful people yes i have some couple of articles to showcase although we still have one more video to play but that video is just three minutes video for uh um Farat, uh, <laughs> Femi Farad to me. So we are going to be playing that. But before that, I'm going to post out a link right now because we only have only that three minutes video left and the articles that I'm going to showcase. For those of you that want to join us today, please click on the link and let's do this together. So the link I'm going to post right now. Uh, three, two, one, go. A link I've been posted. Click on it, join us here, and let's do this together. And God, I go bless them, my people. I'd like us to quickly take this three minutes video, then we'll take it from there. My people, now God, now go bless them. Help us to do your part. Press on the like button and take our voices far. I hope I find this video. Okay, I got it right now. They are living the lives of kings and princes, but the people themselves are deliberately impoverished. So it is not out of place to compare Nigeria to that place that was described as consuming its inhabitants because Nigeria is cannibalistic in the extreme. In recent days, you've heard the story of Okwama where the soldiers were murdered by a few and where the soldiers went back with reprisal attacks and leveled almost an entire community killing indiscriminately. Lekito Gates and the massacre that took place there in October 2020 is another good example of what we have become as a people. Earlier in the year, we were talking about Bokos in Plateau State where people were killed on Christmas Day like flies. Nigeria is the only place where you find the government talking about repentant terrorists and absorbing them into the army. Nigeria is the only place that will be as rich as it is and you see people desperately scooping hot food off boiling cauldrons, packing rice with sand. This is the country where the rulers were hiding palliatives meant for people during COVID. Everything about Nigeria is suggestive of the country that the spies entered where it consumes, it devours, those are the words, it devours, it's a land that devours its inhabitants. It is instructive that it is this same country that could not find five billion for the student loan scheme, that they are busy buying a hundred and sixty million naira jeep. They are praying billions into private accounts. You have people who should be in jail, rotting in prison cells, presiding over the affairs of the country. And you think that it is not succinct that we describe such a country as a place that devours its inhabitants. The Nigerian is busy crossing the Mediterranean Sea after surviving the Sahara and the slave markets of Libya. Where, what are they fleeing from? Because it's no, that's not migration. That's fleeing. They are fleeing what has become a functional war zone. How did we get to this point? In my youth, you could go to England without collecting visa. They will stamp your visa at the gate. It's, at the, it's right there at immigration control that they will give you. The, they will stamp your visa to enter. This is the same country today where you require millions to buy tickets and you need to queue. You see our people queuing in the rain and in the sun to get visas to go out. 
Cephas, as Cephas, West African Cephas, the Togolese currency has more weight than our Naira today. How did we get here? So it is, and if you remember this analogy that you are raising from this anecdote, this is an anecdote that goes back over 10 years. It wasn't this bad then, and it's going to get much worse. So mm -hmm. how, it, it's, uh, it's unfortunate that we are where we are, but this is where we are. And there is nothing about where we are that is suggestive of any immediate turn around anytime soon. Mm -hmm. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I am merely speaking to what I see. There is nothing about our country to encourage or, or offer any worthy aspiration. Wow, that is uh, delivered to me right there. Uh, he's saying it how it is. This is some of the things that I talk about on this platform every day, that we are hopeful that Nigeria will be better, but I'm not sure when this is going to happen. I'm only being hopeful, keeping my fingers crossed that Nigeria will be better in our time. But the way it's looking, the way the whole thing is going, is looking so bad. To be honest, it's looking bad because uh, uh, it looks like some few people who captured Nigeria are only enriching themselves at their immediate and extended family, not the citizens, you know, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It's, it's crazy. It's really crazy. Let's continue to call them out. That is the only power that I have. I can't do more than this. Call them out to do the right thing. Thank you very much, my people. That is all the videos that we have for you guys today. I'm just going to start taking my articles right now so that we can take it from here. Guys, help us to press on the like button. Do your part. Help us to share as well. And let's take it from here. I'd like to start with this article that I have right here from the bandits. Yes, as you can see right there, court forced us to, re to release 313 alleged Iswa terrorists. You know, uh, I took this one, suspect with bono government, DHQ. Okay, let me take one or two paragraphs from here quickly. The defense headquarters says the Medjugorje Division of the Federal High Court ordered the release of 313 terror, uh, terrorism suspect to the bono government. You wanna see what did they happen, right? Okay. Make one they see what did they happen for Nigeria. Where you go talk, you know, police go quick, go arrest you, right? Best way, thief, pot of soup, and fufu, a bit, uh, gari, uh, whatever that we reported a couple of days ago, is already in court on his way to jail. But now, according to this article coming from the People's Gazette, saying that court forced us to release 313 terrorist suspects to the Bonu government. Court forced us. What a country. What a country. A country where you see an individual coming out to tell the government, the federal government, to commit them so that they all will join together to go negotiate with the terrorists. A country where you see an individual comes in to tell the federal government to promise the bandage how or a better future. A country where the commoners don't have a voice, but the people that is impoverishing, impoverishing us, the people that is causing the pains that we are facing today are working freely. <laughs> yes, this is what is happening. A country where anybody, any leaders in government will be exposed, the matter will be quenched down within 24 hours. We have evidences to this. Like I've mentioned so many times on this platform, that some of the people that we've alleged or we've talked about on this platform, but after <laughs> 24 hours or a maximum, or 48 hours, we don't hear of them anymore. For example, where is better I do today? When I see here, I'm, I beg anybody did that comment session with nowhere better I do today. This is the system that we all are facing in our country. It's very disheartening. When we talk, some people say, No, you hate Sinubu. 
you hate uh, Hatiku, you hate Obaseki, you hate... This is the problem that we have. The same citizens that we all are fighting for, the same citizens that we all are advocating for, the same citizens that we all are putting our voices to rescue out of this excruciating situation, they are the ones fighting us. Yes. Now they fight us, pass. If not because that insult is totally prohibited on our platform, you would have been seeing how insult will be raining on our comment session by the citizens, the same citizens that we all are facing the same situation together. It's a big shame. A big, big shame. Go to Instagram right now. All of them are already planning how they want to scatter this weekend because of Easter. Tell me, should Easter be a priority right now in our country? A country where they kidnap people for fun. Kidnapping have become a lucrative business in our country. People are planning how they want to destroy the weekend because it's Easter. How they want a press blow blow this weekend. That is what Nigerians in Nigeria, most Nigerians in Nigeria, not to generalize, are planning right now. A country where you can just buy anybody and no case. In fact, the police or the federal government cannot even investigate it. Whereas in the United Kingdom, now cats, now cats, they revise for my 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 area where I day. Cat they reverse. He hit cats. He break a leg and the cat not die. The car insurance pay heavily for it because the cat belongs to my neighbor. Cats, cats are the talk. Not be even dog for a dog. Now the helicopter they come to rescue rescue dog. If traffic day, they will use helicopter. Find out. I'm, this, I'm not exaggerating. Helicopter to rescue dog. Go hospital. We came from a country where the same citizens that is fighting us when they are sick, they don't have money to look after themselves in the hospital. We came from a country where the same citizen that is insulting us because we are calling out our government. We are demonstrating our constitutional rights. If they are sick, they cannot fly abroad to go treat themselves. In fact, our politicians can fly with their families abroad to go treat themselves. In fact, even me, self, we're not even the, the, the government. Me, if they fly, come on for Nigeria, I go treat myself. Now, I pay this, they lie for my head that day for Nigeria, so I get. I, I call British Airways, they book me for the 20, within 12 hours for the next available flight. So quickly, come UK, my country, treat myself. You know, see, you wait, then Nigeria, where they fight me. Whether good or bad, I, 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 let's be truthful to ourselves. I have some priority more than you, or rather, I have some privileges more than you. But you are fighting us that is putting our voices there for you. It's crazy. It's crazy. Look where we are today. Sometimes we joke on this platform. Sometimes we joke with our friends and families. But the realism of the situation we are facing is there. Blinking on us. This is blinking. It's crazy. When are we going to be prioritized in our country? When are we going to say, oh, you did this to me. I'm going to cry to the government to rescue me. And really, the government will be there to rescue you. When? Like in the United Kingdom. You cannot. The United Kingdom government, I, I will always be proud of them. Because they've given me the best life of my life. Now, the great Britain, now you give, it, now you, now, now, now you give me. What has the Nigerian government done for me? Since I was born, I have never benefited anything from my Nigerian government. Nothing, not one, not two. But it's the same country where terrorists is being prioritized. The same country. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. We are looking forward to that day we will have a leader. That we prioritize the people and listen to the people. That we hear the people's cry and join the people to cry and sort the problem out. Not these people. 
This set of people that have been recycling themselves since Nigeria was created. Is this kind of people you want to rely on? This kind of, this set of satanic set of people that are recycling themselves. Okay, ask yourself. Everybody that is ruling us today, they have ruled us before. Either in one position or other. They, all of them, have, they are recycling themselves. Don't be surprised in 2027, even Tinubu himself might say, I don't want to run. Akpabio will come out and say, okay, I want to be the next president. Or oh, don't be surprised if Nigerians failed. Like we all have failed. We have failed woefully right now. Don't be surprised if we failed in 2027. Tinubu will stay in eight years. After eight years, Akpabio will take over or Wike will take over. And yes, some of you are already saying, God forbid. You cannot be God forbidding without not putting the work into it. You cannot. You cannot sit in your room and be God forbidding and be rebuking everything without not putting the work into it. You cannot be in your bed and be praying to God for you to become a rich person today without not putting the work into it. Oh, you want me God to let my uncle give you to become a millionaire, right? You don't want to put the work. What a country. It's crazy. Sometimes I shook my head. I said, God, what is this? What is this? Even though I know by God's grace, my life is already secured forever. Yes. Many of us that join this panel are citizens of our various uh, our locations, our various countries. But we want our country to be better. We can't shy away from the truth. We all are suffering it. Many of us have invested back home. Many of us can't even go back home to enjoy the fruit of your labor. Some of you that can visit back home, you go, you, you go hide yourself in the hotel. Your family members are enjoying the hard-end building where you spend millions, they build. Now your mama, your papa, your brother, your sister, wife, your brother, wife, and their children, they are living there, enjoying the fruit of your labor while you are still alive. The, the, the foundation of all these things are coming from the satanic set of people that have been ruling us since the, the Nigeria was created. How did we get here? Nigerians fold their hands, praying. Let's pray. The Bible says in a, a Psalm chapter 8, verse 8, equals to 9, said, we should do this and do that. We are all are deceiving ourselves. Yes, I'm a Christian, but I'm not a foolish Christian. I'm a Christian. I believe 100% in God, but I'm not a foolish one. I'm, I'm not a lazy Christian. Look where we are today. Look where we are today. It's, it's, it's sickening. This is absolutely sickening. Then when we speak, some people say, oh, we did that one, the tougher, that better house. Then you see some lunatics come to this platform to tell us, oh, who are you to question Obaseki? You see how they have brainwashed their mentality. Because many Nigerians are not even aware that they have the right to, they have a constitutional right to call out their government to ask them questions. They are not aware because they believe when you do, you will be punished or be penalized. This is where we find ourselves. It's painful. I'm not happy. You know why? I cannot be reading this kind of headline telling me that 313 terrorists are already going to be pardoned. It's crazy. It's crazy. Why we have a lot of innocent people in prison as we speak right now in Nigeria. Many of them don't have a voice. Many of them don't have one to speak for them. In fact, many of them we are not even aware they are there. It's crazy. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all. I'd like to continue with my presentation. It's crazy. Let me put this on the screen for you. Then I have another article here for you guys. Uh, we, we've talked about uh, this one already, but let me go to Remy the, the the first lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Remy Tinubu donates 1 billion naira to fight uh, tub uh, tuberculosis. Uh, I think, I don't know which state or maybe across Nigeria, 
but I applaud this. You know, this is good. I like this. The first lady, as Senator Remy Tinubu on Thursday, donated one billion naira to support fight to end the tuberculosis epidemic in Nigeria. Yes, in Nigeria, not in the States. So I just thought I should bring that one here for you guys to say. As you all know, when it comes to criticizing these people, I'm, I'm good at it. But when they're doing the right thing, I will also showcase it here. I understand some of us are still not happy with that. That's fine. Everybody entitled to their opinion. I don't have a problem with that. For me, I just want whoever that is in power right now to do the right thing so that we all can have a better country. That's all. I can't say because I support Peter Obi now, I'll be praying for Nigeria to continue to fail. I will never, I will never join you do that prayer. Not be me and you. You go and pray that prayer with your parents or your, your children, your wife and husband or your colleagues at home. Not here. I want anybody, if it's even you listening to me right now that can rescue us out of this hostage. Please, help us. We need help. We all need help right now in Nigeria. We need a better country. Anyhow, you want to get there to do it for us. We are not even interested anymore. But this set of people in power right now, they can't give us that country of our dream. No, they can't. This set of people are sharing money amongst themselves. That is what they are doing. Now, satanic Julius Aburi, LP Board of Trustees, take over party. Insist Abure's tenure has expired. Abure, I'm disappointed at you. But I'm strongly to be reserved. It's painful to know that somebody that you trusted so much, in fact, somebody that you, 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 I don't know, you, you respect so much, end up doing all this with desperation. It's crazy. I sent you a private message last night. Check your, you, you, you saw it. But at the moment now, you don't want to respond to nobody. It's crazy. Why are we doing this to ourselves, my people? Why? We all have one life to live. Just one, just one. You're not going to live forever. One day, that one day, that one day, you will be no more. How do you want people to remember you? How do you want people to reference to you? This is sad. In the midst of hardship in our country, Abure need to explain to us if he really worked for Peter Obi to win the 2023 presidential election or he was cross carpeted. It's a question I'm throwing to you. Luckily, Mr. Peter Obi is coming on uh, 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 X space tomorrow. He's coming to Paris Fat. We, tomorrow, we are going to be live here straight. Showcasing it straight as well. See how we can take one or two questions from here, passing on there, pass pass it on to 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 uh, the space as well. There are questions that Mr. Peter Obi needs to answer. Yes, hopefully those critical questions can get to him. This is crazy because at the moment now the only hope we have as a Nigerian. I mean, as a concerned Nigerian, not the satanic Nigerians, is God and Labour Party. And, and, and Peter will be sorry. God and Peter will be. That is the only hope, in case you're not aware. Tell me, mention another person's name. If you are a satanic, you are part of this platform right now. Mention another person's name that we can rely on right now in the midst of this suffering that we all are facing. Barista Abure, you disappointed me. Not just me, though. Everybody. Peter Obi is running away from you now. Peter Obi have dis totally disassociated himself from you. Peter Obi have told everybody to stay away from you. Now, how are you even getting your smiles right now? With all the respect you build um, in the midst of all the wonderful, consecrated obedience all over the world. You managed to tarnish it because of greed. It's crazy. This is where we find ourselves in our country. I'd like us to move on. i like to put this on. Bear with me, guys. 
just press on the like button. God bless you all. I really do appreciate every one of you right there. Help us to press on the like button. Senegal president elect Basiru Faye has changed the game. Sheu Sani. Now you talk this one. Former Kaduna lawyer, Senator Sheu Sani said the president elect of Senegal, Basiru Faye, has changed the rules of politics in the African continent. Not true. But unfortunately, can this rule affect our own country, Nigeria, positively? I'm only asking a question. I don't know much. I'm only asking a question. Hmm. I have another one for you. The uh, NSC and the owner of Labour Party, they are already saying that nothing on earth will make Peter Obi not to become the president in 2027. Labour Party reserved 2027 presidential ticket for Peter Obi, not Aburi. Don't get that wrong, not Aburi. At the moment now, there's, there's, there's battle going on. And another thing is that I make this on the satanic, fraudulent, illegal convention that happened yesterday. I make this on it. I would like, let me showcase this quickly. Yes, you can't fight everybody. Barista Julius Aburi, you can't. You surprised me. You surprised me with your shakira body. You surprised me. This one is coming from the Guardian. I make the Sons Anabra LP conversion. Yes, in totality. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has disowned Wednesday Labour Party's LP National Convention in Nanabra. Mr. Rotimi Oyekami, the Chief Press Secretary to the INEC Chairman, said this when he spoke with the news agency of Nigeria, NAN, in Abuja in, uh, on Thursday, which is today. I'm just going to leave that one right there. In case you want to read more, go to the Guardian. The beautiful thing about it is that INEC disowned it, this, which is good. Let the battle begin. Thank you very much, my people. I guess that is all I have for you guys today. Okay, yeah, I have one more to go. One more to go. Coming from Alan Oyema. Alan Oyema is saying, as you all can see right there, any 200,000 Naira monthly in Nigeria is better than Nigerians who earn 2,000 pounds or $2,000 in UK or in, in and, and in America. So this one does cause a lot of uh, debate. On, in fact, uh, I'm sorry to say this. A lot of people don't lambast this man, because this man be get good reputation. But this one where he talks so eh, Kai, if I go Twitter, eh, I don't know whether I don't reach Twitter because I don't feel big any comment come at all. Because now person with me like now the man be, but the way they, in fact they don't rip them, they don't rip they, all this is shit where So this red card they don't remove all of them because of what you talk so. If I go read down by myself, I go no way how they treat this man. He said, person with the end 200,000 naira for Nigeria live a better or better than the person that earned 2,000 pounds in, in the UK. It, it, it's crazy. But still, what do I know? Thank you very much, my people. I appreciate you all. That is all I have for you guys today. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all. Uh, I'd like you guys to press on the like button. Black Panther, I can see you already. Thank you very much for joining us. Okay, let's take this from here, my wonderful people. I'd like us to start talking. For those of you that want to call into the show, this is the best time for you to call in if you want to call in quickly. I'm going to do just three, three minutes for you all, my wonderful people. We've missed so many of our people here on the panel. Uh, Madam Origin will be joining us soon. Uh, she's busy with something, you know. And uh, uh, Mother, uh, love God is my strength. We miss you. And uh, Mother Patricia Tagwajumi, we miss you. Um, uh, Mr. Edwin, Mr. Edwin, we miss you so much. You know, Mr. Edwin, uh, since the, 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 the 2023 presidential election, Mr. Edwin just vanished, you know. Uh, although we talk, you know, but I don't know, the, the zeal to come back to the panel is a problem right now. And uh, oh, again, oh, again, we've missed so many of you right there. Thank you very much. God bless every one of you. Let me pick the first call of today. Mr. F.A., thanks for calling in, sir. Good evening to you. Please talk to us. Three minutes. Yes. Yes, yes sir. Thank you. May God bless you, my brother. Your your effort will never go in vain. Amen. God Thank you. God bless you. My brother, uh, you see that, uh, that 
that guy, that man we talk about, a uh, uh, president of a uh, uh, Senegal. Mm. Really, that man he just he just hit the nail for the head. It's truth. President of Senegal is is just is he changed the game for the entire Africa. Yes, that that is just, that is is a, is a final truth. Mm. Uh -huh. So me, I support that comment. I support yes, that. or even me, I support that. So it's supposed to be. But do you think that Nigeria can emulate that? Sir, yes, I get, I get, I get the belief, and I get hope. Okay, I get hope. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, now, now we are not in digital era. Not be, we are not, we are not longer in analog era anymore. You know, sir. That's what we so, want. No, yes. So now, let's go to uh, this uh, soldier they just buy for. Uh, uh, get our state. Okay, now that they, uh, our uh, not a non is is not my president. So according to them, they say that they are president. If they give free a uh, 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 scholarship to to all those soldier family, good. Okay, what about the people when soldier buy? That is a big question. No, we have to be honest to ourselves. What about the, the, the people with soldier back for that community? You understand? Mm. So they have to still compensate those people. Yes, they have to co compensate them. Even here, here, here in Italy, if you buy cars, common pussy cars, now Jayway, no man, you might be the go. Now you say go go. I don't know when, I, you know, what they pay me for, sir, for all this issue. Our this same call our leader, our, this our ruler, they are not leaders. They they call Western world every day. They they call here. They they call different part of the uh, 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 Western uh, country. What did they, they see for here? The environment and the way people they live. Why they know they carry and go home, go to practice. So do you know why I'm happy? Now everybody's everybody here yeah, don't open. You understand, sir? Mm. So may they not say that they pull us? No, no. They're not they pull us. But do, uh, 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 most of us who live in the Western world, we they we they we don't open our people eye for home. So now one day, they say every day for the one day for the owner. You're and right. Now the era now we say so. You understand? So I just Thank want you. to say my 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 opinion. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you very much, my dear brother. I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, let me pick another call quickly. I can see a couple of people calling in right now. Uh, uh, Florence Omorigi, thank you very much, madam. Please, I'd like you to quickly talk to us. Uh, guys, I'm supposed to press on that like button uh, and let's take it from here. Good evening to you, madam. Can you hear me? Hello, Mr. Nanga Watch, Mommy Diaspora. Thank you, ma'am. Hello, everybody. Good, evening Good afternoon. You. Good evening, sir. Um, you know, Mr. Nanga Watch. Yes, ma'am. I, you might not agree with me, not because you don't know I'm saying the truth, but maybe because you just don't want to agree with me. Nigeria has been captured. It is, it is, it has been captured by those people who want to take over Nigeria. Because if you look at these unusual things that are happening, it's not normal. These are not natural things. It's not the way things should be. Then you will know that Nigeria has been captured. And the first evidence of that was Aisha Buhad when she was shouting that first time that Kabans had taken over Nigeria. But nobody listened to her. The next thing her husband said that she should go and be cooking in the other room, in the kitchen or whatever. The other room. She was the first person that had given us this indication that the Kabans are... This, the Nigeria is not under... this. Uh, I believe that even Tinubu himself is a stooge. I believe that there are more powerful people than him that are actually ruling the government. So do you 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 think Tinubu is struggling from the hands of these satanic people? No, 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 no. He's their boy boy now. They are, he's their tool. That's mm. the only reason why Tinubu would have been able to get away with all the things he got away with. You understand? Mm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Because that is what Nigeria has been captured. At the end of the day, there's an agenda. And they are going from, they have different faces. Face a, B, but but a, what a, I don't understand, Manda. To be honest, I'm yes, I'm sir. just confused. Are you guys telling yeah. me that a a president of of a country is still under somebody that we don't know? That is the only reason why he will 
two, you understand, he has two passports, which was proven. And then he, you know, involved in all those uh, cases. If it was somebody else, would he be able to get there? They, because they know that the person they want to use that will work with them, even though he has all these laws. Then, but they'll be able to, he'll be able to work with them, or rather, let me say, he's part of them. They're all together. They're all together. Hmm. So, so oh. I, I'm telling you, who are here? Make it here now. Make not begin to go to a fine house for outside Nigeria because the way I'm seeing it, that Nigeria. They don't take a move out. Before you know now, all we women will recover head, cover face. That is their agenda. And that's where this is all, all go, going. Let's not stay here then. Another five, seven years, the executive will say, we don't know, we don't know. I'm telling you, that's my submission. Thank you. Because everything else that is going on doesn't make sense. Hmm. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank, Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. If you listen to what uh, Madam uh, Florence uh, Morgan is saying, I asked this similar question yesterday. Does it mean that even though constitutionally we know who is the president of the of, of the country, does it mean they see other person that the president is bowing down for in the country? And that was yes, sir. Yeah, the answer is yes. Okay. It's like when you are in a school now, there are some people that control the powers and who we come because they are controlling each each arms of the school com uh, community. So they dictate who is going to be the power. It depends on how, how whether they are with the people or they are not with the people. But there are people that makes the power to be be. And yeah. what she's saying about um, Islamization, those one na 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 side talk. There's nobody going to Islamatize Nigeria. Nigeria is too big to be Islamatized. You are too divided. You cannot Islamatize when you are too divided. So let them go and read, read the procedures. It's, it's not possible. Okay. Thank okay, you. Let on me that one, on, on that one, on one more thing, uh, Mr. Mr. Elvis. Yes, sir. Why a president can still be under some people? You know, if you have, if somebody has a compromise on you, there are so many things you have done that you you and those people only know so they will use it against you so in that case you will do whatever they tell you or else they spill the beans and okay. that's why we were so worried about that, that's called leverage 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 let me take this call let me let, let me finish with my callers black really men what leverage black men thank you black, thank yeah you. yeah 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 okay Thank you, my people. Thank you. Good evening to you, sir. Thanks for calling in, Mr. Ifani. Thanks for calling us all the way from Inno. Hello, Hello. Good evening, Elvis. Yes, sir. Thank you for picking my call. Thank you, sir. Good evening to the panelists and good evening to the people on the comment section and all those that are watching us, are watching the program. Elvis, yes, sir. if I tell you that I'm not tired with this country, then I'm lying. I'm totally tired. I'm pissed off. There's a lot of things going wrong in this country and nobody's saying anything. Look at Apure. If he means well for this country, if he knows that he's somebody that wants the progress of this country, why didn't he... If the honorable thing to do is to do what? Resign and give way and allow the party to move forward. Because that's the vehicle that we have now to actually get these people out of the way. But that vehicle, you have allowed yourself to be used. You have allowed yourself to mess up the whole thing. Elvis, so. it's a terrible thing. Just as the, uh, one of the last callers said, yes, it's good. I'm happy that they recognized, gave scholarships to the slain soldiers, children, and then gave houses to their uh, whatever. What of the people the soldiers killed? What have they done for them? What have they done for their families? Some of the people killed are the breadwinners of their families. So it, 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 it's, it's unfortunate. And uh, the last speaker, Dr. Collins, said that we have been captured. But it seems so because the way it is in Nigeria is talking in Enugu here now. I hope you heard six legislators have moved from Labour Party to PDP. Okay. I will show you that we are never a Labour Party 
candidate before. All they came to Labour Party was to use PDP to win an election, and that is all. They all ran away from PDP that time because PDP gave them no tickets. And they came to Labour Party, won an election, and now you are defecting back to PDP. That was all. You, we can't blame Peter B for we should blame Abure for that. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it, that's why I'm, I'm very bitter with Abure because he would have just made this thing in, in such a way that nobody will know. Nobody will now they are capitalizing on there's a problem, there's a fighting in a level party. That's why we are living there. Elvis. I don't know what to say. Today, I don't, just don't Thank know you. what to say. Thank you, sir. I understand. All I'm saying is that I know that one day, one day, the monkey and you know, go do what? You know, go come back. Thank you very much. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Fahey. God bless you, sir. Let me take another call quickly. A lot of people are calling in right now. Uh, we have... Uh, uh, thank you very much, sir, for calling in. Uh, good evening to you. Mr. Ewo, please talk to us. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Niger Watch, and uh, God be with you. Yes, sir. I'm Amen. standing on the existing protocol. Uh, greet everyone there. Greet Mommy Diaspora and those on the comment section. Uh, Mr. Niger Watch, I just want to blind who can think I agree with the woman that spoke to you a moment ago. If you remember, this is what I have been repeating. I told you, I said, we are at the point of Islamization. And I'm sorry, uh, uh, Mr. Black Panther is not seeing the truth. Black Panther is telling you, no, you uh, can't be Islamized. You can't be Islamized. They are all over the place. The first thing they are doing is their expansionist approach. And what are they doing? If your president has said, Governors give them land all over the states. What is that supposed to mean? Will we eventually have a full anise of uh, Ekiti? How full anise of uh, Ondo and uh, the rest of them? No. Let them remain where they belong there in the north. And then do whatever they want to do. But coming into the west, the east, the south, south, and those things, Asking us to give them land doesn't make sense. Yeah, I want to agree with the fact that, yes, some people are behind whatever Balatinubu is doing. And I'm sorry to say this. There are people who are, you know, scared of those of us from the South, you know, leading the governance of Nigeria. They rather prefer those they can manipulate. The outside world, is still working. We are neo-colonized. And those they are using are the stooges under them who Volatinumbo has signed an accord with. I thank God she made mention of what Aisha Buhari was saying when the Buhari they presented came out and he was shouting, this is not my husband. This is not my husband. What did they say? Her place belongs to the kitchen. She told us, she said, no, look at my husband's hair. I know how my husband's hair is. It's not like this. Who want to try to agree with that? They sent her behind them and gave us 10 warning. Today we are paying for it. Anybody who is telling you that that agenda is not a reality, that person is lying. Are you hearing me? That person yes, is being economical with his language. I can say that to you for free. The person is economical with his or her language. That woman that spoke to you now repeated exactly what I have been crying about all along, telling you they've scattered them all over. If they succeed in giving them place now so that they will now actualize them as Nigerians, they already have ID cards in the name of being Nigerians. And then they can now identify them, oh, this one is full and new of those states. So any day they can come out and attack there whenever those who are guiding them say, okay, move into the place, do what we want you to do. Can you stop them? This is the time, when I what I'm telling you. Okay. If Nigerians refuse to do nothing now, we are sold out. 
Nigeria is sold out. Everybody should start thinking of what we need to do to go out here and find a way. I said it, 2027, I don't know, people are saying it's realistic to them. To me, it is not realistic. A Messiah is going to come out. I don't know where it's going to come out from, but a Messiah is coming. Nigeria will be emancipated. And all these things we are seeing now, we become a king of the past. Every person is clamoring and shouting about Senegal. Is it, is it a strange thing that happened there? The people voted, and the voting was upheld. The youth shouted when the former president wanted to play down on their, on their, on their, on their mandate. And he quickly withdrew. Are we doing that in Nigeria? For God's sake, let us know what our problem is, and let us tackle it accordingly. Thank you. God be with Nigeria. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Wow. Ah, thank you very much, my people. I appreciate you all. Let me take two more calls so that I can come to you guys on the panel. Thank you very much. Uh, who's going to be the lucky two last callers? Uh, okay, let me see. Okay, we have Vitals with us. You know, thank you, Mr. Vitals. Thanks for your time with us. Uh, let's quickly take it from here. Thank you very much, sir. Good evening to you. Please talk to us. Yes, sir. Uh, my God, continue to bless you. Amen. Um, really, to ask a question, I think some people are in charge of Nigeria. Mm. For me, I can say yes, because since Tunumbu said it is my turn, there is no country where somebody can, can be ruled by it is my turn. So before he can say it is my turn, that means there, has, there was an agreement that was rigged. So some people, few group of people are running Nigeria and he is dancing to their tune. They have an agreement they reached. That is why he is taking some decisions that is against the will of Nigerians. By telling Nigeria or the governors they have to give the Pacific governor they have to give a ruga for the for the for the herdsmen. There is there a, a lot of people, a, group, a few group of people are holding Nigeria hostage. I really blame we Nigerians because we are not making any move. We are we are not reacting, and, and because of tribe and religion. These people use it to deceive a lot of Nigerians. Um, I thank you very much for thank the good you, job you are doing. And may God continue to bless you and bless your family and all the panelists and all Amen. the good way Nigeria, the good people of Nigeria who are, who are trying to see that Nigeria works. But the way it is now, it is not getting better. Thank you. May God continue to bless you. Good. Amen, sir. Amen, sir. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, finally, we have Madam Origin in the building. Madam Origin, good evening to you, ma. Thanks for... <laughs> we've missed you so much. Thanks for coming in. I was laughing when you say, oh, um, I, I'm, I've been here calm. I can be as calm, you know, as the silence of a graveyard when I want to. When I want to talk, I talk. So I've been here. I had a few days. Um, I had uh, about like two days I wasn't here. Other than that, I've been here listening <laughs> to all the, all the, all of it. Thank so you. I greet everyone. Mr. Nigel Watch is always a, it's, it's always good to be a voice with this the microphone you have provided. And I continue to thank you. I continue to pray for you. And nobody should be scared of praying. It's just like we miss it. And I please warn you, Mr. Niger Watch, it's the way you are going to hammer to the Nigerians that are not, you know, not behaving. Please exclude the villagers. The Nigerians are not doing what they're supposed to do. The villagers don't know. 
I mean, I exclude them. Other than that, the people in the city, you know, they are the gullibles. I want to bring to your attention why I picked this phone is to highlight on what Mr. Dylan Farrow to me said. It, because I'm still shocked that people are still talking about a Nigeria. Pardon me, because I know that's where you stand for, but you allow those of us that are, are like for real. A land that devours its inhabitants is what this concoction is. We are talking about, um, uh, look at the celebration that has happened for the slain soldiers. Someone talked about how about the villagers that are mopped. Earlier in this place, the first, I think the first day I picked it on, I was telling you of, 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 of a group that I gave you three words to describe them. Criminal kleptomaniacs, their phagocytes, their boogeyman. That word boogeyman, I am yet to explain it because each word stand alone. The moppers, they don't, what they want, they, they hate the poor, they hate women, they hate minority region. Who are the minority regions? The ones that have the oil and have the manpower. And this, they will continue to suppress you. That's why I'm disgusted as the intellectuals and the educated ones in the South, especially to be precise, South, South and Southeast. I'm ashamed of them because they are the ones that are, are, are building Musk and Mr. Panther, Black Panther, please go and do your research. Islamization is not just, you know, you know, uh, forcing people to wear hijab. You are 99% Islamized. If you can't hold the position, if the only people that are in the South, South, Southeast that are holding positions are people that are, are made to be in that position, what do you have left? So, I say it once again, this country, they are talking about, me, 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 Mr. Jonathan told us between 2015 and 2023, there have been, when he counted it, it was like thousands of soldiers that have been slain and a whole lot going on between the Middle Belt, South, South, South East. Are we going to wait until we are all mopped out before we begin to get sense? I rested there, Mr. Niger Watch. Thank you very much. Maybe Thank I'll you. go back to my calm place and stay and maintain <laughs> the, the silence of the graveyard. Thank you. Thank you, man. God bless you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I'll leave callers for now. I'll come back to you guys, callers, later on. I'd like to start hearing from my Niger Watch. But before that, uh, Amazing Grace USA, I'd like to quickly appreciate you for two things. One, thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, thanks for the wonderful. Uh, text attached to it. God bless you. I appreciate you. Then another one again. I got watch. This miss this text we or rather comment you left here. I want my panelists to answer the question. I have to put it on the screen because some of them are just and some just now say people are right there controlling it to noble. See the question for screen. Anybody we want to talk later, I would like you people to reference to this because this one is a vital question. Because it's good we know now before saying oh we don't know. Yes. These same forces, these same forces, are you telling us they're also going to control Peter Obi? You know, let me watch this person to speak to us. Uh, Mr. Shimizu, oh God, Mr. Shimizu, I need you don't call so many times. I almost forgot. Let me pick your call, sir. Good evening to you. Please quickly talk to us, sir. Hey, Niger Watch, I was behind today on your video. That's why I didn't get <laughs> that's why I didn't get your I didn't get on on, on online on quick. Okay, on yeah, time. Um, okay. Yeah, uh, Thank you, if sir. We, I thought when if we started talking, I, I never know that uh, you really um well, well, that's that is by the way though. Yeah, um I now see video of uh, Adi Abure and the so-called uh, uh, Labour Party on the uh, um, 
on the convention. I asked myself a question. How did we get here? How did they, okay, if, if, it's not, Abure is not the only the person that knows that. Uh, so other people already know that a uh, convention going to carry on or going to go on. I think it's, uh, oh, man, Nigeria, Nigeria, my country. Ha! In fact, I thought Abure is a nice person. I thought he's a, he's a, a kind of, he's a good person. I never know he's like this. Well, I love the way uh, Obi is not there. That's it shows um, it shows what you know. It has something upstairs, so it just it just move away from the the the, the, the convention, and it's good. It stay away. Okay. So um, yeah, now that what that video you play today, that video is supposed to play on Monday. We what we're going to discuss on, on oh, sorry on Sunday, but all the same. Um, and, okay, uh, okay, that is uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That video is supposed to play that. Uh, that I said, uh, of which I can get Niger watch right away, but all the same. Um, <clears throat> the issue of the problem of Nigeria is Nigeria in self, the people of Nigeria. Are this are they going to do come out and say enough for this? Look at look at the uh, Senegal. They should, everybody have to be, everybody in Nigeria is supposed to be saying about Senegal now, talking about Senegal. How are we going to do our own life that way? How are we going to come out and stop the nepotism, the, the, the tribalism everywhere? If the only thing is killing Nigeria is nepotism, tribalism, religion, all of this is killing this that country called Nigeria. If they can do away with that and stop it, they will, in fact, they could have get this 2023. But because of this, all these packages that they, they, they have, that the Nigerian people have, that's why they couldn't make it. So the the so called the, 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 the regime of Buhari, one of them on Max, who is in that Buhari? Eh? Uh, uh, question Malami, because who was ruling? It's Malami. He's one that ruling uh, 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 last regime. If if somebody like Buhari, he's calling himself Buhari, it's not in Nigeria, because somebody will be looting. Everybody was looting in that government, and all of them keep shots. This government supposed to supposed to bring all these these people, all of them, and bring them into into say, okay, come and answer, answer this question. All of them, what EFCC? They just chasing clan, chasing something that not chasing them, looking for something that not looking for them. It's so it's so bad that this government that government did all what they did and get away with it. It's only in Nigeria that such a thing is happening. It, it's unfair. They need to, okay, Buhari himself, so-called Buhari, you, you, you will never see that one anywhere. Stand and be talking and be saying anything. It's too bad. It's too bad. Even Bala Blue need to wake up from, from his slumber. Thank you. Man, thank I you, sir. Know. Thank I you. Watch. I don't need to do something, believe me. Okay. Thank please, you, sir. That, that, video, that video you play, please, I want that video to replay on Sunday so that we, 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 we talk on it. I don't okay. want to talk, say anything on that video right now. Okay. Thank, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Call us. I'm done. I'm done right now. Uh, let us move on. I would like to call on the first person on the panel today to speak to us. Can you hear day, me? If everyone that just coming in right now, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Depending Can you on you, please do your part by pressing on the like button, help us to share, let our voices go far as we listen to our wonderful panelists. The first person on the panel today is... Okay, watch. I, okay, I, thank you very much sir, for joining us. Good evening to Can you. you I would like you to talk to us. You have eight minutes. Jesus. Okay. Um. Good evening, Mr. Elvis. Good evening to other panelists, and good evening to. Can somebody hear me there? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Okay. 
So, um, first off, I can see why some honorable people are refusing our national award. I can imagine that president went and gave a national award to officers that their cases are still under investigation. Okay, what if after investigation, it was revealed that these people did not actually go for peace mission, that it was all about oil bunker? What would hmm. happen to those awards? So that means we would have given awards to those that were working against the nation. We would have given award to people that were selfish in their visit. So, and, that, and, and the president decided to go with the narration that fits him or that he wants. Hmm. The president also said in his address that those people went without any arms, that they went there without arms to go and make peace, and they made their death. Meanwhile, we have videos that shows that those officers went with gunboats. What did they use in killing those people in that community, that town hall? What did they use? Did they use their hands? Marvin, can you, can you uh, with all due respect, the man, there was nowhere that the president said they were unarmed. Please. Yeah, he, no, he said, no, no, so, sorry to, sorry to interject you. Sorry to interject you. Somebody said, yeah, Mr. Evans can play that video. That those people were those army were not armed. Play it the again, president, please, Elvis. Please, if you go, I, if you go, to, if you watch, just watch. If you go and watch it, okay, Mr. Tool. If you watch that statement yesterday, you will see where he said that they went armless. That they went there to make peace. They did not go with. They did not go with ammunition. They did not go with anything just to go and make peace and met their death. Hmm. So in uh, this well, case, I'm not sure of that, but I, let me do research on it. Okay, okay. After you just listen to it, because I listened to it yesterday, I listened to what he said. So you don't go and say people went armless and then they met their deaths. I, I I don't have anything against having to honor the military, but because there is still investigation going on. You should be careful with what you say so that you don't come now swallowing the, the, the things you have already said. It, was, it wasn't the right thing to do. They have their honor. You have to bury them as military people. But there are some statements that would have waited. Even this national honor would have waited a little bit before you go and put the whole nation under radical. That's what it is. Because I see a president that just wanted his one-sided story that, and he keeps running with it. That's how Kaduna State government was running with the people that were kidnapped. They didn't want to look at the other side of the story. Now, we are surprised that Boko Haram, they are saying that court forced them to release Boko Haram. That's actually the ransom that we paid for those children. Those people would have made a demand to say, for us to release these children, you have to release this number of our fighters. That's the ransom. It might not be monetary, but if they had to win, if they had to get back hundreds of their fighters that were arrested, that were under military custody, that's the ransom. That's the ransom. And the governor kept telling us, oh, I'm not interested to know how it was done. The most important thing is that we have our children. And everybody kept looking, watching, seeing a country go down, continuously go down. And then we are watching. Now, the, the, the first lady that goes out all of this money, please, oh, where is this money coming from? I don't have a problem to donate to a worthy cause, but you don't go to steal and donate. Think about it that you go to steal from people and come and come and be, become a philanthropist and be dashing money to people at home. How did this money come? How could the first lady that is not that is not in our constitution be giving out as much as one billion? No matter what it is for, where is this money coming from? 
the other time he gave money to you, to people that were fighting something or whatever outside the country. Now he has given one billion. I'm asking where the money is coming from. Is it her personal money? If it is not her personal money, what budgetary allocation is covering that? Or do they have an allocation to an unconstitutional office? So when we see all of these things, and people still want us to be patriotic. How could you be patriotic in a nation that does not love you? This country don't, don't care for any of us. So. And then you are being, you are being uh, attacked for saying it how it is. Now, on Abure, what I am thinking is, Abure would have been given a marching order to do this or face his, his case in the courts. That's why I was talking against somebody having a compromise on you. So if you have a case that you don't want people to hear, maybe only one person know. Anytime the person asks for anything, and you say no, the person will remind you that you know I have something. If I if I tell the public, your own is finished. And you say, Oh, okay, take. That's exactly the kind of thing that is going on. He has a case, and the ruling party has the judiciary in their hands. They can decide to prosecute anybody they want. So if he has to disobey their instruction. They might dust this file. They will dust it, and a case will start. So you see a man that doesn't want to listen to anybody because it's a selfish fight. Because he will come out to say, I have done what you want me to do. He wouldn't care about what happens to the party, but because he's trying to save his own life. But the country, I keep saying it, cannot run like this. Mr. Edis, I sent you a picture something like a graphic tale where somebody wrote the president of Senegal at 44 is the president at 44. Meanwhile, our Reno at 50 is behaving like a fool. All of these things we are calling out, all of these things we are saying and doing, it is for our country to be good though. It's not because we hate the country. There are some of us that owe everything to this country. We don't have any other place. We don't have any other place. So when we call the country out or call out some of this behavior, it's because we love the country, not because we hate the country. No, that's not what it is. We love the country. But you can't watch your country go down the drain and you keep quiet because somebody wants you to be patriotic. Somebody wants you to be patriotic. I still salute those that are in the country there and are still doing those. Because they have so harassed us, they have so made us so scared that we hardly can, can speak out. So when I see Mr. Dele Faro Timi talk, I, 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 I applaud him. Because that man is in Lagos there with them. And he is still very bold, speaking out. I, I pray every day for his safety. I pray that they don't cut him down. Because what we have now is a, a dictator in civilian clothes. A dictator in civilian clothes. They can pick up anybody. They can take out anybody. If you don't dance to their tune, they will take you down. So, I don't even know how some of them that are doing it are really doing it and still going forward to do it. Because we have a very reprehensive government that will do anything to make sure that nobody challenges them. Now, have we not forgotten, like I say, we've forgotten the events of the previous days. When they happen, another new one comes, and we move on. Can you imagine that we are not fighting any war, and people keep buying for food? They will, they will so starve you and tell you that they are giving you free food, and people will go there and die in stampede. And nothing will happen. They will just call the numbers and say, so, 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 number of people. 
why, why coming to take free food? And people will say, wow, wow, this country now, wow. And the next day, another one happens and life keep going. I still, I still, going back to this Cardona, I still need an explanation from the governor how they were able to make 100 and something uniform for those students before they came out. They still need, we need the explanation on that. They must have to explain to us how a teller or hundreds of tellers or whatever it is, they had time to go cut material so uniform for the children they said they rescued. And nobody, nobody was arrested for holding those children. Anyway, what do we know? What can we say? Thank it you. Is, it is high time we look forward and work for a better country. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Ike. That's the picture right there on the screen. Uh, president at 44, wife full at 50. <laughs> and so I think the, now, Ola Milika, and I took that one. So, but nevertheless, let's move on. I appreciate you all, my people. God bless you all. Let me call on the next person on the panel, Mr. Chuk Sobibweze. You are the second person on the panel today. Good evening to you, sir. Please, I would like you to talk to us. Eight minutes. Okay, you are not there. I'll just move on to the next person swiftly. Uh, Mr. Toon, thank you very much, sir, for joining us. Good evening to you. Talk to us. Eight minutes, then I'll come to Madame Nena. Mr. Toon, are you there? Okay, you're not there as well. Let me move on to Madalena. Sorry, 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 Elvis. Um, okay, you're there. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll just... Okay, sorry. I was just going over the um, uh, the speech on my phone because I can't see any evidence of where the president said they were unarmed. It would be so absurd for him to make that statement. Well, that's by the way. Anyway, um, what can we say? Um in all this, I mean, Abure Labour Party. He, he just he personally, he just the whole this whole thing just starting to sound like a broken record. And all saying, look at Senegal. Most most will be looking at Senegal for for us to know what uh, what to do. The election was rigged in 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 in, in January. We didn't hit the streets. All our youths are doing, like you said, is a, it's it's all uh, hookups. Um, um, was th that their program? Um, that, that they do and all that. They, even the youths in Nigeria are, are, are not even, they are not even, they, they are not focused. They don't know what what, what they want uh, for themselves. The best thing is to japa and all that. I know, yeah, the, the country is, uh, is is hard, but the average young person in Nigeria, you ask him, what, what do you want? These are the people that are supposed to come out and sit down and say, listen, we've had enough of, of all this rubbish. But yet they are calling uh, people in diaspora to come and lead the uh, the match so that we can receive bullets on their on their uh, on their behalf. They are joking. That's why I I, I keep saying let let this hunger continue. Let every embassy refuse them visa. Maybe that will reset their brains. Because there are still some people shouting um, on on your mandate will stand and your mandate will stand. The president that is giving. Uh, uh, posthumous uh, awards to those soldiers and all that. What did he do for them when they were alive? The Nigerian so uh, military is one of the uh, least paid military in the world, if not in, if not even in Africa. What has he done for them? You giving me a car, a brand new car when I'm dead and all, but when I'm alive, you did not, you did not look after me. A serving, a, a serving senior military officer said that a, um, um, a repentant, um, what do they call themselves now, uh, bandits, can become a president as long as they, 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 they are repentant. And that kind of man should not be court martialed for that kind of statement. That just goes to tell you that everything, see all this election and all that, we are not going to get back the country by um by the ballot box we need to come out whatever happens happens after all now once man they die those guys that died they did not at least they died try uh, uh, trying uh, try. and please let me just say something here let me just say something here please 
Um, um, Elvis made the statement yesterday that we should not uh, um, abuse, we should not use this platform to abuse. And I think it's only fair as well that other people that have other agenda, like uh, like um, uh, agitating for IPOB, nothing wrong. But please don't come here and start giving wrong narratives. And start, yeah, it's okay. And be celebrating people that the, the soldiers that they died that day, it was a good thing that they buried them. If it was your brother that was killed, would you be happy or your relative? Please let's be let's let's be sensible. Did anybody say that? Did, did anybody say that? that yeah, yeah. In the, that com in the comments, the, 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 there are people in the comments that are like that. I will, I will call out one particular guy called Jaja and all that. Oh, on the comment on the comment section, yeah, you mean? Yeah, from yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, he has been celebrating. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, Mr. Tun. the death of those soldiers. Yeah, but but Mr. Tun, next time, please, you need to be specific because you say don't come here. And say that if I didn't ask you now, and other people play this video maybe from tomorrow, they would think that it was the, the people from the panel that, that stated that. You know, no, 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 it wasn't the panel. Specific. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't yeah, the panel. No, I know. Now we get it. But the comment time, session. Yes. Yeah. So, the, so what I'm trying, to, what I'm, what I'm saying, you know, in 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 other words, whether it's an IPOB person or uh, Alsa Fulani or whatever, and all that human life. Do you do you know what it means? To, to 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 take another man's life just because you do not agree with them politically does not mean it is right for you to 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 say yeah those uh, those guys sh uh, uh, should be should be killed it is not right it is not right okay and um uh, what again uh mrs tunabu uh giving uh, one billion naira are, are we surprised why should we be surprised after all he has told he has told uh, the whole Nigeria that they are very wealthy. They 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 fed themselves fat with the uh, uh, with uh, with the coffers of Lagos State, and now they are on on the federal level and they are still feeding. So we shouldn't be surprised. We that's part of the reason why we want everybody. People thought that we hated Tinubu. People thought that it was about uh, Yoruba or Hausa or whatever. Now that no, it's because the antecedent that this guy has got that is a criminal. And when you let in a criminal to 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 take um to take charge of the country, this is what you see. Many many more things are going to be happening every day. We talked about better I do. Now, like uh, Elvis said, where is better I do now? That thing has gone cold. In fact, she's chilling. We don't know even who is involved. Now, the 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 um, um, the guy that escaped Nigeria. I'm sure when he talks, he's going to he's a lot of revelation are going to come out. He's going to talk for sure. And we shouldn't forget that those guys came into Nigeria willingly, but they were kidnapped, just like in Namdekano. A court is giving order for you to release um, 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 uh, terrorists and all that. And yet, uh, uh, Mazin Namdekano is languishing in jail. An innocent man that has been has been, has been declared um, uh, uh, not guilty. He's still languishing in jail. Tinubu has taken over the baton from uh, Buhari and he's still holding him. And you tell me that 2027 is going to the uh, going to the um, um, the uh, uh, the poor. We, we 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 listen. Let's let's get our let's let's get our, our our minds right in the right place. The judiciary has been captured. This time around, they are going to write results for for us and give us koro koro. They will not even hide it. They will be saying this is the result I want and all that. Do you think it's but do you think it's a coincidence that Enwike uh, is uh, was uh, was given the federal uh, capital? He, he there's going to be massive rigging in Abuja. Thank you. Okay, uh, Mr. Tun, I'm sorry to ask this question. Maybe some of you might not uh, might not agree with me, but uh, let me still ask. Um, the first lady donated right i guess he donated one billion naira out don't you yes. think that's a good thing i'm not saying it's a bad thing though know? why i addressed it was what, what i addressed it was that the gentleman that said where the source of the money i said why should why should we be oh, surprised okay. that she's that she's that she's got a deep pocket like that obviously we shouldn't be surprised okay it's, um, it's a good thing I, I, 
Mr. Elvis, your, to your question, he yes. said, is it a good thing or a bad thing? Hmm. You see, I, I, I only asked about the source. It's not every money everybody gives you that you will take home. <laughs> if, you know, if you know somebody that you know what he's doing that you don't believe in, and that you condemn, if the person gives you money, you won't take. So it's but not she, about, it's, it's not about the money. Lady. She's the first lady, but she doesn't have any right to depend in our money. That's all I'm saying. Okay, okay. The limited people that I know will not give her personal money for that. Okay, Elvis. Yes, sir. Where did she get one billion naira to give? That is the question we should be asking ourselves. Okay. One yes, she should go in there and seek for it. Which and and again, Elvis, Which of I sent yes, you, sorry. Mr. Elvis, I sent you the video on the fifth minute. On the fifth minute of that video I sent to you, is where Tilibu said they went there without arms. Go and read it. I sent you the video. Just on the fifth minute of that video, see it, you will see he said it. He said they went there without time, without anything, without any arms. Go, just watch it and you see it. So I didn't just say it. I, I heard it from him before I said it. Okay. All right. I, I will play the video while the next person finished talking. Let me put the video together so that we can clarify that. Okay, thank you very much, Ogatun, for your submission earlier on. Let, let's hear from... Uh, give us a mandate. We are where you're on the backstage. Uh, when it gets to your turn, I'll make a swap. You know, let me come to Madam Nena. Madam Nena, thank you very much, man, for joining us today. Good evening to you. Please talk to us. Eight minutes. Yeah, good evening, Mr. Elvis. Um, good evening, everyone. Okay, you can hear me, right? Hello? Yes, yes, but okay. very clear, very clear. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, good evening, everybody. Good evening, uh, Mommy Diaspora. God bless everyone on the panel the comment session and even those uh, who are listening that are not um i just um appreciate everyone i say Elvis, thank you so much for this opportunity that you've given to me um in, with regards to if i could just just chip in uh, briefly with regards to the issue of uh, whether the military went to went to um uh, whatever what is that been delta with arms or not and it's coming from tunubu i'm not even sure why anybody will even take what you could not know that that man that man his brain is always, you know, moving. Because when you hear the first time, the first um, time they, that issue happened, they said that these people were, their lives were taken, and those hoodlums scattered away with their weapons. So it was obvious that they went there with weapons. So if Tunubu said it, I mean, you could know that this is a man that would, they would tell to test the microphone. Have you been licking the microphone? I would even want to listen to what he's saying. He's a confused human being. He doesn't know what he's saying. He's misleading people with whatever. That, that's just my own take on the whole thing. If he's coming from Tunubu, the man, the man, they miss here all the time. Now, this is a man that comes on stage, and sometimes it feels as if he is having a flu um, of ideas. So, I mean, if he's coming from him, I don't. He, he said what? So, man, are you saying that he missed when it was uh, during the time of campaign or now? Every, every time they that the man, they miss all the time. You remember, remember that hand shake, leg shake. You know they shake again now. But uh, I mean, if it's not steroid, not steroid, they work. The man, they any time where steroid go down, the man go be here. You know, I, 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 don't you listen to him? Because the man, I, to me, I believe Tinubu used that in the civil of us during that time by the shake, like shake, and thing. You know, you, you know, is anything? This, you know, is anything? The civil. The point is that the, that man is living on steroid. After all, the first, the first time he he got he got the uh, stole the mandate, went to France, stayed for months. He came back with a pick line. I mean, not. I know what they use with pick line for that man. They collect steroid. So when I that thing the man they miss here all the time when the steroid we are off you go begin the mission so that's why he will come and say they, they went without a weapon it is clearly said that when they those people were attacked that they the hoodlums took their weapons from them so i mean how can i mean go to a place without weapon that doesn't even make any sense anyway that is just that for uh for that one then i come to the issue of our bullet honestly speaking at this point in time i'm kind of confused at as to how somebody like Abure could be so, so powerful and acting so untouchable that he could go out and do what he did and he's been celebrated. And uh, Mr. Davis, I put something on the screen because sometimes me, some things get to a certain point that I begin to, you know, ask myself, maybe I'm the one that is crazy or everybody else is crazy. Like I'm beginning to, there are some people that I respect, that I saw that I've been standing with Abure. Uh, uh, all this while that all this madness is going on. And one of the prominent persons is Hilda Dokubo. I don't know, Mr. Evis, if there's a way you can reach to somebody like that, Mr. Um, Hilda Dokubo. 
I, I respect that woman a lot. And I know that those are one of the people that stood very uh, close to P2B. I really want to know her opinion with regards to everything that is happening. Because the day Abure was giving his uh, press conference, I saw her conspicuously behind Abure. And even in this, they are, um, got this uh, just ended convention, I saw her in the front seat. So I, I want to believe that it's possible that she's hearing this, uh, pan, uh, whatever that's happening here, or maybe somebody that knows her. Please. If he that Dr. Bo, so because the reason why I'm calling he that Dr. Bo, sorry, which woman are you talking about now? I'm talking about he that Dr. Bo. I don't know how many of us that know he that Dr. Bo. I do. Okay. I do. Yeah, I, do. I, know. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I'm, I'm, surprised. I'm surprised. Yeah, she's one person that I respect a lot. So, and I know how much she stood for people and how much she fought for people and every. So, for her to be associated with Abure at this point in time. It leaves, it leaves me, uh, uh, I mean, it leaves a lot of questions and in, in my mouth. Like, I really want Are you to talking know. about the actress? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Was, was she there? Yes. Yes, of course. Yes, she was there. She was there. I, 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 I'm going to call her tonight. When the same call, time. Call Many her years ago. Tell her that's about I will call her tonight. Please, mm -hmm. tell her that a lot of obedience. Please, when when you guys are talking, help us tell, tell us what exactly Abu read know did because some people keep saying aburi 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 and uh, uh, we're not here what do you mean we should tell there. you what aburi did are you not are you not uh, 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 aware of what is going on on social media okay, okay. Social no, i mean facts i mean facts i mean, I mean facts i i'm hearing all of that all the rumors what do you mean facts uh, okay okay number one okay. number one fact mm. hello i don't know what i hear. yeah yeah, number one yeah, fact. Ordinarily, a convention to re-elect you can never hold unless INEC is informed and they witness it. So that's a fact. So election of Abure, if you know him, go and tell him he's null and void. It's ultra virus. In fact, he's dead well, on is our problem the fact that INEC... No, listen, listen, their... listen, listen, listen. This is one of... Yeah. He knows it. He knows. He didn't inform INEC because INEC will be able to say representative. So that's a coup against the party. That's one. It's illegal. Let's start from there. You may be thinking that okay. all the accusation of billions and naira, all these things, no, is not Oga, proven. Uh, Oga, if you've answered the, that's fine. Let's move on. It's unfortunate that Oga CBD is asking this question when we present everything here every day. You know, do your research on that. So we can't, we can't, our car, not the entire reverse at this moment. We, you know, Madam Nena, please go yeah. ahead. Sir. Go ahead, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so like I was saying, and uh, the whole thing got me a kind of confused. Like, and again, coupled with the fact that the person who declared that Abure the winner of that, um, um, supposedly a convention election is the vice governor of obviously like the whole thing got me confused so i'm i'm not asking myself i like what exactly is what is is playing out here uh, is it really that the, the that we are crucifying our buddha when he is not supposed to be crucified or maybe there are people who know I, like I'm, I'm i'm saying i'm just confused because people you expect and I'm, I'm i'm very glad that someone like peter b was not even there because that a, also gave me um um an idea that whatever that is going on is not something that is really acceptable by a lot of people that are that are like um, like some right thinking people. But then to have somebody like some of these people with Abure, it it, it leads me to you know it leads more questions that needs an answer. So anybody, the person that said she wants to call uh, um he wants to call a Hida, please. Say, I tell her that a lot of obedience, people like me that respect her, I appreciated her effort during the with the obedient movement and everything. I, 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 I saw her as somebody that has the same um, ideology and uh, orient um, ideological um, views and stuff like that with P2B. So if Abure is going through what Abure is going through at this point in time and she is standing strongly behind him, then I need to understand, it, it, it makes me question, like her credibility or maybe we are the ones that are just over overthinking the whole thing maybe it's not as bad as we it, it is so i would like her, someone like exactly. her, i would like to hear from somebody like her honestly that's just the way i feel about the whole the whole thing so having said that it's it's very obvious that abure is a very desperate man that is very that is a settled case for the way i see it now he is very very desperate because from what I understood before this whole uh, thing went on, 
I understood that uh, the likes of P2B and some other well-meaning members of LP asked him to, you know, not to hold that convention. Probably they were trying to do con some con consultation to have talks and everything. And the whole thing still went on, still went on in a play, in a hidden place in um uh, um somewhere in the near we like and from what i understand even though that uh somehow i think from the, some of the videos i saw it kind of refuted or maybe it was um somebody that was there that recorded i don't know but from what i understood that um that um, um what is it called that um um a journalist we are bad you know from being part of the 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 whatever that was going on there so i, I like <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I like, honestly speaking, I'm confused as about the whole thing. So, and that tells me that you see that this man is just outrightly desperate and wicked, or maybe there is more that we don't know that, that they know. Maybe we, we really need to understand because as much as we can say that we are not a, a Labour Party members, by, by the, by the reason of the fact that Peter B, who is the man that we all support, is a Labour Party by, by proxy or by whatever word we can use it, we are somehow connected with Labour Party. That's why we are concerned. So for me, I'm, I'm just, okay, let me just stop using the word we. Let me use I. For me, someone like me, that's why I, someone like me is concerned. So I really want to understand what is going on. Because the whole this thing is a, is a, is a this desperation on another level, and it's it's the audacity in another level. I don't get it. I don't understand the whole the whole thing. You know, I'm not going to talk much. You know, I'll just touch briefly on the issue of um what um, 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 um uh, there's a question that somebody put: if the forces that hold into the book can hope it to be if it to be there. Let me tell you something. If somebody holds something on you, if somebody has something on you, you know. There's possibility that the the, the power the, that uh, whatever it is, it is can still hold you. With the point I'm trying to make, just like somebody I don't I can't remember who made the get that submission. If you have committed something so much that somebody has it as 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 a as a blackmail, if I should use that word, against you, then they can hold you. When we, if we if we all remember during that election before the whole election came to play, first of all, Tinubu was not um, um what is his, what's his name? Buhari was not in support of Tinubu. Everybody knew that he was he was Tinubu was not his candidate. Was not the person he wanted to get in there, and they and also the person that from what I understand, uh, um this the Shetima was not the person that Tinubu wanted to pick for his uh, deputy. So this whole thing we are man at some point. I I want to believe that, that at some point. They made probably like a treaty that is allegedly, you know, that's my own thought. Probably they made the, like a treaty for him. So if we must get you in here, if we must go by your decision, then this is what and what you must do for you to get there. And that is why they did everything to put him there. So for the fact that they put him there, now they hold him, you know, in a, in a bad place where he must have to do what they want. After all, why do you think that with everything that happened in Niger and everything, okay. the first the first thing that he could present as as a as a remedy to the situation is that people should give uh, that governors should give land. That alone tells you that there is there are people that he is there to please dance to their tune. Otherwise, you know, a lot of things will go we go south with him. So yes, that the question is if Peter B soils him his hand to the point that people will have something against him. There's possibility that when he gets there, they'll, something will hold him. But if you're a man of integrity who says that I cannot, you know, just like the biblical, I will not eat the porridge and, and say my bite right. If you stand your ground, then so nobody will have anything to hold against you. That is just my own my own answer to that uh, question. You know, to, so that is just the way I say it. And then coming to the issue, is anybody saying something? Round up, round up. Your minute is over now. Okay, it's okay, okay, it's okay. Okay, go ahead. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Madam Nena. Thanks for your submission. Thanks for answering that question as well. Maybe other panelists might also put their two cents to it. But meanwhile, I'd like us to clarify that this statement from uh, uh, Tinubu that uh, some of you were arguing about. So let me play the video so that we we'll take it from here. Guys, I post to press on the like button. I post to share as well. God bless between, you between the two communities. They didn't go with tanks, machine guns, and other weapons. They were on a mission of peace. 
Okay, so at least this is confirmed, right? Um, Elvis, can I can I say something? Yes, sir. Coming from that background, yeah. can I just say something? Go ahead. Then. The man, the person that the person that wrote that script is just um sorry, he's an illiterate. He was uh, bad no, 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 no. That's not how you go about it, sir. I told uh, you wanted uh, to first apologize there before you go on that. I have say, been in the military, Elvis. In case you do not know, I was I, I was in an other rank. I he know. did not. There was no. There was no place. He said that they were unarmed. He just listed some heavy. Hev Hold on, he just listed talking. some heavy arms. He said they yeah, didn't but, go with but, arms, but, but machine guns, and just, other weapons. No, that video we play now. Can you repeat what he said, please? He said they listen. He said they didn't go with uh tanks, machine gun, and other weapons. Yeah. So yes. what is your argument there, Mr. Toon? I'm not arguing anything. When I'm, somebody I'm, said I'm a... other weapons, what do you mean? See. Can you clarify for us, please? Wait, when you say other weapon, other weapon in the category of heavy arms. I am just saying, I'm a just trying to... Move, see, see, a soldier cannot move listen, forward listen, with wait, 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 uh, hold on, hold, please, please, calm yourself down and talk to me. I'm, we're, we're not arguing. Not you, not you, Tone, okay. not you, Tone. What I'm, not trying you to, tone. what I'm trying to say... See, what I'm trying to say to you is that the person that wrote that script, yeah, it's just badly worded. What he's trying to say is that is, is that they did not go prepared for war. They did not go with some uh, with, with some heavy um uh amendment. Um, going but, with tank. But, but is it our job to correct oh, their mistakes? That's what I wanted to say. Are you not it now? Then, yeah, but because they made a mistake, why are you spinning it? If we no, have to be right, let's be right. That, that Mr. Time, Tune. Kind of we you just heard from him now, said oh, it, please. and other weapons. He I don't know what you say. He did not say they went unarmed. Did he say that? When you oh, said oh, he oh, didn't oh, went there with listen, he he, did he, he say that he mentioned group of, of weapons. Did hang on, hang on, Mr. Tune. You understand English? You you two maybe if you, you are, should be asking if you if you're coming in that way when somebody say an other um, weapon I just ask you a question and you're not answering he, he okay. just said an say other weapon are you coming here to teach us English let me play I'm it I'm, 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 I'm an other weapon I'm, I'm addressing what do we understand by weapon ignorance because you're ignor you you're being mischievous mischievous here the one with the you need to tune your you need to tune your language please you need to tune your language please. That, that is not a respectable because, language because for you to use for me. me. You don't know who I am. Are you the I first person care. that I, you have been in the military? I don't. I don't give what a fuck. What are you talking about? I don't care. I don't care. Okay. You talk to me. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, are you the first person that has been in the military? Yes, my friend. Go and sit down. Yeah. You don't. You just Thank as if you that that person that wrote that screen. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Black Panther, please mute yourself now. Can you be talking to somebody that I will be hearing it on the panel? Ah. You know, let me play it once more. There's, I don't know what this argument is. Between the two communities. They didn't go with tanks, machine guns, and other weapons. They were on a mission of peace. So, to, what can you say about that? Um, Niger was. Um, hold on, sir. I Elvis, just call on somebody. Elvis, with all due respect, yeah. This was it, uh, Madam Nenna, that said, or so, somebody said earlier. This is this is a badly worded script. All they were trying to say, all the pers the person that wrote that um um uh, the address was trying to say that they did not go prepared. How oh, do you know uh, what they uh, were trying to see? And that's why I don't understand. It's, 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 it's not it's <laughs> listening. Like this is common sense. Like if, if, the, if, okay. if he said that they, they went unarmed, then you can you can you you, you can prosecute okay. uh, him Let's for that. Anyway. AK-47 is a light weapon, it's not a heavy like weapon. Hold on. Uh, 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 Black Pat, Black Pat are quickly. Yes, see what the president was trying. That was a wrong script. What the president what the, what the president meant was that they didn't go with heavy arms to fight against those people. That was not just support that military men going to an area like that 
we know all their AK-47, which is light arm. <laughs> okay, they you are not are on A script that we're hopefully read in the public. yes, 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 yes. We can okay. interpret it. But okay. they didn't but, go with but, every bro, arm. now we must be interpreting. He never said on oh, arm. Hold on. Now, now we have arm, to be interpreting we can, we can be him. Calm down. Calm down. He never, down. Said, he never used the word. Now we arm. have to be interpreting everything that is said. My brother, my brother. We have to military, start interpreting US, everything. Wait, 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 Oga. If military, if military. The United Nations are going for a peacekeeping mission. It does not mean that they don't go with light arm. That is what I want you to know. They didn't go with heavy arm. Black Panther, please. Black Panther. We are the ones that are not light arm. Black Panther. Calm down now. Calm down. We are the ones that know about light arm. Calm down now. Calm down. We are the ones that know about light arm. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, please. So you people are not telling us what is on that floor, you get right? You're the, the you're the ones that know about light arm more than the more than the presidency, right? Oh, wow. See, uh, you people you can, know about light arm talk, more than talk, talk, yeah. look, you people can it's make caricature of the, the message. But it's what it's we are trying to tell people is that they didn't go with heavy arms. A military hold are going on, to that terrain. Black but... Panther, hold on. You can't you can't take you can't take this. I brought uh, I, I was the one that said this and I sent you a video. You see, this is exactly what happened when um the chicago state university said that the the, the this thing the certificate that tinubu has did not come from them and people said oh they didn't say it's fake so what is the meaning of it did not come from you so if president said they went there without arms what is light and heavy what are you talking about he said they went there without arms so, that means some of you, they are excuse some me of you, some of excuse you that me, excuse me, excuse me, Black excuse Panther, me. Please. Black Panther, you just hold on, please. Some Calm you, down, Black Panther. You can't take over I'm the... I'm not playing here. I'm, play, I'm not playing here. Yeah. Hello. Uh, um, let another person speak now. Uh, do, hello. Hold on, sir. I'm coming to you. So, Black Panther, remember you and I and other people on this platform accused spokesperson for Tinubu during the 2023 presidential election when they came to Arise and Channels Trying saying that no, that was not what Tinubu was trying to say, and we criticized them for trying to interpret what Tinubu was saying. You know, where is this noise coming from? From who? Who is doing something else from their background? We are on the live broadcast, please. Ah, you know, so if you people criticize those folks, person, then what are you guys doing now? Then, Mr. Uh, 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 Ogasiem, go ahead. Okay, yeah. Um, if you listen, listening to with open mind, listening to what Tinubu said now, they didn't go with tanks, machine guns, and the other weapons. You will believe that it is true, but I don't believe it. That is this is me speaking. I think that is from where Tun is coming by saying that this the message was wrongly worded. A soldier, ordinary the one you see, must carry at least one rifle, even if it's not one small gun. That no, what know. we are saying now, yeah. what you are or what you are saying now, guys, we already know this. Who do we blame for that speech now? That's you blame all. the you blame the because this is official uh, speech coming out. They twisted it. The person, so I the blame, person that twisted it should be in jail for deceiving uh, the president. Of course, for deceiving the president. Maybe the chief of army staff should be aware of it because the chief of huh? army staff has to brief the president, the COA, the CAS. So I know it's a lie. Just let me let me say it the way it is. It's a lie. The army left there, just like I am, me and you now in this studio. I'm not having anything in me. I just dress, would put my uni, military uniform, begin the worker, would they go there? It's a lie. Nobody can believe that. Even if ordinary pen knife, ordinary kitchen knife, ordinary this, they no carry. Only just okay. to say they went there with. Okay. So look at my hand. I don't have anything. Then Thank I will you. just go there. Mr. Elvis, let's move on. Mr. Uh, Elvis, my brother, they went with gunboats. They went with military gunboats. Go, they went gun with boat, military gunboats. Gun, gun boat is like going with a car just to convey them. It's, it's because okay. of the terrain. It's not the boat, it's gunboats. When they call it gunboats, that means it is it, 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 a military hardware. It's it not just because of the boat. The it's because the place is it's because of the terrain. If it's in the desert, they do, you don't mention boat. You can mention different types of car or mention type of vehicle. Both is because they are going in a terrain that maybe is riverine or water. Well, I, I mean, we are not illiterate, CNN. It's a lie. 
I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Mr. Elvis. Who are they? Yes, sir. Um, it's a, Mr. what will Mr. come Shoes. here? We, Mr. Shoes, Mr. Yeah. Shoes, please yeah. give us submission eight minutes. I called you before. You, didn't you don't cheat me, oh. No, 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 no. Thank you. It's a sometimes we come here, right? We need to be open minded. This this is the president talking to the world. He's not talking to you and I only. So when the president said they didn't go there with tanks, machine gun, and other weapons. I don't know how somebody can come and teach me the English again and other weapon, even a, a, a kitchen knife is a weapon. When he said an other weapon, it means they went there without weapon. That's what the message he sent us. We know what happened. That's that's what we should be thinking and talking about. We we can continue to 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 defend indefensible, and this is what is, is happening right now in Niger Delta. People are talking. Yes, we commiserate with the families, with the dead, right? But is it right for the army to go down there and burn everything? I remember 2015, in this country, in United Kingdom, a Nigerian stabbed a soldier to death. No soldier was sent there. The police went there and do their job. And you see men sit down on national TV to tell you that the soldiers should go there and burn everything. Mr. Elvis, how can you, are, you, you commit a crime now and they go and, 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 and hold your family responsible? That's what we're talking about here. Yes, uh, on that, that side, you're missing things up, long. Mr. Nobody is saying that. I See, I don't nobody is saying that, that you are saying now. Sorry, I'm not talking to you. I'm making my, my submission, please. I'm making a submission. I'll finish with with the with the, the topic of uh, going with gunboat or, or not going with gunboat. I'm just making my submission. Go ahead with your submission. Thank you, sir. So, you see, this is the problem we are facing in Nigeria. People not seeing things as it should be. People are saying, go and take the community leaders, go and take everybody. Why? Why would the community pay for somebody, somebody's crime? What is the essence of the police? What is the essence of the uh, 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 SSS or whatever they call themselves? If somebody commits a crime here, you don't go and bring down the place. You do your investigation and go and pick up those people. What kind of country are we living in? And you see men without shame coming out to say such thing. I mean, I, I, I cry when I, I listen to people talk about, you know, that it is right for, for the military to go there because these people have been hiding these people. Hiding who? You go there and do a, your, your, your job. If somebody is hiding the person, let the person pay the price, not the community. We have community start shielding everybody. Did you went there and the community said you're not coming in to take him? That's why they said common sense is not common. I'm so angry with what is happening there. So angry because I don't know how people can 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 justify that. Imagine me being there. And knowing nothing about this. That's how I feel. And all these people saying this, imagine them being there and knowing nothing about this, and this is done to them. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Because there's nothing. Okay. I don't have problem with him going there to give them national honor or whatever he wants. He can do whatever he wants. But all I know is he's trying to appease the, mili the military. He's trying to appease them. There's, nothing, there's no way he can justify this. And that's why he's happy to tell us that they went there without weapon. That's why he's happy to tell us. Is, is he dumb? That he cannot understand simple English? Is that what he, they're telling me? I can't blame anybody who wrote that speech because if he write a speech for me and I read it, 
I, I can tell you now. Go back and do, rewrite this speech. I can I can say this. Do you know how many steps uh, 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 you will take before the, 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 you get the speech to him? How many people that will, 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 will proofread that, 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 that speech? We should stop giving excuses for all these men trying to, to, to box us into a corner. Because that is exactly what they're doing. Look at what happened in, 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 in Senegal. The people come out, do their own bidding. The judiciary did their own bidding. But in Nigeria, they must find one way or the other to box us in the corner. We cannot continue like this. We cannot continue like this. Every day we talk, we talk, we talk. And we, the more we talk, the more you look at Nigeria and you see nowhere Nigeria is going to get better. What me anywhere? There's no. It, 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 I'm coming here because I am pained. Looking at it, I don't see any savior for Nigeria. Okay. People are saying, uh, uh, "Oh, the, you cannot Islamize us." Black Black Panther, right? They've, we've already been Islamized. They are not trying to, and I can explain it to you. Because you cannot have a, 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 a society whereby you have the, the, the normal law and the Sharia law. Have you lived in the North before? Go and live in the North. You will know that you are, you, you've already been Islamized because you dare not do whatever you're supposed to do as a citizen there. You dare not. You can't go out there now and drink beer. Is that not Islamized? Can, can I ask you a question? Yes. You are you, you are saying you have been Islamatized. Why can't they stop the people from the east from not to drink beer or not to wear ski pants in public? I okay. don't know where you are getting all this. I will, I will answer you that. Make a speech. I'm Just hang on. I will answer you that. Today. I will answer you that. Yeah, Black Panther. I live in the UK. Yeah, if I want now, I will go to Manchester. Right. As long as I, I live within the law of the UK, I can do anything I want there. Okay? Okay, one minute, sir. If, one I, minute. if I step out from Anambra State, which is where I come from, to go to Kano today, I cannot drink and uh, walk on the street. I cannot. Okay, Randall. So if that is not Islamization for you, for me, it's Islamization. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chooks. Uh, let me pick this call quickly. Sir, I can see you call a uh, couple sorry, of times. Man. You only have you have two minutes, sir. Just go straight to the point. Two minutes. Even two minutes is too much. If I was on your platform, it's 30 seconds, one minute. I just want to chip in on what you people said there, but Latinobu said. Mr. Niger Watch, let the people not be deceived. I wore uniform. I completed 35 years and I left as a senior officer. Budgeted. Hey. A colonel cannot go to a place without arming himself with at least a pistol. Every other person behind him is carrying a light arm. What Bolatinubu is telling you people indirectly is that they did not go there for war. No tanks, no armored cars, mm. no this and that and that. So well, that does not represent that they didn't have any arms on them. Okay, okay. And that's all I just want to tell you. Whether people agree with me or not, they can challenge me. I'm oh. talking from experience. God thank, bless you. Thank you, Ramos, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Let, yeah, let me sorry take to this. have called in again. No problem, sir. No problem. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Mr. Chris, thanks for calling in, sir. Good evening to you. Please go ahead. You have three minutes. Yeah. Um, good evening, Mr. Nanja. Uh, good evening, everybody on the panel. Everybody in the comment section. Everybody listening to us all over the world. My name is Chris. I'm speaking from Dublin. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, and good evening, everybody. Um, I completely respect the opinion of everybody on the on the panel and on the comment section. But I'm just taking aback that we are discussing that speech and we seem to be confused. The intent and the purpose of that speech is very clear. It's just the presidency making excuses for whatever happened that day. And these two excuses are one. It's just trying to say that the military, they were not armed. That was why they were being able to be quiet the way they were quiet. 
And the other part is that they are trying to justify that the military went there for peace and nothing else. So there's no mistake in that speech. There's no question of the person that wrote the speech made a mistake or the person should be. I don't know. It's, it's, it was, they know exactly what they were doing. And that's the message they've passed across. That the military were not armed. That was why they were being able to be defeated the way they were. And also, they didn't go there for peace. So it was the community that had aggression against the military. So that's just it. Then for mm -hmm. Black Panther, Black Panther, I think you have to rethink and um, what um, Islamization means. It doesn't mean that everybody will not start hearing Quran everywhere we go. It's already upon you. It's already upon you. You already see the double standard everywhere in the society. Look at the way, just look at the, the how many people in Iceland did they release? How many? Mm -hmm. 300. That's just the tip of the iceberg. It happens every time, everywhere. And we are still talking about uh, nobody is going to, they cannot Islam. How else do you want them to do it until they start forcing everybody to go to mosque or whatever? Well, that's my view. Good evening, thank sir. You. Thank you for the opportunity to contribute. Okay, Chris, thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you. Okay, call us. I'm Mr. Evans, what, what, one more yeah. lie in that speech. One more lie in that speech is that he said the army restrained themselves that there was no reprisal. That's another thing the president said there, that the army restrained themselves that there was no reprisal attack. Meanwhile, people have been killed. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, um, let me call on the next person. Uh, let me go to Mr. Jonathan. Mr. Jonathan, it is your turn to talk to us right now. Good evening to you, sir. Please talk to thank us. You, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Elvis. Uh, Please walk uh, your time or eight minutes because we have food. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, greetings to all the panelists and all those that are on the comment section. Those that are listening. Greetings to everyone. Uh, welcome. Um, I just, you know, briefly want to start on those videos that you presented at the beginning of uh, today's uh, broadcast. The pastor uh, that is a, a barrister, uh, what's his name? Laborious, I believe that is his name. Yeah, that guy. I, yeah, the guy is neither here nor there for me. He's a, you know, he's a normal guy. I kind of like him. The, the one who was talking about the uh, pastor destroying Christianity. And, um, you know, they are ma pretty much, they are magicians. They are scammers, you know. They're now called, that are now pastors. Um, I like the way he frame it. Uh, God of men. They are God of men. They are not men of God. You know. And uh, today, uh, an average Nigerian, an average Christian, their loyalty is not to Jesus Christ, their Lord and Savior. Their, their loyalty is just to, to mere men. Those are the key things I pick from what he said. And those are things that I completely agree with. And um, if we are going to see any deliverance, let me use the word deliverance now, um, going by, you know, the topic that he spoke on, Christianity, spirituality, and all the rest of it. Uh, if we are going to receive or get any deliverance in Nigeria, it's not going to be at the exclusion of the Christian leaders and as well as the Muslim leaders, if I may add. But for us as Christians, Nigeria is not going to get any serious deliverance if these people do not really hold to the truth. Because they are the one, they have the platform, they have the megaphone, they have the followership. And most of them, if not all of them, they are not using it. They are only using it for their own pockets. They are using it for their own pockets, not for the good of the country. They have missed it all completely. They are out of line. It is all about themselves alone, not about the good of the common man, which is even the center point, the center focus of Christianity itself. But for them, they care less. They just don't give a damn. It's just to acquire more and more and more and more. And people have been trapped. So Nigeria 
as a country cannot really get any deliverance without these people really playing their role. They just have to do it. And I hope they will do it, whether as they say, whether by, by force or by fire. If those of them that cannot do it, they will pack up and they will get out. Those of them that will see, that, 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 that will think and repent and do the needful, begin to do the right thing, those are the ones amongst them that will remain standing. I just want to, you know, put that out there. And with respect to the Labour Party convention, the, the crooked Labour Party, the so-called national convention, the, the issue with Nigeria is just that, you see, as I always say, many people, especially those in Nigeria, those living in Nigeria, politicians we know, that is their mantra. But the followership, the citizens too, they are bought into it. They, 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 they talk and pretend as if Nigeria is a normal country. Nigeria is not a normal country. That is one thing that we got to reality. Because if someone is sick and the person does not see himself as being a sick man, he will cry until he will, he will just sleep one day and will not wake up. Or he will just be walking, he will just slump in the middle of the road and that will just be the end. Or it will get to a point that I will not even be able to walk or talk again. That is the problem of Nigeria. Even Nigerians believe the country is not normal. It is when Nigeria no re recognizes that fact that Nigeria is not a normal country. Don't talk as if when you are when you are tackling a problem, you are discussing the issues of Nigeria. Don't talk. Don't deal with Nigeria as if Nigeria is a normal country. Nigeria is far from it. The media. I know for them in Nigeria, I know that they know. They are aware, but they pretend a lot. Some don't know. I give it to them. But the Nigerian media and the so-called elites, I call them so-called elites, they are aware that Nigeria is not a normal country. Those are the pretenders amongst them. Nigeria is not a normal country. A national convention. Is that normal? So the lady that Madame Inena talked, she was there pretending. She's one of those pretenders, as if it's normal. Thank you for, you know, pinpointing that one, that lady. I know her very well. She's very outspoken. Throughout 2023 campaign, she was all over the place. She's from Cross River State, Port Harcourt. She's based in Port Harcourt. Hilda. She, she's basically no, she, she's an equated woman. She's not okay. from Cross River. She's equated. Okay. That woman, she's very, she's all over the place. She's a pretender. That's what I'm talking about. She's the one. She, her own is not of ignorance. Her own is pretense. She knows that this is not normal. What is going on there is not normal. And you are supporting it as if it is normal. So it goes across board in Nigeria. Deli Farotimi said it. We are not citizens. Nigeria, if you think you are citizens, you are not. Nothing is normal in that country. Another example again, very obvious one, Ruben Abati today on national TV saying that if you are declared wanted, that the man, that guy, that guy that we saw his video, who's, he has, he has, he's a nickname, he's also, uh, his name is uh, also Ruben. And that guy, and Ruben Abati making his comment, he said, and uh, since you have been declared wanted, all you need to do is just to go and surrender. That's another pretender. That thing is a disease. Ruben Abati, you know Nigeria is not a normal country. Why are you pretending? It is only in a normal country that someone will be declared wanted, the person will go and meet his lawyer, and himself and his lawyer, they will go to the nearest police station and he will surrender himself in a normal country. Nigeria is not normal. Who, who, do, who would do that in Nigeria? Who declare wanted where there is no rule of law, where they will take, they will, once, they, once, once they handle you, they will, first of all, they will rough handle the person, you know, throw him inside and forget him there. Especially if the person has no means, he has no money, he can't even get a real lawyer. 
In a normal country, even if you don't have a lawyer, you will surrender yourself. The state immediately will provide you a lawyer, a good one for that matter. And then the, your, your fundamental woman right will be respected. Meaning, within 48 hours, you will be see, you, you will find yourself in front of a judge. If it is a bailable, if it is a bailable offense, you'll be bailed. So Nigeria is not a normal country. So let's stop pretending that Nigeria it is. Nigeria is not a normal country. And until we recognize that, until we realize that Nigeria is not, is it a normal country? What happened in Okoma and all the lies being perpetrated, even by the, the person that is at the ends of affair, the, the so-called president himself? Is that normal? Everything about that country is not normal. It's abnormality across board. And again, I okay. want to say I want to say yes to the election of Basir Rufai of Senegal. Yes, I say yes that yes, his election is a game changer in Africa. It is a game changer. I want to say yes to that. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, thank, you, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Elvis. Thanks to everyone. Really appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thank you very, very much. Okay, let me come to Oga uh, uh, CM. After Oga CM will be ECBD. You know, ECBD, okay, get okay. ready. Go ahead, sir. Good uh, Mr. 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 Um, Najawash, you have skipped me three times. Uh, but you know, say for some of now, that, that, that is why I, I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I was just keeping quiet. You skipped me three times. Black Panther, yeah. you are spoke for you are spoken for ten minutes already. Let me be so one. Talk. No, 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 no. <laughs> when we are having argument, is, is, is. <laughs> all the argument, eh? talk, Wait, I, I need to speak. I need to speak <laughs> now. If I forget my what I want to say. Okay, okay, Augustine, please wait. Let him go. Go ahead. Speak. Uh, I, I greetings to Thank from me to everyone <laughs> out there, and greetings to our <laughs> elders and everybody that have spoken. I want to make this statement. I'm ready to get anybody annoyed. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to insult anybody, but I'm ready to get people annoyed. And if your if your audio not go down and on, or down and on as usual, go ahead. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Niger Wash. Thank you, Mama in the Aspra. May God bless you, man, and keep you for us. Um, I want to say something here. You see. The elders that we have in Nigeria, 85% of them are not speaking the truth. And they want to set try, they want to set rhetoric out that will cause a big blow. A very big blow that led to so many, so many WAR, so many African countries. Even tribal tribalism has led to WAR, so many countries that they've not been able to rectify up till now. We are speaking. I am disappointed in so many of our elders that continue to speak this trajectory and don't give us the roadmap where you are big. Don't, don't give us a skeleton or one thing that we are seeing that makes you to conclude. You must bring your fact to the table. If people keep on saying Nigeria is already Islamatized. Do you know what it is to, to move from, 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 from River Niger down to move more than more than a hundred million people to be? To, to, to be to be forced into Islamatization, or do you think Islamatization is by is by trick, or is by somebody having a Islamic law in uh, the north and somebody having a, a, a normal law in the south? Then they will come and force into your throat. Do you think they are forcing into our throat? If you can be able to observe that they are Islamatizing, no. Why didn't you observe that they are going to switch off the vivas? Why didn't you observe that? I, I'm talking to our elders. Why didn't you observe that? This is the 21st century, and you keep on talking about right. Does the Islamization give you right to speak? No. Does the Islamization give you right to wear your normal clothes? No. Does the Islamization make you to speak freely on the press? No. When the North is, is going through Sharia, or whatever, is it total Sharia they are practicing? No. That is why when they figure out Sharia in that constitution, they mentioned it. But they didn't say the North 
shall be governed with Sharia law. Go and look to your constitution. Everything that is happening today in Nigeria, there is none that have not happened. The only thing that I would, I would subject out that have not happened is like is the, 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 the terrorism. When they say give land to, 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 to Fulani in the South, has anybody given land to them? No. We then compare it to do it, they will try, but they will not succeed. No, they can't succeed. Do you I ask a question? How many of you know the process of Islamatizing a country? Bring it out. We want to know. Give us reason. Give it, bring it out. We are scholars here. We want to know. We cannot come here to sell reject that will cost WARU in a country that have experienced civil war before. Islamization is a very, very strong word used out in the press. That is why some of us are going to trajectory of a new constitution or we set up a good electoral law that will enable us to use electronics transmission. That is why we are saying it. But when we keep on coming here, because many of us are angry, if they want to, uh, if you want to Islamatize Nigeria for 35 years of uh, a military rule, ruled by the Northerners, why have we, is that not a very easy way to Islamatize the country? If they carry a barrel of gun to face to your face to you, will you not, will you not subject yourself to, to follow Islam? Why didn't they do it? Then the man in Agbada will come and do it, and you will not concur. How, how is that possible? Please, I beg every one of our elders, please send a good message out. Don't send what you are assuming. Send a good message out. If they have been, if Islam, Islamic people have been, they are trying to prove themselves as superior over the Christian. That's a new thing. But that does not subject us that that does not say mean that we are being Islamatized. Please, please, we should please try to change that trajectory. We are trying to put fear into Nigerians. This is political superiority, and this is wealth accumulation. They are trying to take your wealth from you. And develop other other places. People come from other countries to become president, to become ministers. You have not talked about that. You are talking about uh, uh, Islamization that will cause war. Do you know how many we have? Well over hundred million, over hundred million Christians. Do you think that is possible? That won't lead to war. What are we saying? Our elders are continuing to say that rhetoric. I said something here, which I, I, well, one of our elders came and 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 and, and said it clearly. And I want to say something again. I want to thank you, sir, for your for your good service as a, 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 a retired military officer to, to in Nigeria. Good. I want to thank you, sir, for serving your country well. And to everybody here, when we have a, an ex military man here, we should learn to respect them. The military man is saying something here. Nobody wants to listen. And I said something here that a, a military man will not walk into even if you want to go and want to go and make peace. He must not, it's not compulsory, he must go with heavy weapon, which is well known. He must go with a weapon that is soft that they can use because every military man following a colonel or a lieutenant, you must hold your weapon to safeguard that senior officer for you are following. That is military protocols. You cannot go with your, your officers without not holding a light weapon. And somebody was laughing at me, what is light weapon? And when we say something here, people will start saying, oh, oh, you are, you are disrespecting me. If you don't know what's light weapon, go and Google it and get the meaning of a light weapon and heavy weapon. I want to say something about Abure. This is the same thing we said, the all of us were arguing. I said Abure did not get, yesterday, I, somebody asked me, I said no, that Aime did not attend it. And I want to thank my brothers out there that have been giving me some little information that I've been dozing out. I said, Abure will not make a way forward. The election is just forget about the election. The BOT will take over the party very soon. And that's their constitutional, it's in the constitution. If the party is in disarray, the BOT can come in and take it. Which you, I'm with the constitution here. It is it's on internet. Let, let, let us go and read the constitution of Labour Party. It's there. And when I said something here that uh, 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 the, the, the chairman or former chairman of the uh, uh, Labour Party, he has a problem. This is do or die for him because the present party, I don't know who might have made a deal with him because this thing has never happened before where a single chairman will take a political party somewhere and organize the party without even following the rules and regulations of, of it itself. Who gave him that guts to do it? 
the person that can that can even think about that gave him that God is APC, the present people ruling us. That's the only man that can give somebody a God like that to do that. And for your information, he will be he will be thrown out, and the court will non and void his election very soon. Thank you, Mr. Niger Watch. Okay, thank you very much, my brother Black uh, Black Panther. God bless you. Augustine, please talk to us. You have your eight minutes. Can I ask him a question before before Mr. C? He doesn't have in. minutes to respond to the question, sir. He doesn't have it's okay. been, a lot of people are waiting. Augustine, okay. please go ahead. Okay. Just thank, put the question you. down, please. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Okay, thank you, Niger Watch, and uh, I greet everybody. All protocols duly observed. Let me quickly answer the question. Can the forces that control Tinubu control P2B when he becomes president? First, I do not believe that there's any that is the first sentence is I do not believe that there is any forces controlling Tinubu. What Tinubu is doing is the script he must have signed secretly. So it's not a force. Now, because I believe so, if Peter B did not sign any pre-agreement, whether secret or in the open, before getting in, no force can control him. You're a victim of the God you wish to worship. That's all for that. Now, Ale um, Nonyema uh, said 200,000 to 2,000 pound in the UK versus 200,000 in Naira in Nigeria. Anyway, what I will tell the man is that uh, let him not push his luck too far. Let him just consign himself to his aviation business. He cannot tell me the cost of living in UK, no matter what it is, with 200,000 Naira in Nigeria. What if the person falls sick? What of buying Panadol in Nigeria? I go to Tesco here, buy Panadol without looking back. Use my left hand, pick it, go and pay. Because I know it's genuine. With your 1 million naira in Nigeria, if you are buying Panadol, you must have to check. Maybe scratch and ask Navdak. There are a lot of things. There are a lot of things that is a sort of included in, the, in that 2,000 pound. So he should not just draw the parable. If, or the parallel, if the intention is to dissuade the sort of discourage people from moving out of the country. Let him get to his feet and say so, and not just to make cheap uh, whatever. It does not rhyme at all. 1,500 pounds in the UK is still better than 200,000 naira in Nigeria. There is what they call stress and happiness. You can't get it. Anyway, I don't want to waste my time on it. That will be a, a good debate when I have time. Then uh, Abure's uh, self succession gambit. I call it a gambit because he knows he's wasting his time. The fact that INEC did not send a representative to observe it is so enough. Somebody analyzed it on TVC saying because this is a veritable excuse for anybody to refuse whatever Labour Party says. He said, after all, I don't, I don't recognize Abure as the, as the party chairman. When you say that, he said, did INEC observe the convention that threw you up? That's all. It's as simple as that. So I don't want to delve into it, but it's a disgrace that the man who says he's a lawyer is behaving in this way. What really is it in, in being a Labour Party chairman at all costs? Look at the way he's disgracing himself. I'm so, so, so disappointed. But I know, like I said earlier, he's, he's um, I mean, he's laying claim to being elected is null and void. It's ultra virus. In fact, it can't stand the test of time. It will be thrown out in due course because Right from forces in Labour Party will challenge it. They, they will tell him that, look, this is an illegal uh, gambit that you just, I mean, this is a gambit anyway, it's an illegal mission. He went to do whether it's at Ineo or it's even in my, in my home village, I don't bother. It's illegal. Then uh, the other one is uh, Remy uh, Tinubu's uh, donation of 1 billion naira. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, that one safe. Anyway, we all know the answer. First, the office of first lady is illegal. Ordinarily, in a same country, in a same country, you should have asked him how did you come about this one billion? I believe for her to donate one billion, she will have at least one billion left somewhere. So she's already a billionaire. Because if you you're, if you uh, if you can make one billion naira or two whatever, you're a billionaire. So she's not donating in billions because she's first lady. That is to tell you the state of decadence that is in nigeria i don't know anyway because you know in nigeria people leave the substance and chase the shadow this woman she is the way she even talks and the way her comportment says a lot about uh, what brought the uh, two of them into into marriage tinubu and uh, tinubu and his criminal business that we all know is on the open 
and then you know like begets like that's what i will say for that now the military the uh, the honor given to the our the fallen heroes the military people that died giving honor to me i do not go against it like somebody observed you should have waited for the inquiry since you said inquiry to know what happened you could have at least tallied there while and wait when the inquiry comes out or whatever investigation you are doing then you can go ahead because at first but the thing is when they were, were going there are they were they deployed leg i mean sort of officially because the chief of army staff or whoever they are serving under should first of all deploy them did they go there legally that is the first question to answer in which case they did not break any law they were on duty if that is the case though, fair enough now what did they do there like what they are saying that brings me to what the president read i do not believe any single word of that it's a lie Common sense tools tells me that I cannot, as CMD where I am, wear military uniform just like that and said I'm going for peacekeeping. Nothing, nothing, no arm. It's a lie. They are just trying to cover up. Meanwhile, it would have been better to ask the communities there that saw them, the villagers where they went to, because some people must have seen them coming. If to ask them, somebody can say maybe or on a in confidence, say, did you see them? Yes, we saw them. Did you see any of them with arms? Um, they will say yes. Somebody might tell you yes. We know Nigerian military. Ordinary to check, uh, what is it called, between the Navy and the Onisha, to check um, a motor vehicle particulars, or just, just nothing, doing police duty. They are armed, and, they sh and, and they're fired at, at will. Now they know that there is a communal clash, and they are going there unarmed. Why is he trying to deceive? That's, ru that's rubbish. I do not believe even the paper is written on. It's just a lie from the pit of hell. What I had in, in retrospect, what I had expected Tinubu as the CNC to be telling Nigerians is those lists you published that these are the terror, people that are sponsoring terrorism in Nigeria. It is not me that released it, because if it's me, people may say it's a propaganda. This is officially the government you entrust to protect your life and property. They are now telling you that these are the people doing it. Publish a list. What is happening to them? That's why I asked that day, what next? What is happening to them? So that tells you the state of the, where Nigeria is really headed. We are not heading anywhere. It's just a deceit. People deceiving people. You published a list of terror by your own admission. You. If it were the other party, maybe Labour Party or PDSA is prop this you are the government, you have everything under your control. You said you you selected the you know the names. What is happening to them today? Yet you are telling us about the nonsense. Now, let me go going forward. This is an advice to people listening. What hap what is happening in uh, Delta State, Okuawa and all those things, is because we haven't learned the lesson. Odi happened one day Basanjo. No lessons was no lessons we are were, were learned. Zakibian the same thing. In the Western world, not that they don't have calamities. They do. But when it happens, they will sit down and say, look, we want to conduct an inquiry. The inquiry is not necessarily to know who to punish or the way they say the ass to kick. Of course, that is part of the inquiry. But most importantly, what they want is, how do we stop? What did we get wrong? What made it possible for this thing to happen? Then how do we prevent it in future? That's why sometimes you see people will say, when this thing happens, say, when you ask the victim, you say, look, I don't want this thing to happen to any other parent. It happens in the UK. Maybe they kidnap somebody or something happened or they abuse one, um, maybe one pedophile abuse one small girl. And they are then they say, look, at this any any parent or any parents a uh, nightmare. I don't want it to happen in, in, to any parent again. Let me be the last. Please do inquiry. That is the essence of inquiry. Because if they had done inquiry in Odi, they would have known what it means to send military to. That is assuming these people were deployed. They were not deployed on illegal mission. Say they were deployed uh, rightly. They would have known what it. They should have, have a sort of a code of practice whereby they said any military leaving the barracks and you are going to quell a civilian confrontation or whatever, whatever you call, these are what to do. I mean, to avoid that of Odi. Because then we say we've learned this lesson that when they are going, they should be this or this or that. But we've not learned anything. And that is why this thing happened. Then we went, this thing happened in Zakibiam. The same thing. Now, Okuawe again. 
what is the guarantee? That's what I'm asking now. That in four, five, say, ten years' time, this thing won't repeat itself. Maybe somewhere around there, it could be another coastal area. So Nigeria, we've not learned anything. We've not learned anything. Without apportioning blame so far yet, apportioning blame, what I what I going forward, there must be inquiry into what happened. Let this be the last. We've had Odi, we've had Zakibian. Let this be the last time this type of thing will happen. Because when you do inquiry, conduct inquiry, you come up with a white paper and say, these are what we found. And these are what we have to put in place. Going forward, we shouldn't be repeating this type of thing. That is what Nigeria needs. Apart from that, look, this thing will be repeated. It will repeat itself again. Then as per what, uh, um, uh, what the president was saying, all these things are just blabbing. Let me Round just... One minute. Yes, I don't, I, don't, I don't believe in it. I don't. I can't even trust that sentence. <clears throat> The, if whatever he said, giving award, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not against the rehabilitating those people, building houses. I mean, you could have, you can do more. Whatever you give them, I'm in support. But only you should have waited, finish what the inquiry, and then know. Because even if you want to do, at least you now know what you are doing. Let it not be a case of like somebody else, of course, it's quite, it's quite correct that after doing this, you found out that really they didn't even deserve our award. Anyway, by the way, you do Nigerians give award to thieves. I remember one chap, former minister, under Jonathan, I don't know, was it under Buhari? He was given an award. Then later it was, uh, he was being tried or something for fraud. Then the father said, uh, why did you give him an award before now? You know, you know all those things. So Niger Watch, Nigeria is really, is still the more you look, the less you see. I yield here. Thank you. Thank you, Augustine. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. All right. Sorry. Yes, sir. I just want to ask Augustine, uh, Dr. CM, one, one, uh, one quick question. What is the expected outcome of this inquiry that you talked about? In a, because, as I said earlier, Nigeria is not a normal country. So, what would be the expected outcome? Your minutes don't start to now. Eight minutes you get to guard Jonathan. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> Jonathan. Okay, okay, Jonathan. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry I, will, I will waste your time. Well, I'm expecting an outcome to say that. This we are what maybe the host community did wrong. This we are what our military did wrong. This we are what is the cause of the problem going forward. This is this is this is this. That's what something like something I want. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. I won't waste your time. Okay, Mr. Jonathan, go ahead with your submission. Thank you, sir. Good evening to you. No, no I gave my submission earlier, Mr. Evans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even I, I gave my one. submission. Oh, you were really the first. Yeah, but actually, you, you, I, I didn't spend up to eight minutes yeah. in my submission. Okay, yeah, no, 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 you cannot cheat. You cannot, cannot cheat. You cannot cheat. Now, it's CBD now. <laughs> thank you. You can me. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, sir. And to everyone. Well, uh, you see, where do we start from now? I think... Um, uh, let me just start from this part of, uh, you know, this uh, mistake that we talked about, but I think it has already passed. We've already handled that. But I just wish that we stop doing this thing, thinking that, first of all, nobody can separate all over the world. There's no presidency or president that has given a speech and uh, maybe something went wrong and they start looking for their speechwriter to blame. You know, is his speech that, in fact, you're not even supposed to have a, nobody assumes that you have a speechwriter. It's just something, or nobody knows for sure or can say for sure that you have a speechwriter. So you just have, it's just something that we know oh, there's probably someone that wrote. So nobody should come and make any excuse for anybody. And uh, at the same time, we already know uh, none of us here is uh, that um you know uninformed to know that uh, soldiers cannot move even if they are going for the most peaceful event definitely they have their uh, some kind of weapon on them but if uh, someone says they don't or probably did not uh, put it coherently as, as they should i don't think it's our job to now come and start trying to make a case for that person because they know what they are doing to be honest and uh at the same time, uh, you see this thing of um, ISWAP releasing all those people. I don't know if we are seeing the handwriting on the wall. I'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist or anything, but uh, in which part of the world now is uh, 
some people just wake up early in the morning or somewhere and just decide they want to release oh all of a sudden they are just feeling happy and so uh, so much in love with these terrorists that they want to just release them and uh, we cannot ask ourselves previously uh, what are the conditions or what exactly happened that they told us that they've released the school children in Kaduna? Is it not the same Uba, is it Uba Sani? Is it not the same person that said that he doesn't know or care how, what was, you know, whatever happened, but he's just happy that his children are, are released? So it's quite unfortunate that we are seeing all these things play before our very own eyes. And uh, we are, you know, the people have been put in a state of, uh, you know, they don't even know. It, it seems like nobody wants to react because. Uh, they are now getting used to this kind of things happening. And um, for our brother here that is saying something about uh, Islamization and all that stuff, you know, we need to put it also clear that um, it's not, we are not talking about the Muslim general public or Islam. Um, I think we need to understand that there are some religion in the world that some leaders would prefer for those religions should you know to be the dominant religion in their in the space where they govern because of uh, it might be easy for them to uh, you know to to do whatever they like or, and you know the people will be under the religion they themselves they are not even true adherents of that religion they are just using it for their power uh, for their power games you know to be honest so yeah, there's the Islamization thing. I think sometimes we mistake it for maybe that maybe it's like a gospel, like you know, people go and preach and say you convert willingly. If you look at the the footprints of um, uh, radical or this extreme Islamization kind of agenda, it's not about that. You know what they do? They don't care whether you willingly or you don't willingly. What they do is just to enforce a lot of you know or create some kind of environment whereby you don't have any choice you know so it's only maybe those that are born into it that can now willingly embrace it somehow which is how they did uh you know the Aosa people of the north uh you know what they did to their kings when the jihad when they came with their jihad conquest you know to northern part of nigeria which was stopped along um, um is it the middle belt by the thieves and other people so uh, it's just, that's just how it is, and uh, we should stop expecting that, oh, because we are so divided, you think that they cannot do their will up there. So the Islamization, that the way I understand it, is something that they do in terms of administration and uh, governance. Doesn't have to be that, oh, they'll come and tell you that now you have to, what they watch you, you have to pray, I don't know how many times, is it five times a day or what? So that's not, uh, that's not how I see it as. So, and uh, for the airpiece man, uh, I think everybody will agree that the man has been doing well. The man has uh, been voicing out his frustrations and everything, and how, uh, you know, hard it is for him to operate in Nigeria, despite all his goodwill and everything he has been trying to do to uplift Nigeria. So we commend him for that. We are not going to say because of one statement he made that we are going to forget how he has rescued Nigerians, you know, he has stood in for the government and done, you know, a lot of things for the Nigerian people. But I feel like obviously uh, whatever he's saying about the 200,000 and, uh, uh, you know, 2,000 pounds or euro, I think, uh, you know, it's uh, kind of misinformed because we know sometimes this uh, man, so maybe the last time he knew what 200,000 was, maybe the last time was when it really had value. So you, maybe. I'm just assuming. But you see, uh, 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 for you to even have a middle-class kind of lifestyle in Nigeria, you should be earning at least a million, in my own opinion. Bro. Not even upper middle class, probably some basic level middle class. You should earn at least a million there. Uh, 300,000 was what I earned when I just left uh, is it school. Uh, some high school, you know, from college, and uh, you know, just the first few months, so just three hundred thousand naira. So now you're talking about this current situation, what we are facing, and everything, and you're talking about two hundred thousand. So that's that's uh, a misinformed, uh, you know, uh, 
um, opinion or view that he has on the whole thing. So I feel like, um, obviously, if you have a chance to earn uh, 2,000 pounds or 2,000 euros, you should pursue that. So yeah, I think I'll just leave it there for now, Mr. Elvis. Thank you so much. Hello. Thank you. Oh, guys, CBD, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Mr. Mr. Elvis. Yes, sir. Please. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, one minute. Uh, is it Mr. Jonathan? Just one minute. And please, uh, before, finally, I forgot to speak on this. Eh? I know my minute is still remaining like two minutes or so. You see, no, uh, seconds. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But you see, I don't know. Nobody should be attacking me here when I try to give my opinion on Abure and Labour Party, to be honest. Because I feel like, um, do I think Abure is a, is, a, is, a, is a blameless man? No. But at the same time, I don't think that Abura is our problem in Nigeria right now, or Labour Party. And Labour Party, as for what it's worth, they've been doing, their, it's, an, it's a party that is just finding its feet. And definitely there will be some things to be fixed in the party. But so far, if you're to weigh the, you know, the good and the bad, this is the same party that has produced uh, someone like Governor Alex Oti, that is a revolutionary governor that is trying, that is transforming Abia State. And uh, at the same time, everything, the same Labour Party we are talking, I didn't know the ones that held, uh, is whatever they held, hearing or investig internal investigation, and still cleared the same abure of the allegations of uh, billions. And at the same time, if the man is not convicted, I don't know why we should. Someone spoke earlier about how the people that are staunch obedience are by his side. I don't think, uh, I think sometimes we might be going, internet is a very, uh, uh, you know, scary place sometimes. And sometimes it's good for us not okay, to be you. carried away by uh, this uh, social media uh, agenda yeah. that they are trying to push. Thank so you. let us nice not get this. Nice nice let uh, us, thank you. Thank you, sir. Let us face our problem in Nigeria. That's what I'm oh, saying. Oh, Please. God. Oh, guys, CBD, what's happening now? How can I am stopping you? You are still talking, talking, talking. It's not nice. We have people waiting. Okay, okay. okay. Let me move on to the next person uh, here. Uh, Mr. Mr. Elvis, please. I just you can't want to... ask questions. You can't ask questions. No, it's not question. I just want to add something, just 20 seconds or so. I just Go want ahead. to add... Yeah, thank you very much. I just want to add to this subject of Islamization. Nigeria is... Already an Islam is 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 uh, how do you call it now a, a nation already there is no doubt about that it's it's already how do you, how else do you want to you know spin that see how on head our Nigerian army flag emblem there is Islamic inscription on it so hence when you see them believing that they own the Mr. Nigerian Jonathan, people. Mr. Jonathan, yes. I will cut you there. That thing will be there for more than 45 exactly. years. Uh, no, hey, so that's what I'm saying this, now. Let us stop this okay, wait, now. Wait, let me, wait, wait. What, then what okay, is this all right. thing? Okay. Okay. We don't have even any point. Our, okay, even our Naira, go, even the Naira that we spent, the 200 Naira, the 1,000 Naira, has an Islamic inscription on it. So what are we talking about? Okay, thank you. Is, is, thank, uh, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Tunaja, please, I'd like you to talk to us. Good evening to you, sir. Is Tunaja still with us, sir? Oh, he left. Uh, says, oh, sorry. I didn't know Tunaja left already. Okay, let me move on to uh, give us a mandate. It's good to have you on the show. Please talk to us, sir. Good evening to you. We can't hear you. Okay, let me chip in this thing, Niger Watch. Since uh, give us a mandate is... Is, is quickly, sir. Quickly, let me have okay. my yeah, exactly. Yeah, what I want to chip in is that I'm not here to attack anybody. What I'm attacking is Julius Abure. So if you are holding, if you, anybody holding brief for Julius Abure, it means I'm attacking the person. But all I'm attacking is Julius Abure because he conducted an illegal convention, and that's why I call his reelection a gambit. The law says INEC must be president, and they've discussed it widely today in, in different media. INEC wasn't there. So it will create more problem for Labour Party because anybody can now tell you, I don't recognize the Abure, my, my, whatever they are doing, they say, Dick, you, hold, you, were elect, you claim you were elected. Who was there? Did I make, recognize you? So it's a problem he's creating for, for Labour Party. That's why people want him out. 
not because of the money. Is, is, uh, INEC, now, is INEC now a standard of uh, legality uh, in Nigeria? Not uh, uh, any, anybody. Any, any, <laughs> that any, is the procedure any, in Nigeria. That is the procedure, procedure now. That is the uh -huh. procedure. That is Who the do you want to approve it? Abure, Abure, right. Abure is ready to go to court. Where is his power and life coming from? Is, yes? is, is, Abure is ready to go. Oh, God. Let's move on. Let's move on. God, Jonathan, all those your pot, spoon, and knives, you know, it is destructed the media, sir. You know, pack all of them. Go and put them in the kitchen before you unmute yourself, sir. Please. Thank you very much. Okay, let me move on. Um, give us a mandate. We, your net, your network is very bad. Let's have our final submission for four minutes. You know, uh, let me come to Mr. Ike, the first on the panel today, sir. Give us your final submission. Then I come to Mr. Toon. Mr. Ike, it looks like you are not there. I'm moving on straight away. Mr. Toon, please give us your final submission. Four minutes, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Um, let thank me you. just make it clear. I'm not making a case for Tinubu, but all of us know his gaps when he um, when he speaks. And um, the gentleman that called, I was in okay, the Okay, Mr. Elvis. Oh, sorry. No, thank somebody you for is this opportunity talking, again. Mr. Ike. Mr. Ike, somebody is already talking. Go ahead, Mr. Toon. I'll come okay. back to you. The um, the gentleman that called, uh, that said he was in military, that was what I, I was just trying to explain. I'm not trying to, um, I'm, I'm not trying to make a case for Tinobu. I'm not, I'm not an Agbado person. I, I, I don't, I don't subscribe to all the uh, illegalities. So let's just be clear on it. Maybe you've never heard me speak before. So that's my stand. All I'm trying to say is, if he has used the phrase unarmed, then uh, will be very, very concerning. Anyway, they know why they did that. It, it, uh, again, that is another uh, debate. Um, moving forward, um, I think we should just be concerning ourselves about 2027. Is 2027 going to come? How are we going to address it? Because all these things that we see right now on the ground are all distractions. There are still going to be more distractions. They will create distraction to just to dis uh, distract us it's, it's it's a strategy you know i'm sure um in their gathering they will just be laughing and say look at these uh, obedient people that say that they are that they are saints and all that look at what's happening with them they like it so let's just not get distracted let's be focused let's be united we can't be saying um um, um uh, you know there will be no election in Igbo land some people will be um, um, supporting uh, uh, sit down and hope, and uh, so people should not go and vote. Although I understand where you're coming from, but if we are all united, because we've got one common enemy, and these people are not much. If we all come out, even if even if free states should come out one day, um, the the federal government will shake. Look at just uh, ordinary answers. Imagine if uh, if answers had happened in about four states simultaneously. Do you know what you'll have done to Buhari? So there are all these distractions uh, saying that uh, this one, Islam and all that. And all. Listen, not all Northerners are bad. And I'm going to say that with full hand on chest. There are good ones amongst them. And it does, and not all Northerners are Hausa Fulani. Because we all we 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 all turn them out of ignorance that they are, they are outside Fulani. Every northerner uh, is is outside Fulani. They are they are they are anti Igbo. They are anti Nigeria. No 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 no. It's it that's a wrong narrative. So let's just be careful how we uh, throw out our narrative there. What we are what what we should be concerned is even the thieves. Let's start. They say charity begins at home. Let's start with. Um, um, the the criminals in our in our own uh, locality. Uh, much respect to Elvis. Much re respect and uh, greetings to uh, to Elvis. I like the way he calls out the people within his locality. He if Elvis Elvis would have easily not brought this up because the man I do man, you know. And uh, thank you very much, Black Panther, for your uh, submission earlier. You just hit the nail on the head. So. That's, let's just not get distracted. That's just what I'm saying. So we are waiting, uh, Peter will be, okay. and uh, we are wait, we'll, tomorrow. Uh, we'll be explaining, yeah, of what yeah. he will be saying. I'll be, I'll be joining. I'll be joining as well. Thank God, tomorrow is the public holiday. So 
we'll hear and, and see what I'm I'm sure that that guy is, is a man full of wisdom and um, thank we'll you. see what he says and where he's going. Thank you very much. Thank you, Agatun. God bless you, sir. Yes, tomorrow by 6 p.m. Uh, we'll be listening to Peter will be directly from here. Uh, we're going to be taking one or two questions from here as well to pass on. So let's see how it goes. It's going to be uh, congested. This is a leader, a leader that the whole world is waiting for. Eh? Peter will be one talk. The whole world is on the queue waiting for him. Eh? See, see the, the, the 44 years old of the uh, uh, president elect of uh, Senegal. Now, not see when they celebrate for streets. Now, not see crowd. Eh? I beg, make somebody show me video what we take celebrate for our own for, for Nigeria. I beg, make a for plan for you. Eh? Make a uh, uh, with them, with those people, with those satanic people for comment section. You know, where it's they still in the the it's still in the studio, Mr. Evans. They are editing, they are editing the video. To oh, I saw, so, yes, maybe. And uh, now I understand what a shame, anyway. Um, give us a Monday. Thank you very much for joining us. Sir. Thank you. Good evening to you. Please talk to us. You have five minutes. Oh, oh, can you hear me? Now, now your baby they talk to us, so we know they hear you now. Your baby with the hear. Can you hear me? Okay, finally with the hear you now. Okay. Uh well, I don't know what happened to the network. Uh but you, sh you should not give me five minutes, right? Because I was Why? here earlier. I was here earlier, right? No, you are a late comer now. Uh -uh. No, I was not no. late. I, I was here. <laughs> I oh God, they accept your position. You, you are late coming. And we do you the pass come this you time. Came no, I, I, so I you came to the window, so you you should not you should not uh, you exactly should, you should just talk. How can you, how can, how can you came to the window? How can you come to the window and you expect a full full salary? Oh, well. For hey. what? This one. I was here. I been another buri. I been another buri. We guess so. <laughs> well, um, on the issue of um. Labour Party, right? I I think Aburi actually has uh, put himself in in a, in a problem where he himself will 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 um nail himself because what he did is just shows the what Nigeria is all about. You get into power, leaving the office is a problem. People have to. decadence in the in the in the country and then the society now on the issue of um um the the military personnel right whether you believe it or not those guys went there for a mission but it was just sad that their lives were we are caught we are, we are we are taking but everything is just see everything just revolves around the issue of governance in nigeria the issue of governance who is the number one man, number two man, number three man, and like that. So the, the country is just, is just in a state where, um, honestly, I don't know if there is still hope for the country. Because it stands right now, every, every indice just shows that the country is just, it keeps going down by the day. It just continues to go down, continue to go down. You come here tomorrow, you say the same thing. And it's like these guys, they are not paying, they are not listening, they are not paying attention. They are not, they don't want to change anything. It is just sad how the nation is going. And the elderly, the elderly ones are not, they are not paying attention to it. At least in Yoruba Palace, said the elders cannot be in the market. And then the, the young, the newborn baby said is turned other way. They have to help. But these elderly men are they are there and the country keeps going down. Look at Senegal, for example, a 44-year-old president. You need to go and see the speech that he gave about France. I don't know if you, if you saw that speech. Go and listen to that speech that he gave about France. It just shows you where the mindset of that young man is and how to rescue the, the nation, Senegal, from the hands of these foreign uh, people. But it, it just shows the fact that the leaders are just there looting stealing without any remorse without without any show of remorse nothing is changing nothing is nothing is working it's are, are destroyed and nobody's paying attention to it countries are not governed this way nations are not governed this way and that's why aburi can do what he did without feeling without any remorse without and i said it yes on this ago 
that he took that he, he made he took that he, he took that into an umbra. So they can say, I mean, he was Eddie Peter of his um, state. People are saying it now. I said yes some days ago. These are the things that people keep doing. And the sad thing is that the 30 years old child in Nigeria have not tested what is called good governance. And these men, they don't care. It's just themselves and their family. How the country is rescued, only God knows. Only God knows. But I mean, I will, I will leave it here since I have five minutes and then we'll just let others um, take the floor. Thank you very much. Naja was there. He said, like, are you there? I don't know. Continue talking. <laughs> oh, I think uh, Mr. Elvis, I think Mr. And you guys keep talking Abure, Abure since morning. What? His hospital will be you guys uh, that we are following. Where, where has he even come out and said that Abure see, see, is listen. He's not Abure. Abure for this oh, matter. It's not Peter will be Wala. What is the thing about Abure? Why are we so easily distracted and 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 and, and gullible we, we know for a fact that these people are bent on bringing down the party and this why, why, why are you saying why are you well, saying we are distracted okay where somebody is doing wrong thing can't you say something about the wrong thing? thing point out the wrong right. thing now you can't okay let me point out the wrong thing he's doing mm. let me he point took, out he took, the, he took the convention look, to look, 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 look. let me tell you the wrong thing that he's doing let, let us we are scholars let me let, let us learn the wrong thing he did was he did not follow the constitution of Labour Party. Two, he signed an agreement to stay there for a few times so that we can go ahead with the presidential election and organize, set up a body that will organize the, 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 the Labour Party convention. He, he did not follow that, that, that uh, uh, document he signed okay. with uh, okay. the union. So those are Thank the things you. that he did wrong. That's in what addition, we are talking about. In addition, in addition to that, also, in addition to that, seriously, there are allegations leveled against him, criminal, fraudulent accusation, uh, accusations, allegedly, all leveled against Abu, uh, Aburi. And okay. for Labour there Party, are criminal that you also, allegations But the Nigerian Labour Party that you are yeah. supporting also. Supporting on the ground of transparency, on the on the ground of fighting corruption in Nigeria. So, what is the rightful thing to do for Abure to still continue to hold power? Okay, and then all right. Still okay. Okay. About okay. Mr. Jonathan, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. My oh. final submission. Oh. Uh, yeah, this is my turn now, Mr. Elvis. Hold on. It's my hold turn. It's my turn. He, he jumped me. Okay. okay. You guys, right. you guys, hold on, hold on for now. Um, Mr. CBD, I. To be honest, I don't understand you. But are you aware that Peter Obi has disassociated himself from Abore? I'm not aware of that. Please, and okay. what is the context okay, of okay. that? I'm telling you now. I'm telling you that. So does that ring a bell? Uh, that's what I'm saying. I'm not aware of that. I just told you. Do we well, okay. give false information from here? I just told you now, yes. That's fat, 100%. Channels television confirmed the video I played today. I played it here. And I've said it before uh, today on this platform a couple of times that Peter Obi has disassociated himself from it, from him. Peter Obi did not go to that convention. Peter Obi told every uh, 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 obedient and, and many other people close to them, none of them should go to that convention. So what does that say to you? Well, uh, if that's the case, then uh, obviously I'm uh, I'm a supporter of uh, Peter. Obi. I'm a follower of Peter Obi first, so that's what I'm going to no, go. No, it doesn't look like it because that... you be defending the indefensible. It looks like you know you I'm are. Not everywhere. You I'm are not defending. I'm not defending. My point is that eh? my point is that we are focusing too much on something. Focusing that on is what? Is it not part of the problem we have right now in the country? Hmm. What do you so mean we are focusing? Uh, what else uh, do you want us to focus on? I think we should focus on what can uh, what can be detrimental to the success of uh, 2027 election as regards to so that's what I'm getting saying. the what, right what, people. What path are you in, going to go in, through the 2027? Nothing, nothing will be more detrimental well, than, than Aburi. I don't nothing understand. Will more nothing will be more are you, are you are you are you serious? Are you seriously saying yes. that, Mr. Cien, yes. that nothing yes. can be more detrimental yes. than Mr. Aburi? Uh, uh, 
When did Abure come on the political listen, scene listen, in Nigeria? Listen, listen to me, listen to me. Yeah, so that's, that the, you, that's, 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 the, me. that's the exaggeration me, I'm talking listen, about. That's the exaggeration listen. I'm talking about. You've not heard me and you are calling it exaggeration. You said 2027 we focus. The greatest, the greatest threat for Labour Party for 2027 is Aburi. This is the reason. Aburi going forward from today, 28th 28 of March, is an illegal chairman or president of a party because the convention, the purported convention he conducted, in which he elected people, he said that he was elected. Ainek as the official or the, as the referee they have of the general election. You listen to all these people are still arguing so, with so, us and here. The, and then the Didn't you listen to the report the, earlier on? The, the implication uh, is if Abure say give, a, give direction in Labour Party, instruct anybody to do anything, you are at liberty to disobey him. When he talks, okay. he said after all, I don't recognize you because Ainek was not Thank present you. Let me, when you were elected. Him, before so I the call on Thank you. Before I call on the next person to give their submission, let me tell you, Oga ECBD, we are not, because I, I listened to you earlier on saying that, please, people should allow you to give your opinion. We, we don't truncate people's opinion here. But what we want is that, what we don't like is hypocrisy. Just say, regardless of whatever the Abure have done, you are still support of him. Then that will be fine. Don't be beating around. You are supporting Peter Obi. Then at the same time, you are supporting somebody that Peter Obi is disassociating himself from. So, yeah, me, I don't, you, you, it's like a confused situation right here. Thank you very much. Let me call on the next person to speak yeah. to us. Um, 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 Mr. I, please give us your final submission. Four minutes. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry that what happened was that where I was listening was there was a little bit of delay, you know. So when you now called me, I didn't know that the life one had gone like one minute after. After, sorry about it. Now, um, I want I want to ask Mr. Black Panther to go and study uh, talking. Talking used to be Christian country, and now. Turkey, go and check what Turkey is now. Even the biggest cathedral has been converted. I go to Istanbul often, has been converted to an Islamic center. So when they say a place is being Islamized, does not mean there are no Christians there. If you go to Dubai, if you, you can call Dubai an Islamic country, you can call Saudi Arabia an Islamic country. But when you go there, you see, see church, you see, see Christians. That's not to say that the country is not Islamized. When we say Islam, Islamic country, that means the administration of that country is done based on the influence of Islam. When Nigeria was using Sukuk funds, if you know about Sukuk funds, what that fund, that fund was coming from a bank, an Islamic bank, and they say they don't ask for interest they don't ask for interest they'll give you loan without interest and i and i raised my hands and said this there's nothing that goes for free nobody can give you loan and say there is no interest if it doesn't have anything out of it so you are gradually 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 going there it will never happen in one day trust these people they are the most patient people i've ever seen if it takes them one year to make only one step, they will do it until they will achieve what they want to achieve. Don't ever think that Turkey changed in one year. No, it took hundreds of years before it became what it is now. So when people say this kind of thing, please don't. I was in the north. I was in the north when Sharia was declared in Zamfara State. And gradually, 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 other states copied it. Those are those steps that they are taking. Now, if you go to a Boeing state, a Boeing state, you will see how far Islam had come into a Boeing state. They won't come to take the whole nation the same day. It's a gradual step. So when it happens like this, you don't, the devil has no free gift. You don't say, oh, give me 100 naira. Uh, I already have 1,000. When his 100 naira comes into that, your 1,000, all of them will be polluted. So these are gradual steps. So when we are screaming it, we are not screaming. Before in Nigeria, we've not had Muslim-Muslim tickets. 
it has happened now. That's one step. The next step you will see now, the Senate president will also be a Muslim. That's how it happens. Gradual. It's gradual. It will keep coming, coming, coming until you find out that you don't have any input in the administration of the country. You can still do your, you go to your church, you. But when you finish, what the, the administration policies are born out from the tenets of that, that religion. So we have to be very careful. That's what I wanted to, that was the question I wanted to ask you that I wanted, the comment I wanted to say before Mr. Evans said that we don't have time. So let's be very careful. When things are unfolding, let's look deeply and know where they are coming from. Then there were things we were saying in, uh, 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 no, casually before that Sharia came in into play. But as soon as he came, I don't understand how, sir. One of my fellow coppers came and told me, say, that if, I, if only I understand how, sir, and heard what people say in reaction to my statements, then I will be very careful. Thank you. Okay, Mr. I, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thank you. I appreciate every one of you uh, right there. Let me quickly call on the next person to give their final submission. Uh, I'll go with uh, Mr. Jonathan. Please give us your final submission. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Amin. Uh, thank you very much. Let me just start by saying this clearly. I'm glad that Mr. Peter Obi is coming out tomorrow. Yesterday, I stated it, my position as a Nigerian and as a supporter of Mr. Peter Gregory Obi, I stated it clearly yesterday. He has only 48 hours, 48 hours as a leader to come out and do the needful. As someone that has millions of Nigerians backing him, supporting him, he has only 48, he cannot put people in the dark and is coming out tomorrow. That is a leader. That's, that, that, that's one thing you will know of a leader. It's coming out tomorrow. Whatever it is, it will clear the air on this. So I'm very glad that Mr. Peter will be, is doing that. It's coming out tomorrow to, to make things you know, clear for everyone. Because there is no way, there is no way Mr. Peter will be we associate himself with Abure and as Ab and Abure being the chairman of Labour of, of Labour Party, knowing all that we know today, with respect to Abure and Peter will be <laughs> will be there in that party without all those things being you know completely sorted out. Then anybody then then I said I said effectively. He will have lost. In fact, not that he will have lost. He, he has lost everything. Even the issue of competency, corruption, he cannot say it again with, 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 with both face. But as a leader, he knew. He's a wise man. I give that to him. And Nigeria is blessed to have him. And he's coming out to clarify the matter. So we will know exactly where Mr. Peter will be is is positioned with respect to all these allegations, criminal allegations, fraudulent, all this. Well, at least, even though I know Mr. Peter will be very well, he just doesn't speak anyhow. That's one thing I like about him. He just do doesn't open his mouth and start talking. He gauge and he speaks. So he will speak what he needs to speak. It is now left for us to dissect it. And that's what he expects. He wants you to also go and dissect what he has said and give it the proper interpretation. So I can't wait for that uh, to happen to happen tomorrow. So uh, Mr. Elvis, I will um, I will leave it I will leave it for that simply by saying that I appreciate okay. Mr. Peter Obi for taking his time to come out tomorrow as a leader who listen and who does the right thing at the right time. Thank you very much, Mr. Elvis. My greetings to everyone. And to every, I mean, Thank you, Mr. Jonathan. You know, that was what you said yesterday. You said in the next 24 hours or 48 hours, if Peter B did not come out, this is what will happen and all that. And then, yeah, you know, it's coming out tomorrow, so it's a beautiful thing. Thank you, sir. All right. Let's move on to uh, the next person, uh, Mr. Chuk Sobibuizi. Please give us your final submission if you are there. Four minutes. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Elvis. 
Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. Uh, thank you for uh, this opportunity once again. Um, I'm going to say, you know, um, no matter what, we all are here fighting for Nigeria. You know, it doesn't matter how, if we understand each other or not, but, you know, as long as um, what we're doing is one direction, you know, um, I think we're going to win here. We're going to win that war, you know, because Nigeria, uh, whether we like it or not, Nigeria is fighting in so many fronts. And we cannot, you know, discard it. You know, it doesn't matter how you believe. You know, somebody like me, I believe Nigeria because I've lived enough. I was born there. I believe Nigeria has been um, has been Islamized right from get go. You know, and nobody can come and explain it to me except if that person had lived under that situation in the past. Before 1999, whether you are Christian or Muslim, I can say for the state I was in Kano State, whether you are Christian or Muslim, they take you to the court we call Al Kali Court, and that is an Islamic court. They take us there. So I am saying, from experience somebody who don't have experience might think it's not happening but i am talking from experience nigeria has been long islamized we are seeing all these things now because of uh, the wave of social media and all that all that in the past you you don't know except if you've been there it hurts us when we were there it hurts so except if you have been there and you get that kind of treatment and it hurts you. You cannot really tell. It's, when we talk about Islamization, it's not like anybody is going to come say, hey, you must worship this way or that way. No, that's not what we're saying. Or they must come down to the South. If I'm a Nigerian, I have the right to live anywhere I want. Just like what the what has been going on. You, you, you say you're a Nigerian and you are being told not to vote in certain areas, not to contest in certain areas. What are we talking? Those are the kind of problem we are facing. Those are the things that make people think that there's bigger agenda. So we, we, we need to understand this. And until you get experience of that, you cannot really come out and say, look, it is not happening. It is happening. I've said it here before. I grew up in the barracks. Anybody who lives in Kano or who knows Kano knows where they're called uh, Janguza Barracks. That's where, I, that's where I was brought up. So I know exactly what I'm talking about. So um, I, I just wish uh, we can understand this, you know, because, we, you know, sometimes we try to um, 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 say things, you know, just to make it suit people. That's, that's why we find ourselves where we are today. Look at our elders. If they come out to talk they must bend it somehow to fit into some people why is it that uh, uh, the likes of gumi are working free and the likes of uh, namde kano and igbo are getting arrested and show where they are getting arrested if that is not part of the islamization or whatever we call it then i don't know what to say today they, they, he's championing yesterday he he came out from the dss or whoever that invited him and said yes i'm inviting them to come and work with me can anybody in the south say such can nobody in the south can say that not even fear will let you come out to say hey i, I know these people but look at what uh uh uh, 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 uh the likes of uh, and uh, the the likes are, are, are telling uh, you know we are begging you Oh, Buhari, we are begging you, please leave him. Release him to us because we will do this, we will do that. And we are still arguing about it. Well, Mr. Elvis, I don't have much to say. I just hope that we will understand the seriousness of what is going on in our, in our country, especially what I've seen the uh, a new um, Senegalese president said. That should be our motivation to know that we need to do something. If the, the Senegalese did not stand up when that man says no more election, I don't think we will be where we are. To, uh, they will be where they are today. And the same thing goes with their court. We see their their judicial system. Thank you. If somebody like uh, Tunisia who is uh, 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 questioning you. or asking uh, the citizen to do much. How about the the institutions? Thank you, Mr. Elvis.
And God bless everyone. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Shooks of Bibwezi. Thanks for your time with us today, sir. Thank you. All right. Uh, let me call on the next person quickly uh, so that we move on. Let me call on uh, Augustine. Please give us your final submission. Four minutes. Okay. My, my final submission is, uh, is this. One, I'm glad that it will be, we'll be speaking to the world tomorrow. <clears throat> I know part of the issue he will address will be this issue of the illegal convention. Whatever he says, they want to listen carefully. Secondly, I know people have advised him not to leave Labour Party because my own advice was to leave Labour Party, form a fresh party, a new party with all the raw materials, raw materials on quote, I mean the obedience that are scattered all over the country. His acceptability is no longer in doubt. The whole country accepts him. Where he goes, to his followers will go. What I want to get to, what probably what I have to clear is, until Abure is booted out first, because to show this type type of intransigence on a party like that, it means that he has a lot upon his sleeve. You see that if at all, that because I have to, I don't believe in absolutism, I and mean, that's why I call it suggestion. If at all, P2B should remain in Labour Party, Abure and his likes must be booted out and a new, a new system or constitution be drafted immediately in readiness for 2027. Failing it, he's in a better position, if I'm to say, leave the party, form a fresh party. That is a new, a brand new party in which you, whatever you, part your Tommy and the obedient say, stays. And people will follow you. Forget about the old Buccaneers. Because the election, you won it clean, clear. That's why when people are saying this strategy, there's no strategy than being a different party so that you won't be having all this, um, all this uh, nonsense that is going on. Anybody can just talk anyhow to a party you belong to because of Abure and his conduct. When you do that, then the the next thing between now and 2027, I said it, without IREV being switched off, they know it. That was the game changer. There's nothing P2B, there's no strategy P2B is going to bring out again, say the to, to campaign, they didn't campaign here. It's a lie. It's because of that IREV that was switched off. So to ameliorate it or to change it, any election conducted henceforth, at the pooling unit level, if it cannot be uploaded for whatever reason, it is as good as the election didn't take place. It will be treated as if in that pooling unit, somebody snatched the ballot box like they used to do in the olden days. When you snatch it, then they say nothing happened. So that is what that is the way forward. Nothing will be tabulated such that anybody can go to it and then be computing their own result. Any election that cannot be uploaded for whatever reason, it's as good as election didn't take place in that pooling unit. I don't care if it's repeated, but nothing will ever say if we fail, you manually, no, 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 no. From manually, you switch up with beavers. If there's anything we learn from Senegal, it must be a case that Senegal is looking forward. They are not looking backwards. We cannot be practicing criminality every four years and feel that uh, we've, we are making progress. We are not. Thank you, Niger Watch. I've, I've finished. Okay. God bless you, Augustine. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, let me come to Ogai CBD. Ogai CBD, please, your four minutes, sir. Yes. Uh, thank you so much. Once again, well, you see, in Africa, it's very difficult to be a revolutionary figure because, uh, particularly in Nigeria, because these are the same people, just like when Fela said, when they came uh, to his house, ah, not Fela, is it uh, Shewon Kuti was saying that when they came to carry Fela in his house and uh, when they were beating him uh, in front of everybody was there, all the people shouting Fela, Fela, Baba, Baba, you know, they were all there watching the police and the military profound on him. So it's quite a uh, bottom God for people like uh, the Senegalese that um, decided that. Um, 
they are going to take their destiny into their own hands and they are not going to play all those games. But unfortunately, in a, split, in a space like Nigeria, when you start, somebody will bring a tribalism and uh, not know, you know, the funniest part is that uh, a lot of the people don't understand that these guys are not, they use tribalism to get their way or to get into those offices. And uh, you, because you love your tribe and you think it's all about your tribe. I was telling a friend of mine that is a very staunch, um, um, you know, uh, APC Abado guy. And he's a very good friend of mine for many years. Told him that, you see, the problem, the mistake you guys are making, some of you, is that you're looking at this whole thing from a side of tribe, you know? And these guys... They are not loyal. They are loyal to just an ideology or control, like some people are saying. Yeah, the control thing is real, though, because uh, there's a way that uh, these guys are being controlled, especially when they have something on you. Uh, they will always put that in your face. And you know, if you don't play ball, um, you know, they will. Uh, that thing will be exposed, and that's the end of not just your career, probably your reputation uh, you know, for life and that of your family. So there's a lot at risk. And you find out that some of these guys uh, will definitely do the bidding of whoever is pulling the strings. So, but, so unfortunately, people don't understand this fact, and they think that oh, it's our people, it's my tribe, it's my that, you know. Uh, and that's just the mistake that a lot of us are making. So, I think like we should be focused on educating. I know some of them are. Uh, it's going to be difficult. But I think we should be focused on educating the public because the power that these people have is just still that, no matter how you look at it, it's still that public or that tribal religious support that they feel like they still have from a large section of the public in, their, in the space where they are in charge of or where they are from. So we need to uh, spend, like what we are doing, or what you're doing, Mr. Ninja Watch, is... Uh, is definitely one of the things that needs to be done, you know, coming out every day and putting all this information out there and talking about these things. And we also need more of that. We need people sensitizing, with, even in our normal uh, daily conversations with people. We need to push this message that don't look at these people as people that represent your tribe or your religion. Look at what they stand for, their ideology. What are they doing? Once it's uh, good, that's when you should support. Forget about all these, uh, you know, um, uh, division tactics that these people are using, you know. And for the Julius Abure thing, yes, uh, Peter Obi, he comes out, anything he says, he has proven himself to be a man of um, integrity, um, character, and um, discipline. So uh, definitely whatever he says, we are going to, um, uh, for someone like me, that's what I'm going to go with as regards to Liberal Party and Julius Abure. But the thing I just don't want to do is uh, putting the, you know, the, the cat before the horse and trying to over um, invest my, uh, what is it called, uh, focus or, you know, on uh, Aburi. I know he's not uh, a saint or a hero or anything, but I would rather face uh, the bigger problems that we have. But uh, let's, let me, I'll, I'll be very happy to hear from Mr. Uh, from uh, Peter Obi tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, Mr. SBD, God bless you, sir. Thank you very much for your time with us. Yes, we all will listen. We, we, we will be listening to Mr. Peter will be tomorrow. Uh, then everybody can know how to go from there. Okay, let me call on uh, uh, the next person, which is Black Panther. Black Panther, please give us your final submission, sir. Four minutes. Uh, thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you, Mr. Najawash. No other protocol of that. And Mr. Uh, Mr. CM said one thing one day here. He said, if you want to, if you want to hide anything from a black man, write it in a book and keep it there. The black man will not go there and read that book. The reason why I'm saying this thing is like this. Many of us have skeletal history about nigeria yes a lot of us it is divided even some of us have some part why some have some part but when a man has written the history 
embedded it in a book. Then you will see the black, they will say, I beg, I beg that one. I, the one where my papa is telling me now I won't take. You see, people are saying, talking about Islamatization. When Nigeria started, there were Islam, like, there was Islam. Islam came, they were preaching Islam. We come, we say it's tribalism. You see, the reason why I'm angry with our elders, this is it, oh. They come, it's tribalism. We know it's tribal. We studied it, we understood it, and we wrote a book. We, we set it out. Now, some people wrote a book that tribalism is unique, and we can nest it, and it can be made beautiful. But some people from our old people of old memory, they still sit on that trajectory. Now they brought another trajectory which have been existing when Nigeria was created. Do the North, they started like it, the North want to, the Fulani want to. Now it is Islamization. And somebody brought a, a, an experiment of Turkey. Now I want to say, say this. If I'm a professor, if you bring topic, talk, if I, want, if I tell you that, bring a case study of a country that have, like, like Nigeria, Give me a case study of any country. You bring Turkey, I will give you zero. Because you cannot bring Turkey and put Nigeria and say you want to compare it. It's zero. Turkey is one. Turkey is not a multi ethnic group. Nigeria is a multi ethnic group made up of more than three ethnic groups. And I told, I said one thing here. There's a documentary on India. The sovereignty of India. India is like Nigeria, but population is the only thing different. They were colonized by the British. Nigeria was colonized by the British. We were practicing the same system before, but Nigeria deviated. Their population is more than us, but we can still work on that statistics. India is the, the, the majority uh, 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 religion there is Hindu. All that, there's Islam, there's Christianity, everything is there. Did they Hinduize India? Did they Hinduize India? The answer is no. They've annexed all religion and have annexed in such a way that everybody believes in the country called India, and India is great now. But we want to buy cheap idea, cheap idea. That is why I ask a question. If you have the idea that they want to Islamatize Nigeria, why didn't you see have a foresight that they want to switch up the beavers? So it is very easy for us to say Nigeria want to be Islamatized. Give me the give me the, the real process and write a book on it from the day we got independent to the day now. A nation wrote and said an info to Nigeria that Nigeria might is on the verge of what division. All of you throw it aside. You are thinking about Islamatization. Look at how they debated everybody down now to Islamatization. Forgetting that they want to, they are trying to steal your resources because the, some part of the country is, is, is Islam. And somebody tell me that, oh, I've not lived in, in, in the north before. They, they used to do that is their tradition remember in the east when you commit a crime they carry to the, 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 the traditional end they judge you according to that but we have phased it out so let us not scatter ourselves and bring in all those slamatization nigeria part of nigeria the west the south is more than 100 million and talk is not up to 45 million why should you make that comparison? Turkey is not a modern any group. Why should you make that comparison? How can they change your way of life in the South? How? Hundred and something million. That is why I say some of us, we don't look at the word we are using. It might lead to a big, a big uprising that might lead to harm struggle in Nigeria, a tough one that we don't know. We are speaking to the world. And a, a world nation, America has given you the the, the, the pinpoint that this is what is happening. You people might lead to 
division, the country might be divided, and you are bringing a, a an acid to pour on it that somebody will come and stigmatize the whole south to force us to have their own way of life and their own way of living. Is it not about domination? Can they dominate the entire south? Jonathan did Jonathan rule, did the ambassador rule. If they brought um, Islam, Islam to rule, does that mean that it is Islamization? The coat of arm, there is Islamization code there. That was the reason why we said we need to have a new constitution to take that out. Because that one was sneaked in by the founding from the founding member of from the north. That one was sneaking, and some of our people from the south concur with it because they don't want war. They don't want division. They concur with it. It was a bargain. Go and ask your elders. They know what, what came up. Thank you, Mr. Nejawad. And Abure is not our, 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 our Labour Party chairman. So everybody mark that in your mind. Thank you, Mr. Nejawad. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Mr. Nejawad. Uh, sir, you don't talk already. You don't talk already now. You know? I, I know now, but you see, I think sometimes have... maybe a very, a very brief uh, objection, uh, interjection. Go ahead, is, go ahead, go ahead. Well, the brother, you see, to be honest, all this thing is not just about shouting, to be honest. Because if you if uh, Black Panther did a very uh, uh, basic, uh, small research, you will find out that the Toki that he's talking about is also a multi-ethnic society. You will find out that Hindu uh, India is talking about is also a Hindu country. If you have over 80% of a country practicing Hindu and most of their laws and policies or whatever cultural, uh, uh, sociocultural uh, uh, policies are, uh, uh, you know, uh, are, are, are placed in Hebrew, uh, sorry, in Hindu uh, uh, fundamentalism, then that makes it a Hindu society. So uh, 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 your, can I object you? Can I object you? Turkey is object. not a multi-ethnic group society. Bring it out. Okay. Bring your fact out. Don't bring it out. Gentle, you, yeah. bring okay. it out. I, I can't bring it out for you. Listen, you see, don't you see, you no, can't bring it's it not out. a screaming, it's not screaming, matter, please. it's not a screaming match. You know, you can I'm shout not all is you can shout all you want, but the fact is the fact, the truth is the truth. You have Google on your that is not the truth. That is not the truth because I don't believe in it. All right. And when you people are talking yourself? about Islamization, wait now, George, let me land. The problem, they can't let me land. When people, people, are, now, different when people are talking about this, this, calm down, my brother, Black Panther. You've been doing a lot of things right I'm annoyed with all of you, all of you. That's it. Let him finish now. Ah, let him talk. But you see, the, the thing about Islamization, like a lot of people have pointed out and I also said, we are not talking about anybody coming to Chito. force their lifestyle on you. We are talking about the administrative and the governing policies of that space will be Islam Islamized or whatever you want to call it. And the examples you use are clearly false. Go and do your research. Uh, okay. My research is right in front of me. Is that Islamization? Okay. Is that the definition? So you don't know there are talks and there are calls oh and there are situations. Look at the it's private it's chat it's and see what I post. Oh go, go, go open the books for us. We'll see. I okay. beg. All right, both of you, I think I need to use the power that I have here. If I tell you to stop, you don't stop. I mute you. Then some of you on this platform go and join the satanic people that have left. That Niger watch mute me or he put me on the backstage. When I say stop, sometimes stop. I cannot repeat it more than two million times before people listen. Now, it's not nice. Please. Give us a mandate, please. Give us your final submission. Thank you, sir. Mr. Elvis, just give them my five minutes to, 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 delay, to talk on what they want to talk. I'm kind of busy here. Okay, okay. Thank you, my brother. Uh, uh, um, two minutes for you. Uh, can I take 10 seconds for it? 10 seconds okay, for go it. Go ahead, Mr. I. Mr. I, go ahead. Okay, so when when Black Panther said it's not possible, what is the state of Quara State that you know now? Quara State is, as it is now, is the bigger population is Yoruba, but what they have is MR. So when we say all of these things, we're not just talking like that. Thank you, you know, sir. Quara today, they, are, thank you, they, sir. They, they cannot do any other thing. Okay. Thank, yeah. thank you, sir. If you, well, if, you, if you let me want to say yeah. something here, go and read what happened in Quara State to understand it. Don't bring the final result to us. Go and read it and you, you understand it. 
One thing that we ought to know, when trajectory is being changed in the state of Nigeria, everybody will go along with it. When we are trying to oppose that trajectory, that Islamization, as you are saying, is that they want to Islamatize a section of governance. But if you go to your Oxford dictionary, Islamatization will affect your way of life, changing your way of life, of living. Okay. So when people come here to say Islamatization, we, we okay. need to speak about it in holistic form, not single, okay. singular form. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Augustine. Go ahead. One minute. Yeah. Only one minute. Okay. Yeah. Well, my one minute. See, I do not believe that Nigeria has been Islamized. And this is my reason. If you feel you Islamize a space, an area, so to you, but I believe my understanding of Islamization is in people. Are they behaving in an Islamic way? That is my own. I have never been, I don't believe Nigeria has been Islamized. All they are trying to do is, it is in process, they want to achieve it. But for now, it hasn't. As Pakwara State, is the because of the betrayal of Afonja who betrayed their life to bring in Alimi. That's a history. It's not because of the fact that anybody is free to be a Muslim. That is what happened in Kwara State. And that is why they installed an emir. Since then, that is where they okay. stopped. It can't happen again in Yoruba land. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so but much. At least you, but at least, yeah, thank you. Thank you. At least okay. you believe. Okay. You, know what, you know what will happen? Hold on. Hold on. I give you all 30 minutes to talk about this thing within yourself. 30 minutes. You know? Okay. You can go ahead now. 30 minutes within yourselves. Once it's 30 minutes, I end the show. God bless you all. Yeah, I'm um, for people say, him. Yes, yes, but, yes, but let, let somebody moderate. Oh. Okay, okay. Moderate. Tony is calling me. Okay, yes, okay. See, see let Ogato make Ogato moderate. I beg, make Ogato okay. moderate. Okay, all right. Thank you for giving me this power. I will, I will overthrow some people. <laughs> all right, okay, okay, guys. Um, who wants who wants to go next? No, I was saying this. Um, if you believe um, uh, for CM that is saying um, he doesn't believe Nigeria has been Islamized, at least you would believe that the northern part or a large section of the northern part is Islamized, right? Yeah, because of Sharia. Uh, that's, that is where they are practicing no, Sharia. All this because of Sharia. You no, know, like I'm talking about the society, the the region itself, like in terms of how people live and all. The that. region and has been Islamized for decades. Decades. Know, okay. That's, Thank that's you. why. Thank I, that's why I said. And uh, uh, and Black Panther mentioned something that um, the Muslim is it the Islam has been there from the beginning. Yeah, but it has been there for the beginning. Uh, well, nobody, everybody knows that. But at the same time, the problem also has been there from the beginning. It's not like there was a time everything was smooth, and which is uh, something that we've been talking about even before the Biafra, uh, you know, the civil war. Yeah, um, there were a lot of uh, uh, southern people, especially particularly Igbo people in the north, that were facing uh, religious, uh, uh, you know, uh, riots uh, that were being uh, that have been victims of that long ago. This whole problem is not didn't just start today, which is part of the reason why they had the the the, the civil war in the first place. So I don't know what why we are but trying to make it look like Mr. it's something Simide, that Mr. Simide, what, we just started. On, Okay, let me just say something. You see, when I, when, when I was talking before, I said everything is gradual. Dr. CM confirmed now that the process is ongoing. It will not happen in one day, but the process is going on. Before, Nigeria was never a member of OIC, but today we are. Before, Para State was not having an MR, but now they have it. Before, Hey, boy, you still can I can I can I interject you? Wait, what do wait now? Let you can interject. Let me just even say something. Wait, let's hey, let's hear let you now. Before the kind of thing we see in a boy state today is not it, it wasn't like that before. Before we hadn't a sharia in the north, but now we have it. Before nobody had come out to say nobody, no Sultana has the right to be a minister in Abuja. Today we have it. 
before we have not seen that people will come out and say muslim muslim ticket you heard what ero5 said say this is just the first stage so these people are patient they will do it gradually 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 you will be taken on our ways i am not saying that it has happened can, but can, you can, can see i target it, you can see it's happening what are, don't, what are, don't, forget, I, don't forget don't forget that uh, mr cn can in I my, say in something? My, in, in my own case, why why I say is why I say they are in the process. That part I will come back to you in a minute, please. Is is because of the land they are forcing all states in the south in the country to bring, but which people have re resisted. For instance, in a do state, I I learned that Niger Watch has to place its resources on the line to refuse that, and, and many part of a do state should be given for ruga of flanization so that is the process they want to use but we are resisting it it's not that i don't think the Yorubas are happy that a lorry is under an emir but let it stop there that's what we are saying they can they could be trying but so they, they have to know that they've met a brick wall the british came to rule nigeria they tried in direct rule in the north it worked they tried it in the West with some minimal success. In the East, it failed woefully. So what Black Panther is saying, because of our ethnic diversity, that thing they are thinking, it won't work. For instance, this Ruga is not in the whole South. People are resisting it because that is the only way they want to penetrate. When they get where they are staying, then they can now maybe in the next 50 years, they will start to claim ownership of the place. So that's why people are refusing it. I know it's in process, but we are also making efforts to stop it. But has he been Islamized completely? No. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Black Panther. No, I, I, it's Black Panther. Um, okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Black Panther. Uh, 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 Mr. CN. Sorry. Yeah. Mr. CN. Who, yeah. who made Nigeria? Who pulled Nigeria into IOC? At IBB, I think. Thank you. God bless you for that history. And I want to say, I said it earlier on. Some of us are not sitting down maybe because we are busy some of the things that has happened in nigeria some of us have been in our way for a long time we are not really fused into the nigeria system now he said something about ioc nigeria has been a member of ioc over 30 years and the reason babangida gave for that was for financial gain I don't know any other thing. Those are the reasons he gave. And you think, wait, Mr. Pan, you okay, think that okay, wait, 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 so, so, wait, wait. Let me, let me go ahead. Let me go Black ahead. Panther. Let me go Black ahead Panther. now. Can, can, can you guys let even me, allow I, I someone that, that I just come in to, to speak? This thing I just said now. This thing I just said now. I brought it up because I know it's going to come. I'm, I'm trying to moderate this. As, just leave it with me. I just want him to land his point so that um uh, madam rita will talk he has yeah. been landing Mostly. his point okay since the beginning i, of I just want you cbd cbd don't don't me i know they fight you me at the study i they learn from people and they go into my archive and they buy books they read if you show me one book here i go buy as long as it's knowledge the thing i'm saying here is that the the, the reason why he gave that that was the reason but we see it as a way of dominating the rest, the other region, because Nigeria wasn't a country called as in Nigeria. It was a carve out from different portions, from different nations. So if that is the case, and somebody brought Afonja story, Afonja, that I told him, I go and read Afonja story. It's different from what we are saying now. Nigeria is a multi-ethnic nation. It's a nation inside a nation. And a nation inside a nation it is very, it is absolute difficult in a 250 million group where you have 120 million on one side to tell me that you want to change your way of life because Islamization is changing your way of life. Go and look at the, the definition in us for okay, the body Okay, Black Panther, Thank th you. thanks for your submission. Okay, uh, Madam Rita, please. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Tom, Mr. Niger Watch, uh, Mr. Elvis, uh, Mommy Diaspora, Irene, and um, all the gentlemen. I don't know if there's another woman in the panel. Good evening. Um, Mr. Black Panther, I think I just I just popped in and I am guessing that it's about the Islamization of Nigeria that is the main topic here. And um, Black Panther, you know, I think I understand your point, but okay, this is my, my own personal experience. 
Um, I have worked with some Northerners before. I don't want to name the organization. It's well known in Nigeria. And I'm, I'm talking about really high profile people. And I remember, this is like years, years ago, more than 10 or 15, more than 15 years ago. One of these persons, the person who was a director, he clearly told me, first of all, he was supporting Abacha fully and said Abacha didn't steal nothing. And he told me, oh, ha. I will never forget it. He said, the person is a Polani person, by the way. He said, there's one thing you guys need to understand, you people in the South. We believe in Usman Danfodio 100%. And we believe in his ideology. And he was saying it sarcastic, sarcastically and laughing. As at that time, I was ignorant, you know, but looking back, you know, I know why he was laughing very sheepishly to me. Like, you don't know nothing. You don't know what's going on, uh, you know, and this is what's going to happen. The full and easy, I don't want to add the house out people now. The full and easy in Nigeria, they were raised. Listen, this person I'm talking about is not even, is an elite person. This is how they were raised from the, when they came up from their mother's womb. They believed solely in the ideology of Usman Danfodio. And that is the driving force for them. Whether they are, edu they are educated, they have money, they are influences inside Nigeria and outside Nigeria, and they will fulfill their ideology. Now, when you talk about Islamization, Mr. Black Panther, yes, Nigeria is a, is a multi-ethnic country. Agreed. But this, this thought of Islamize, Islamize, uh, Islamization is not really putting it in your face. They've been putting it mildly in the past, but presently, I think the internet, you know, social media has kind of, you know, broadened it more, is they would infiltrate a Muslim person, Usma Danfodio ideology, in every strata of the society, infrastructural-wise. If you go to the army, if you go to the judiciary, if you go to the Nigerian police force, this is just security agency, just um, this is security agencies, immigration, customs. And gradually, you have these people in the legislative arm. And gradually, because Nigeria is a, is a federation, which is just for the, for the word of saying federation, but we don't practice federalism anyway, my opinion, they go to each state now in the north. In fact, it started by dividing the states, giving the, the states have more. When they said when Babangida Abacha they started dividing, dividing Nigeria, splitting states, and you see they have more states, more local governments, more House of Rep members, more senators, and the north. You think it's just it's part of the ideology. That is the gradual process. It's not like they're gonna stand on a podium and, and tell everybody, okay, now everybody's gonna be a Muslim. No. We underestimate these people. Mr. Black Panther, yes. Yes, Nigeria is multi-ethnic. Multi yes, I agree. But however, in that so-called multi-ethnicism, we have traitors, we have Judas. By the way, this is Judas week. We have Judas that we join into this ideology of Usman Tanfodio. An example, a typical example, uh, what is that over Fed or Agutan? Sorry, that's not an insult. That's just what I see. The one from the South South. And they will even have Senator, the one that married the original Daniels. He said he's a Muslim. There are some Southerners who grew up Christians and they decided to be Muslims. It's not because they suddenly saw, you know, the prophet. No, they didn't see that. They did that for, for economic reasons. So you have Southerners, multi ethnic Southerners, who have decided to flip the script just for their personal aggrandizement. And by doing so, the smart Islam, let me finish though. that. The smart is Islamic scholars or Islam, let me use the word influencers, mm -hmm. will see that we we'll use these same Southerners to perfect their ideology. That's what's going on in Nigeria. It might take years, but it's very possible. You say over 200 and something million people, you know, you can't just convert them. Yes, you can't just convert them, you know, in the space of five years. No, it will take decades. And if we look back, thank God Dr. Siem of that history of Afonja, Kwara State, what's going on there? Look at Joss. Okay, there was a time that during the election last year, remember this man from Adamawa State, I forgot him. he was a former um, secretary to the, uh, to the Federation, I've forgotten his name now. I think it was in Buhari's first term. Um, he said, why is it that we have, he's a Christian from Adamawa State, 
I will try and remember his name now. Um, the one that calls uh, the man at Bodelon Bola, he calls him Bola. That's that's how he describes him. He said, "Why is it that in every Northern University, why do we have a, 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 um, the, the, the the chancellor, the vice chancellor? Why are they in Funanisa? Why are they Muslims? Why?" He said, for example, in Sokoto now, University of Sokoto, why do we say over the years they have seen that they understand what's going on? The non-Muslims in the north, they understand what is going on. We may not even understand, we may understand it to a certain level. For me, I may not understand it fully, but if you're a northerner and you've lived in the north for all, all your life, you've mixed yourself with the elites, in the northern elites and the northern Fulani people, you understand where they are going to fall for. So that man, the former SGF of the Federation, saying that on national TV. He understands. He understands. So let us not water it down by saying it's impossible. It's very, but they're very patient. Trust me. The Usma Danfolia ideology is what they are, they, are, they are going to actualize and they are working on it. Now, the awareness for us to speak it out and tell people is the good part. So that when these things come systematically through the system, through the courts, to the legislation gradually gradually sharia law i mean i was in nigeria but sharia law now is, is something that's accepted the hisba police that you have in the north is accepted take it or leave it what does that tell you what exactly does that tell you so Mara, it's, not, it, it's, it's trickling down to the south by the way in case you don't know. yes sir. sharia law has been in nigerian constitution for over more than 60 years my dear so brother i don't know where you my dear brother from. Why the governor, the governor, listen and, now, all of us are alive and, now. We, the governor of Zamfara State, the governor of Zamfara State, I think his last name is Usman, I can't remember his full name now. I think during Obas and Joe's time, he was the one that started it for crying out loud. They had to, oh. they had to discuss it. Madarita, Madarita, the question Madarita, is, Madarita, why, why Madarita, did he not contest Madarita. it when he was in the constitution? Madarita, not, Madarita, not now. Madarita, you said, you said Madarita, it has been Madarita. there. You, you said on. it has been there for over 60 years. So has what it been a smooth ride for 60 years? Hold on. What you have in the constitution was penal code, not Sharia. Sharia started with the Zamfara man. I was in Sukoto when he started. He started in 19, 1999. That's when he started. So don't be telling us this thing. Let me ask you a question. Was Sharia not mentioned in your constitution? See, Mr. Black Panther, I think maybe you should do your research. Or people are no telling you something. You just, just listen. Just, just listen. I am we, we are going to win. We are not going to win. As Elvis said, we are going to ask a question. Was well, Sharia? You just no care about winning this argument, and you can't win. That's your opinion. I am not. I am asking a question. Mr. NCBD just explained it to you. You are, you are repeating the question again. He answered your question. The question you are, you are about to ask. He already answered it. See, see, see. Let me say one thing here. Why was so, it so, so ask defense, yourself this question? Why was it so important so defense, that the Zampara so State Assembly a, had to pass this into law? Let me say something here. Go ahead. So detect what a criminal is doing. Anybody on the street cannot detect it. And Sharia law has been there for long. But they just opened it because. They don't want no, 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 Mr. Black Panther. Mm, the Sharia people. law is part of the Islamic rights. We all know that it's there. I'm talking about not adding it into the, in the Nigerian law. It's something that they had to agree in the Zafara status of assembly. Come on now. We all, I don't know if you're in Nigeria or whether you are a brother, it was something that we all saw. They had, to, they had to agree it in the Zamfara State House of Assembly. The governor, when he was campaigning, he said he was going to bring back Sharia law. And that's one of the indices of why he was even voted into uh, uh, the, 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 the seat. Every, I was in Nigeria then now. Everybody was there. Even if you live in diaspora, 1999, everybody saw everything. Come on. The Sharia the, the, is part the, of the tenets no, 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 of no. Islam. Madam, 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 that was Rita. there. Madam Rita. I say, take it from me, part of Catholicism. It's there already. Madam Rita. Yes, sir. Look, Manarita, somebody might have his own ideology. I stand on my ideology. And it has not it has not failed me before. I don't want to what argue we have now. The what point we of what you're saying. Not angry, I'm not arguing blindly. I'm not saying you're arguing. I said I do now. not want to. I do not want to argue blindly because the, the bell of this now. discussion is the bell that you are saying is impossible for them to you know Islamize the entire yes, I, stand, I stand I stand my ground, yes. That, that, that that's fine but i am we, we are trying to, acting, trying to tell you because history, of the intel not, i got okay can you just pause please can you just pause 
I am, I, I, you are, you are very, very apt in your sense of reasoning or what you're saying about is impossible. Yes, it's good that we say that. But however, there is also a possibility because if you look at the history of what's been happening from the northern part of Nigeria to the Middle Belt and it's trickling down even to the south, it's happening. Like I said, it, it's, it's not just an automatic thing. They have to systematically go through, like I just mentioned, the legislature, you know, they go to the, the, the security agencies, you know, the, the um, state House of assemblies. It's a gradual thing. It's a gradual, and we are seeing it. Come on. Look up and smell the coffee. It is very possible, but the fact that we are discussing it, we are trying to educate people so that they understand these are the systematic ways in, in which they try to push in Islam there. And before you know it, it becomes a law. Before you know it, the person in charge is is is, is going on under the Usman Danfodio ideology, and there's nothing you can do. So it's either you stay or you leave the country. That's where Nigeria is going. That that excuse IBB gave for adding Nigeria to the IOC about money. Of course, it's gonna he's not gonna tell you directly. It's not. As at that time, ABB did that. We didn't have social media. We didn't have social. We didn't have the awareness we are, we are having now. Because if, if there was social media during the IBB time, trust me, a lot of things will have leaked out and they will have possibly been an uproar and maybe it wouldn't have been added. So so now we are in this time. We are alive this time. Thank God we are alive to see this. So that's why we, we saying that it's not going to happen or is it possible? It's like you are just downplaying it and you're trying to make people not aware of what is really going on. Me, me, so me, like, that, Rita, is, that is the Rita, argument Rita, I'm having Rita, with you. Black Rita, Panther, please, it's please, possible, please, but please on, don't make it seem as if it's not happening or it's not possible. Yes, you are the only one talking since now. I'm not going to talk. Black Panther, you have been talking since. I want to I want to address you. Madam Rita. It's See, about, when you make some statement that I want to push it on Nigeria throat or I want to divert the attention, Madam Anarita, the way you understand Nigeria is not the way I understand Nigeria. If you, what you are saying is true, then Nigeria will part. What do you mean what I'm saying is true? I'm saying it's wait, true wait, because wait. it's coming in our face. What are you it's saying, Mr. Black Panther? Because it's it fine. I through. agree. I pray it, it doesn't happen. happen. But don't say it's not happening. Because you are making people become a, a, a empty barrel and, and they don't want to learn. Make yourself I'm teachable, sir. Okay. Please. I'm okay. not making any people. to be teachable. Teach people their history, too. Teach people their history. Yes, no, you have to allow yourself to be teachable, Mr. Black Panther. Can you just listen? Please. And better, Black yet, and better yet, maybe when you're using the word can never be Islamized, maybe you should be talking about your southern particular state or something. My brother, because you can't brother, say that. You, be, you my can't brother, say you that. Believe, listen, you, listen you calm down, calm down. I you know you are that. trying to go that You can't say you believe in about Forget that uh, the people in Plateau State that I cannot even go to church. There are places in Plateau State where people cannot go to their go to church anymore. There are places people are being killed on a daily basis, and you're here talking about uh, there's nothing like Islamization agenda. There's so nothing like that. Talking to I what, believe in speak, it. Speak to what you talk. Because the more you're the more you're repeating that, the more you're the more you're disrespecting and disregarding the lives of people in, in, in Kaduna, all over the north. Let me say something. If you want to address, don't address me directly. I think address the people. Please. Okay. Black Panther. Black Panther. Black Panther. Black Panther. I think, I, let me think, tell I think my brother, you just you just care about winning an argument or don't whatever. Me, I don't think you are speaking to to the reality. Don't you know? address me. I am saying it up here. Don't address me, please. Address me. Okay. People. What you know? Hold on. Hold on. Let me address you, guys. Let me guys, say guys, something. Guys. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Mr. Mr. Let me say something. Mr. Jude, wait, this wait. Guy, this guy, this guy is on something today. Wait, you're wait, the only wait, one that know what you're wait, wrong. Wait, wait, wait. If you see that it's on something, if you think you are on drugs, if you want to say that to you, Black man, shut the hell up, man. Don't respect, respect yourself. Please, don't please, talk to guys, me like that. Come on. You, you're you're disregarding, you're disrespecting the lives of people that are being lost every day, and you're here screaming. You think it's a screaming match? You think it's about winning an argument? You think it's a it's a screaming match? I'm not winning arguments. I don't give a damn about arguments. Black Panther, I'm okay now. Stop, stop, stop. Black Panther, you're not talking. Tell him not to stop. Whatever you say, you stop. Listen to the moderator, please. Please. Okay, please, guys, I beg, please, eh? Okay, 
right let's just all calm down i beg eh? we all have a common enemy let's just all remember that we're all brothers and sisters here okay um uh, mr ike please thank you okay now you see there are things what i was telling you is there are things that would never had happened before that is happening now go to that state that attack that happened on the 24th 23rd and 24th in plateau go and check whether those people that we are attacked whether they have gone back to that land all these people you are seeing in idp camps everywhere their village is being occupied by other people as i'm talking to you those people that attacked them have taken over their village they are no more going back there that's the graduate i'm telling you so what happens here is when they attack those places those people will run government will provide IDP, idp camp for them and they will stay in that idp camp and they will not be able to go back to that place. If they if they dare want to go, they will go and negotiate with the new occupants of that place to pay tax to allow them to come and farm. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. I told you about Sukuk funds. Sukuk, this Sukuk is a loan that Nigeria has been using to build roads. Even along Ore, Ore to Bini, they use Sukuk funds to build that thing. And you think Ike, somebody uh, will give you his Mr. money? Mr. Ike, Mr. Yes. Mr. Ike, do you, are you familiar with the Islamic banking? Yes. Yeah. Do you, okay, Jai's Bank, Jai's Bank that is now, we never had the Jai's Bank. Jai's Bank now is now one of the banks in Nigeria. They say it's an interest free no, is, bank. Is it, is it something negative? No, no, let's, let's look at the negativity and the okay. positivity. Now, do you, do you okay, think it's ahead. something bad? Do you think it's something linked to, um, um, to uh, Islam? Okay, what, what I'm saying to you is yes. nobody, nobody will give you money. Nobody will give you money and say there is no interest that doesn't have something that he's going to get out of it. Nobody. Yes, I mean, I'm, I'm into finance. I understand. There, there's so nobody. Okay, okay. No. Tell me, you are into finance. Is there anybody that will get money? Even the biggest philanthropist that you can think of that will give you loan and you say, I don't want yes. interest on that loan. And the person doesn't have anything to achieve yeah, from that. Yeah, no, it's, it's laughable. Even though technically they will tell you that Islamic um, uh, banking, they don't, there's no uh, interest and all that. But technically, they built in um, those things into the very money they've loaned you. But again, that is another um, debate for another day. It's very, very technical. But all I'm trying to, all I'm trying to say here is, we, we are all concerned, which is a very good concern, that these people are taking over Nigeria. Now, how about, let, uh, let, me, let me play the devil's advocate a bit, yeah? How about us, when we go and convert a Muslim to a uh, Christian, don't you think they will think that these people are trying to uh, uh, shift us away from, um, um, from the is Islamic faith that we've, I, I was born into? I mean, you think about it that way. Don't, yes, don't you think so? Mm -hmm. are, are you done? Sorry, I interrupted. Are you done with what you're saying? Yeah, and again, and again, my sister, and again, my sister, we live in a that that's one thing. Maybe Black uh, Black Panther was um he was a bit um um, um he, he was a bit um uh, emotional. He was raising his voice, and that's the critical point. That's what I'm holding to. We live in a multi um in a multi um visited society everybody has a right to either um, be a christian or a traditional worshiper or a muslim and all that there's nowhere in the in our constitution that says that you have no right to be a muslim you have no right to be uh, a traditional worshiper so we need to we, we just need to understand that and that's the beauty of of europe of of of, uh, of 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 America and all that. There's a freedom of freedom to worship, freedom to even sit at home. Even if you say, uh, say your dog now, na na your uh, your God, nobody will arrest you. Let me give you an information. No. Do, let me yeah. give you an information. Do you know that? Do you know that the man that said they wanted to do their Isheshes festival in Kwara State yeah. was locked up. Yeah. Isheshe is yes, a traditional, I, a, a tradition, a, a, a traditional uh, 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 this thing, celebration of, of the people from that place. But the man was locked up for ever bringing Isheshe 
That was why she was okay. casting he's going to go to court. So okay. I'm telling you that this Can I tell you why? Can I tell you why he was locked up? Can I tell? Can I comment on that? Yeah, I'm not a Muslim. Uh, obviously, as you have you worked out, and I'm not a traditionalist. It runs contrary because I believe that everybody should uh, should should live with um, we should respect each other. If I mean here in the UK. I've been to I've been to uh, the West End one day. I didn't know that it was um, it was their gay uh, movement and all that. I mean, oh my God, my eyes! So I can't I I, I I can't I can't I forget that. But listen, I don't I, I I even tell them. So my my colleagues that are that um uh, are that inclined, I tell them I say, listen, I do not I respect you, but I do not subscribe to your way of life. What you believe. So we need to be more tolerant. I mean, maybe tolerance is another thing. And I don't think that it is possible for what happened back then with Afonja will happen now in in 2024. Yeah, in the in, 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 Sorry, in, 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 in century, I don't think so. This is my Mr. own personal uh, opinion. Mr. Tone, um, Mr. Tone, you know, you? there's there's one issue that you know I I somehow I sometimes argue with people is like sometimes when they how you. you your comments rather is you're trying to make you're trying to compare how religion is practiced in the diaspora than the way religion is practiced in nigeria that's where you're missing it sir that's where you're missing it now you're talking about freedom of expression freedom of choice of religion you know in nigeria you and i know that that doesn't happen do you know that they are placing i mean you said you were in the army before but it's if, in if, if, if i can tell you from my personal experience there are places in the north northern nigeria present day you cannot go as a woman. I cannot. I cannot dress and go without covering my hair like the way I'm dressing if I was in the south. And you're talking about freedom of expression. Please don't listen. Let's not get it twisted. Please we cannot respect. compare the way no, religion is being practiced in diaspora than Nigeria. No, that, now, no, that's what you were saying. You say you wanted to play the devil's advocate. So that's where I'm coming from now. I'm. I'm. I'm no. going by your steps. Okay, let, let, okay, can I say? And I'm not done. Okay. I am not done, sir. I'm, I'm not done, okay. if, if that's fine. No, no, now, now you're talking about, okay, um, you made an example, like a, what if somebody converts to Christianity or another religion? Now, wouldn't we see it like, oh, this person is taking our person? Come on, wake up and smell the coffin, sir, with all due respect. That's not the case of what we are talking about. Because what we are talking about is religion. Usman down for your religion and be specific. Because if you ask any any person right now if you mention usma that is their hero and that is the ideology they are following so please don't 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 even it's not about come i'm trying to convert you it doesn't play that story that description it doesn't play with what we are talking about and i'm sure you're not a greenhorn when it comes to the dynamics of how nigeria works you're not a Mr. greenhorn Tom. i know that so so please Mr. when Tom. you use that as an example it doesn't work I've been placed in certain positions. Mr. Rita, thank you. I think to Niger has come in. Mr. Rita, who is coordinating all over the world? Who is coordinating, please? Mr. Tone, Mr. Tone. Mr. Tone, if you are coordinating, then you call people one after the other. So people are just waiting at the background. I do apologize. I do apologize. Okay, please, please talk, sir. Go on. Is it my turn? Yeah, not to you, then to Nadia, please. Because to Nadia, I haven't spoken at all today. Yeah, well, um, please, I have to make my submission. And in the process, I don't know how many minutes I have. Just go on. Um, okay. Speak for four minutes, please. Yeah, four minutes. I think okay. that's fair. So other okay. people can speak. Um, I would just like to quickly understand the angle that Blank Panther is coming from before I say anything. And good evening, everybody. And Mr. Black Panther, if I need to understand your arguments, are you trying to say that um, the Fulanese, they don't have any agenda to dominate the country, or are you arguing that they cannot do it? Domi domination is different from Islamatization. I, I don't understand. Uh, when you dominate, wait now. Okay, okay, wait. Okay, wait. Let's let's let nobody come in. Let hold nobody, let nobody come in, please. Okay, but when you slamatize, let me, let me when you slamatize, let me let me put you on the path so that I can talk. 
When you Islamatize, you change the way of life of a people. When you dominate, you put authority on them, not changing their way of life. So which, which one are you saying? Is Are you saying that it is not possible? Now, let me make it. May I just use a very simple example? Now, if a five years old cat, uh, a five years old child says he wants to leave 50 bags of cement, everybody will say it's not possible. Are you looking at it? But the child may have that intention to do it. Are you saying that the child doesn't even have the intention at all at all to do it? Or are you saying that the child cannot do it? These are two different, two different issues. Are you saying that they don't have the plan at all at all? Or are you saying that they cannot do it because of the diversity in the country? What I'm saying, I'm not saying they don't have the plan, but I'm saying uh -huh. so, Nigeria so, so cannot once, be stabilized. No, wait, 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 wait. Black Panther, I, I think that ends the argument. Once you already agree that they have the plan, then I think that should end the discussion. It should end the back and forth. Because it's there is, there is a clause somewhere. No, they wait, cannot, wait. They, they cannot do they can, it. No, listen, there can't be two answers. They are mutually exclusive. It is either you are saying that they cannot do it because of the diversity of the country. The country is too big for them. We are too diverse. We are wise. They can't do it. Or you are saying that they don't even have that on their agenda. They are mutually exclusive. If you go one way, the other way is closed. So which, what is your argument? See, see, there is an intel on this issue of Nigeria. It's not intel. What is your argument? They cannot do it because if they force it, Nigeria is breaking up. Yes, yeah, so you if you say, it. listen, listen, it's okay. If you say they cannot do it, I will, I will agree completely with you. Okay, because stand on, they, they are, cannot because, do it. Yes. Yeah, because we are diverse. But do you agree that there is a deliberate attempt to do it? See, let me come in here, please. If you Black Panther, me. please. Do you agree that there is a deliberate attempt to do it? Yes or no? There is no deliberate attempt to do it. Please, Black Panther, I think I... Why, I why so the no, the no, 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 Black Panther, in. listen, it's my turn. Let me speak now. I'm through with the question I'm asking you. I just tried to get that clarification so that I know what I have to say. I think you are trying to win this argument. Now, I read, the new nation called Nigeria should be an estate of our grandfather. We must ruthlessly prevent a change of power. We must use the minorities in the north as willing tools and south as conquered territories and never allow their future. Now, um, Blank Panther, listen very, very carefully. If you think that they don't have that intention to do it, you are completely naive on this issue. And we must really have to be careful to please, separate... Please, hold on, hold on. What Wait, you let me finish. If I finish, you can, you can, you can, you, okay. you need to be coming okay. down, please. Note your points down. Now, we have to look at these issues clearly. We must separate the Fulanization agenda from the Islamic agenda. They are two completely different things. Mr. Chris, you've got one minute, please. Oh. But they have been back and forth, and I have not said anything. Well, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's it to Niger. Now, I will tell you, since 1999, how many Fulani presidents have you had? Can you tell me any administration since 1999 that has not had either a Fulani president or a Fulani deputy president, apart from this uh, Tinubu's administration? And can you tell me every single election where they have not always presented somebody to become the president of the country, somehow, somehow? Can you also tell me that you are not aware that in the northern state, how many northern states do you have? How many of them are governors, like 12 of them? And are you aware that these people are just about 8 million people in the country compared to the Igbos that are? How many millions are the Igbos? And even as we start, stand now, do you know this? The four pillars of the security architecture in the country that the Fulan is, the, who is the national, who is your national security advisor? Who is your minister of defense? What are the other two positions? Who are they? Then you want to tell me that you don't know that villages in Nigeria are being completely ransacked and the people sacked, emirs are installed and the names of the villages are changed. Then lastly, because I have one minute, have you read, uh, have you 
read about Constantinople, the city you call Turkey today, because you are just saying it's not possible, it's not possible. The movie is there, the history is there for everybody to read. Go and look, the movie is there on Netflix, go and read the history. Constantinople, how it became Turkey. Uh, th thank you very much, Mr. Chris. Uh, Everything is possible, your, uh, Black Panther. If your yeah. argument is that they, they will try to, but they cannot do it, I will agree with you. But if this one you are saying they don't even have the intention, it means you are simply arguing to win the, the, the argument. Nobody will agree that with you. Please. Okay, thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for your submission. Um, Itunaji, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Okay, please, uh, fire. Okay. Yeah, th thank you for having me, um, and yeah. Tone, and greetings to everybody on the panel, the chat, and the viewers. Um, yeah, of course, I think I like the way um, Chris um, he kind of uh, spoke about it to an extent. Uh, they have the intention, they don't necessarily have the means. But that said, um, one cannot necessarily look at it from that point of view, because I think I found that Sri Elun was once mostly Christian and they became uh, more Islamic now. And historically, it's very difficult to find a nation that converts from Islam uh, to Christianity, but the other way around is often it happens. So it means there is a kind of momentum uh, for, from, for, of Islamization going on. And if you look at Nigeria, you can also see the same dynamics going on there. It doesn't help that their, their own culture tends to maintain high birth rates, while the Christian culture tends to um, reduce birth rate. Um, so those those dynamics, so the intention may not necessarily be there, but just by default, they just begin to dominate because of the tendency to have higher birth rates. Like in the case of Nigeria, Northern Nigeria has at least almost twice the birth rate of that of the Southern part of the country. And that is gonna be a problem. I've said this stuff before that if the South doesn't um, get their act together, they will be responsible for destabilizing the nation without knowing it. Because if any system is in place that is at equilibrium, and one side decides to upend that equilibrium, guess what's gonna happen? There's gonna be instability because the other, there has to be equilibrium for systems to be enduring. So if the South that becomes more less and less populated, then you're going to see a situation whereby the Islamic people will become more confident and they want to take on the, the Christians. It doesn't mean that the Christians don't have any intention to also um, dominate the country. They do also have the intention. But either way, both sides have a serious problem on their hand because they all um, have foreign regions um, that they are fighting for, which is one of the craziest things ever. And more and more recently, I'm beginning to discover that these regions are very, very dangerous and they are actually damaging us uh, because they are they are giving us the impression that there's a reward in an afterlife that we don't know about. Nobody has been there and come back and forsaking this world, making sacrifices of our own people for other people's religion. And that's why I consider, from the point of view, the Islamic religion um, highly, highly corrosive. And not because it's not just, it doesn't just take your religion, it also takes your culture from you. And you can also argue that the Christian religion does the same too. Um, because if you look at all the chieftaincy titles in the North, they are all Islamic ones now. They are no, they are no longer the original, like you have your Baal Bini or the Uni of Ife. You don't see that in the North anymore. They, they've all become Islamized. And that it could be a problem. Personally, I think we have to either own these religions in the way the Europeans did. Europeans subscribe to Christianity and they owned it. They put the headquarter in the um in rome and when england decided that enough is enough i'm not going to listen to rome anymore they put their own church there's no reason why we can't decide to um, take the islamic religion or christian religion and own it if you want to practice it if you really want if you love it so much you better own it because this is soft power that other people are using to control us and from my point of view we, we can do that but the i think the islamic one is very difficult to do because they coded it into their religion not to change the language, not to be worshipping facing Mecca. So you can see how strategic it is. It's very, very hard to peel yourself away from it and pull yourself, uh, take control of that religion. And if you cannot do that, you better start thinking about how to divorce yourself from it because it's a very dangerous stuff. Because if you look at what is going on in uh, Sudan right now, they are, they are killing black people that are Muslims because they are not Arabs. 
because there are two layers to these things. And when you when we talk about the momentum here, you become Muslim. It's not good enough. They also have to Islamize you. Uh, this in uh, Arabize you. That's what's happened. They, they've already done that to the north. This is one of the reasons why Saudi Arabia doesn't agree with uh, Turkey as much because Turkey cannot be Islam. Uh, this in Arabize because they know themselves. They were one superpowers of the world. Same thing goes for the Iranians. Iranians were one superpowers of the world, so they know their identity. Their identity is very very strong. But Egypt couldn't resist that. Egypt became an Arabized. Egypt, that was a kingdom that lasted 3,000 years, became Arabized. So it tells you what is going on in the world. And I feel like when we look at this thing, we have to think about the soft power that it has. We either have to be debating and opening our own people's eyes to the fact that this stuff you are practicing, if you don't want to take control of it, it's going to come for you in the end. They are going to come for you. Tomorrow, you might be killed because you are not Arab. To, to Niger, sorry. In the end, I want you to submit uh, to summarize on this. Do you, because we are talking of Nigeria, do you believe that Islamization of Nigeria is possible, or it's not possible, or if it's it, very possible, or, huh? Possible. It's very possible. If you look at the, okay. ten, the the trends right now, it's trending in their direction. Let's make no mistake about it. Just look at the birth rate alone, and I don't want. I can't fault them for it. They are not the ones causing it. They just have a different culture, and the South is not responding to it. Well, what is the bet rate that you want to pay? Yeah, the what is, is around six to seven. Well, where are you copying it from? Uh -uh. <laughs> the, the data is what not there. In the no, 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 no. Don't laugh over it. This is a serious matter. What authority are you picking it from? Okay, is the census. If you look at the UN census and the bet rate UN census, can you let me answer the question? The, the bet rate of Niger Republic is one of the highest. It's, it's about the highest in the world, actually. And as you can see, Nigeria Republic is bordering the northern states. So they too have a very, very high birth rate. And if you go there, you see young men marrying two to three wives. What do you think they are doing with them? That statistic mm. is wrong. Please, mm. Tuna, 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 please. Can I, can you can't provide it against. Tuna, you want I me please. to send you a link for it so you can. Tuna, no, 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 it is wrong. No, you cannot no, just upon the Jack public in Nigeria. Excuse me. Can I come in? It's my fear. I have a little bit of knowledge about this. Whenever you quote death rate, you have to you have to back it up with death rate. Because as you were born, maybe you are maybe you born so much and you die so much. When you say death rate, yes, coming you bring people into the world. What is the death rate of that area? Mortality, they call it. The, the mortality rate is higher, but even uh -huh. taking that into so, account, so, they so still, you, balance, you balance it up. So that I, I balanced it out. I've I've looked at this number and I balanced it out. Even but if I want, one I want to ask every, my, remember the southern question. children also die. You know, if you, if you take the mortality rate uh, into account, they still outnumber. They are outnumbering us. Two Niger, you are not getting to Niger very well. Two Niger is just a foreign Niger Republic. No, death rate northern Nigeria. Because it is close to Nigeria. That is what no, you are saying. I'm using now. northern Nigeria, having data for northern Nigeria too. I think I, I'm no. just saying it flippantly. No, my own, from my, my own uh, a submission, this is this is for me. I'm not quoting anybody. The population in the north is not higher than that of the south. And this is my reason. More people die in the north than they die in the south. Apart from the era of uh, terrorism, disease. Is more higher in the north than five people over there, much more than in the south. That's what I'm saying. Life expectancy, to be honest with you, is higher in the south than in the north. This is me speaking. Now, the the coming of all this violent terrorism we are having, if you if we want to be honest with ourselves, since let's say 1999, you count the number that must have been that have died in the north compared to the south. The north is far higher. Yes, the death rate. Is rising because they marry many wives and they have the because the I mean the birth rate is high. I can believe that it's higher, but that has been sort of cancelled out by the death rate because mortality. Some children do not get up to the age of fifteen. We see what is happening. Hunger, even when it is in Nigeria, now, is higher up there than there. And the situation in Nigeria, what I've asked people that what it has opened up is this idea that they know to feed the south. Now, even the food for them to feed now is a problem. Remember the professor that came talking about uh, the hunger in the north, although it is in the south too. So what I'm trying to say is that if you follow Nigerian figure, the way they put it, without looking through it critically, you will always believe that the, north, the northern population is higher. 
it is true, I mean, in geography, it is true that there are more life, the chances of more life surviving in a desert area is very, very slim than that life surviving in the coastal area. That is geography. That's why they check it. Look at the way it's balanced. Even North Africa, if you look at it, Algeria to the coast, Mediterranean, there are more people there than the desert bordering uh, something mm -hmm. like uh, bordering See, something like uh, to Nigeria. I, I think even, so, if, and, even if you and account the, for all and, this, let me, let me and, just add this. Even if you account for all this, like terrorism, terrorism, how many people did it kill? 100,000, 200,000, let me grant that. It's nothing compared to the entire population of the North. It's just a blip. The number that died from malaria each year is higher than that alone, in the no, south no, even. No, no. What I'm saying is, you know, that, the south has higher that, malaria that, rate. That, that, that terrorism. The stuff you are saying kills them in the north that, also kills that, a lot of people in the south. That terrorism. Uh, that's what they call. Can I? Can I? That's what please, they call something. Let me, that's let what me talk about this death rate and birth rate thing, please. Um, this is something. It's the area we are very familiar with. Very, very familiar. It's the area where I am very, very familiar with now. Whether the population of the North is higher than that of the South is very, very debatable. In my view, I know clearly that there were manipulations from the values that came from the North compared to the values in the South. That's for the population figure. But talking about the death rate, the birth rate, and the population growth, as at now, either we like it or not, the rate of population growth in the north is a bit higher than that in the south. The reasons are obvious. Now, how often do you have a 30 years old man from the south having like five, six, seven children, like two, three wives? It's not common. There are a lot of children that are being given birth to in the north. Yes, of course. And they are losing some of these children, not most of these children. So because of that, if you put it in the balance, you can still see that they slightly have a higher population growth than what is currently happening in the south. In short, in the south, the, the rate of population growth is even decreasing. Averagely in the south, what you are having now is just three children per family, three, four children, especially with these new generations of, of, of people in the south. And majority, how often do you find a 27 years old in the south starting a family? They are still hustling, they are still trying to find, even if they have all the money, it is really difficult for them to settle down. The same thing goes with the lady. An average 22 in by 23 years old in the north, a lady of 23 years old is already almost becoming too old. Yeah, and, and, and which tell me which of the group, the northern women or the or the southern uh, ones, are more susceptible to um, feminism and chase your career first and all the rest of it. Uh, please, some, that, um, uh, soon I got, please, that's not part of the topic. Let's no, let's no, not go there. No, about don't it. tell me what to talk about, please. No, I'm, no, it's, no, it's, I'm, I'm not telling you what to talk about because what you are you are deflecting no, from what, because, from what because, we are because arguing. Because it's relevant. It's relevant to the. No, point is it relevant? That, talking about the choices women in the South make about their career. Let me hold on. Let me say what the reason why it's relevant because those things means that those women will put off childbearing hence the other side will keep increasing there is no proof to what you are saying there's a typical no, Nigerian woman, woman right now would not then. put off childbearing for her career so please that's why i said don't go course there course do. you, you are tracing the you issue to Niger. Niger. there's no proof yeah. data Niger. 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 in the uk please. yet but not Why nigeria you having three children while the other women are it having five their personal choice the not a man of your age will have like four wives already with at least 15 children that's the difference, and it's, it's it's cultural and religious based. You're it's just putting the issue. Uh, no, no, it wasn't like yes, that. It's Niger, Niger, please, eh, let me let me round up on this. I have to because I'm on a national space. I have to make this very clear. Now, the argument I've just put forward is not to support the fact that the North is more populous than the, than the rest of the, the southern part of the country. The argument is about the population growth, the rate of population growth. The rate is the number of new people coming into the world over a period of time, which is quite different from what the population 
figure stands at as at now. So, in my then, view, then, and then statistically, then, then, is it clear that it's not even, it's not even up for debate? Then, I don't know why we're arguing that point. They, they have a higher bet rate in the Chris, notes. Chris, then balance it with the number of people uh, buying or dying. That's what yeah, I mean by this. Yes, there but is. Then, but yes, then, yes, then, we are missing die from malaria each year, which is Dr. the highest. Which is the same no, highest wait. cause of death in Nigeria. Um, um, two okay. Niger, two Niger, two Niger. And most of them are in the south. Two Niger. No, 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 two Niger, you are wrong. That's the is wrong. It's wrong, it's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. Two Niger, let me tell you. Let me, let me tell okay, you. Let me if you, if you want to talk about uh, malaria, hmm? what about the number of people dying in the north? The number of children dying in Mr. the Mr. north? Mr. 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 Chris, so, so, sorry, Mr. Chris. Sorry. Could you do you have a data for the um highest birth rate in the south, by the way? Yes, I do. Okay. I do. I have yeah, data that. for see this is not just about figures, I'm talking about practicality. We okay. are on ground, we are in the headset, we see these things happen live. Mm -hmm. So it's not what we just read from the papers or whatever. This are figures, these are statistics that we are actually churning out. We are the ones churning out the, uh, the statistics. So to Nigeria, if you are talking about malaria, the number of children dying from malnutrition from the north is already taken care of by the number of children dying from malaria. Yeah, but so that's why I'm trying to let him know that the balance no, is there. No, wait, Nigeria, please. Let's, let's not go there, please. Sides too. To Nigeria, please. Why should please. I not go there? Why do people keep telling me not to go there? I'm just using, look at 194,000 deaths from malaria in Nigeria in 2021. You see and something, guys. You see, one thing, we, one thing we always do here, yeah, when an authority, when we have, when we have, a, when we have, somebody that is coming from that field talking some of us always like this bullying attitude that is one thing i don't i don't i don't even like it, it I, I mean, me off. when people, when people um, present evidence, person, can you be specific nobody saying. bullies anybody here the See, specific way i'm making somebody, wait, 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 Manarita, somebody. Manarita, Manarita, wait, is it somebody wait. yes i'm listening wait Manarita, look if a military man in the rank of a lieutenant we talk about military formation, and one of us here, we not bully by subduing him. That what he's saying is wrong. That is that is disrespectful. Okay, Black Panther, look at it from specific, this specific. That's what I'm saying. Let, if you're referring to Kuna Niger and Black what you, Mr. Fitz is saying, I am saying Kuna Niger. What Kuna Niger? Wait, Kuna Niger. Wait, wait, wait. It's a 15 second question. If that's a military man, if that's a military man, is give. Hold on now. Let me just tell you so you can answer the question. Wait, wait. If that military man, don't wait, wait, wait. Did you about formation and you go and read about something another general did and came and quoted it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I'm specific to Niger. Uh, if we have a military lieutenant here in our midst, which I know we had, and he's talking about a military formation in Nigeria, not in the world, though, in Nigeria, then you come up with Gogu. Is that with that substantiate or, or bring down his own fact, practical fact that you don't have? You can bring down his own practical fact. How? Or... How? Maybe from a senior officer that has far more experience no, no, and more legendary than no, me. Don't quote. You cannot quote you a just, senior officer. See, you see, see that's you, what you, you don't you understand. Are you an that's authority you understand. to bring him down? When I, speak, when I speak, I don't use my own my own voice because I'm not the one that carried out the census. I use people that actually are qualified to carry out this uh, uh, this in, uh, this in census and use their data. That's You can borrow that other person you knowledge. said are qualified. They are not on ground in Nigeria. That is what oh I'm saying. God. No, I'm talking about Nigeria people in Nigeria okay. that took this the, this in the census themselves. Tuna, there are Tuna, 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 hold, hold on, hold, hold, hold on, Tuna, Jia. You met um you 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 quoted that um uh, X number of people have died of malaria. Mr. Chris yes. say, here says is 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 something he knows that happens on the ground because yeah. he is into the medical field. So um I'll be more inclined to listen to i'm not saying you're lying or what you'll get but i mean the man that is is experiencing he has is is practical but it's not it's not against what i said he didn't say that people are not dying from malaria he actually said that they are balancing now but cm was saying that his conclusion is enough. against your fact no how is his conclusion against my fact when he's saying people are okay dying let him finish food. okay let him finish let him let us hear what him. is there to finish i was the one talking 
you you're actually, telling Legend finish. when I was the one talking here, you're saying he let him finish. He, what uh, he said tuna, was that tuna, 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 yeah, because you've you haven't spoken before, I gave you uh more than the time allocated. So if you can start concluding so that Mr. Chris can take over yes. and address. If I'm not mistaken, please. what I just heard Chris say was that the people are also dying in the south, just as people are dying in the, in the north. I think maybe he went on to say something about more people are dying in the north. Even if you account for all that, and the numbers are not significant enough when you are talking about millions upon millions of people to make a significant difference, when the birth rate is a lot higher than that. And when you uh, look at uh, this, is in uh, I've seen it myself. I've said I've given this um, notification before. Uh, who is Hi. that? Uh, was retired, Jerry. <laughs> we, need, we need to round up in 10 minutes. Jesus Christ. Hey, geez. Why, why do we have to now? Can't you start another stream? This is an interesting conversation that we need to get to the bottom of. Do we? Okay. I beg, uh, I beg, I beg. <laughs> Tuna, yeah. Now, 30 brother, minutes. Brother, that's what I do. Now, 30, now, minutes. Now, now, 30 minutes I give Una, see, and I wonder why they can't. So, the same I start that one. Make Tuna, just round up now. I'm going to go one minute. Okay, let's, okay, fair point, fair point. So, um, you see, I'll, I'll try to keep it very safe. My own experience is that I saw a young man, barely 19 years old, riding an Okada in Abuja. And I was with a, you know, my fellow Igbo brother. I asked him, oh, please go and ask this Awusa guy, um, you know, he, whether he's got a wife, why is he not uh, going to school? He asked the guy, he said, the guy said he's got a wife. I said, ask him whether, how many wives has he got? He said he's just got one, but he's got two children already and he's looking to marry another wife. This is around 19 years old boy. Then I say, go and ask him, why do you, is he having a wife? He said, Ah, because uh, they want to be able to have many people in case of war. They say they I ask him, ask what kind of war is he talking about? He said jihad. Then I said, go and ask him which jihad is he? Uh, who is he looking to fight jihad? The, my Igbo friend said, no, I'm not going to go and ask that kind of question. No. That is my li lived experience when I went to uh, Nigeria. So it tells you what is going on. The dynamics. These are young people driving Okada, marrying multiple wives. It tells you the population. Do you see that kind of behavior in the South? So this is the dynamics we are experiencing here. When they tell you that they have a higher birth rate, they actually do, and the death rate doesn't account for it. And hence, Nigeria is facing the dynamics that Muslims... Okay, are thank you. Thank you, too, Nigeria. Um, if, Jonathan the is there, if, if Mr. Jonathan is there, if you want to talk, um, two minutes, please, quickly. No, please, I need to quickly minutes. round up on... Two, two, now, two, two minutes, everybody gets... Two minutes, yeah. Yeah, this, this okay. two Nigeria, okay. I need to make a final submission on that just to clear the air because I think he's already quoting me wrongly. Yeah. Two Nigeria, what I try to say is that, um, you know, when you, you are looking at, um, what is it called, the death rate, the birth rate and everything, the population, the rate of population growth, you know, looking at malaria, malnutrition, you can see I refrain from speaking on those two because those are very technical things. And at the end of the day, we look at those micro factors that impact on what uh, the population, the rate of population growth will actually become. But eventually, we talk about um, under five mortality. It is still there, under five mortality in the South. It's like 60%, and in the north, it's like a hundred. And uh, yeah, it's like I mean, 60 per 1,000 bets, and in the north, it's like a hundred per 1,000 bets. So you can see that's almost like a ratio two to one. That is being very, very conservative. So we can't start looking at malaria, this, that, that, that. We use that to compound the final figure, and the final figure is what I just gave to you. So the impact of malaria, malnutrition, every other thing, environmental hazard, awareness, educational impact, all of them, they all have rules to play when it comes to under five mortality rates. And if you put all this together, the rates of population growth in the South is still not up to the rate of growth in the North. We all have to agree and understand that. But the point I'm still making is that the population of the North compared to that of the South, I doubt those figures. I doubt those figures, the census figures. They are very, very debatable because we knew how the census was conducted in the North compared to that in the South. And if I may just say this, um, the other thing we are saying about uh, which women, because you actually directed that question to me, 
which part of the country will a woman uh, most likely abandon her career for uh, for uh, for family, whatever, whatever? You see, that's just one of the tools that these guys in the North are using to hold down the women there. And let me tell you, career development, educational awareness, and stuff like that, that is being practiced in the South, is one aspect that will determine infant mortality, neonatal mortality. It's, those are some of the things that will determine if a child will survive past his or her fifth birthday. And the more a lady is educated, the more likely that her children will survive past the fifth birthday. Because the fifth birthday is a very, very crucial factor in the life of the child and in the rate of population growth. So okay, that's and I'm sure I'm very let me make my final submission, please. Let me just no, 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 I beg, I beg. Let me tell you, Dr. CM, Dr. CM, I beg, I beg. Let me just make my final submission. Oh, Gerata, sorry. I didn't have to, I don't want to talk again. Okay. Um. See, when we're considering the population in the north and the south, please also let us consider the porous border that we have in the north. Sincerely, if you have lived there, you will know that there is no there is no border. People go in, people walk like you walk from uh, Amu Odofi into Ago Palace Way in the north. So when you are thinking about that, know that that porous nature of our border in the north is another factor. People can easily troop in from that place, not necessarily those that are born in the north. So we also have to look at that as a factor. Thank you. Okay. My, my own conclusion is this. I remember where we started from was this Islamization. Let me submit, number one, there has been effort to Islamize Nigeria. I'm not doubting it. But have they succeeded? No. With each passing day, we are becoming aware, and then we are wanting a bulwark against it. For instance, their last straw was to look for land everywhere telling all the governors, I mean, like Tinubu said, uh, the governor should bring land. They are using Islamization to sort of terrorism to intimidate, but it won't work. I'm so much, I, I so much believe that Nigeria cannot be Islamized. In which case, my local government or my state or my area, we are now becoming as if we are now a state. Or maybe we are, now something, we are now a lorry, we have an name here, and then the thing takes place. Or we are now Sokoto, or maybe like Kano. It can work in our lifetime. That is my submission. Thank you. Can I make my submission now? Or somebody want yes, to speak? Please. Yes, please. Okay. Go on. My submission is like please, this. Please. One, first, I want to start from here. Mr. CBD, please, if we are having an argument or having a discussion to educate the people, I must not be where you are. We are coming from different dimensions. It's my belief. The, the, the man that owns this TV station has always stated it clear that he wants is a one Nigeria person. And you come from the, everybody come from different dimension. We oppose it, but that does not mean that I am going to stamp my authority on any of the discussion we are having. That is clear. And please don't throw insult on me because I will not tolerate it because I don't like throwing insult on people. Even if I do that mistakenly, I apologize to it. Please don't ever throw insult on me. I will not tolerate it. Get me, I'm not one of those. I will never tolerate it. And on the issue of uh, we saying things, I have been here and I've been always following the tradition, what I believe in and my ideal that I stand on. That is what is, that is what is propelling me not to believe. And I will stand there and I will stand on it. And so I, say, I will stand on my fact and I will stand there. Now, we discuss a lot of things here. Yeah, even when Manarita say tribal bigo, tribal, um, let us not forget our tribe. The first time I oppose it, but I have to go back and think about it. And I came back and in submission, I said I have heard and I support a fact because I've looked over everything. I've digested it and I supported it. So don't take me as somebody that I want to win when I'm discussing. I never want to win. I stand on my ideal on that Islamization and nothing can change me on it. Because what we have been hearing from a reputable a, 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 a nation that is myastic, and I fall on that. 
anything that will cause anything contrary to one on the Nigerian trajectory, it will lead to the breakage of the country. And that is what many of us, most of us, I would say many, don't want. So that is why I say I don't like the way our elders are discussing more on Islamization instead of let us discuss on the constitution and the electoral law, which we educate people positively, that we break anything anybody has or any intention that they have, that will break it and will have a formidable force. Because this has been done before in a modern modern India. It has been done there. So thank everybody for listening. Thank you, Mr. Black Panther. Uh, Madam Rita, please. Um, yes, too. thank you very much. Um, I just want to say that um, we need to start, we need to continually inform ourselves of the reality of, of these days. We need to constantly, constantly remind and educate and expose the evil plans of the wicked ones that want to use religion to topple Nigeria. Um, I just, the, the assignment I will leave, I will leave back for everyone is, Go and read the history of Lebanon. Of course, some of you know the history of Turkey. And you see how religion was brought into the system, you know, and how it actually phased out the culture and way of life of the people. So um, I pray this so-called Islamization does not happen. I know it will not happen, but also there's nothing that's impossible. There's nothing that's impossible, but it's our duty to tell the, 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 the nation, tell the, the gullible Nigerians, explain to them in simple language, when these people come, these are the ways in which they come gradually. They might not come directly, they might come indirectly, but you should be aware of it so you can protect your culture, protect your land, and protect your family. That's all I have to say. Have a good night. Thank you. Um, is Jonathan there? That's why I yield the floor. Okay, I don't think I think he's um he's not there. Um is it my turn or Elvis, CM, CM Elvis, if you're there, um you can take over now. I think we okay. so I know the, me, I know the make my final submission. Oh <laughs> uh, I thought you made okay, go on, go on, yeah. sir. Since, yeah, uh, it's really um, it's really uh, nothing different from what the others have said, but um I just want to say something completely different. Look ladies from the south don't let any person make you feel guilty for prioritizing education for prioritizing career you can always have your family the quality of the children that you have is more important than the number of children that you have face your career face education embrace these things and you impact your knowledge in your children and your children will become better for it there are countries that there are so many, there are countries that you have just five or two million people there and this country are doing very, very well. So don't let any person make you feel guilty for whatever you are doing. Ladies from the South, take education seriously because if you educate the woman, you have educated the world. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Um, okay. Anybody wants to- Yeah, let me, um, this thing. Any I think- final um, thoughts? Yeah, I think um, I've got two minutes now, like everyone else. Um, I think um, to underestimate the issue of birth rate is a dangerous one because there's no use building in this world when other people are going to come and inherit all your hard work. No matter how educated you are, you don't have enough people that are replacing you. Guess who is going to inherit everything? The others. And it's just the nature of the world. You can't uh, help it. There's a reason why the, the nations that emerge as superpowers in the last 40 years or so are highly populated ones. The only reason why Europeans were able to dominate the continent was a high differential in their technological awareness in terms of uh, technology to fight wars. That's why they were able to dominate the world. They had a small population, but they expanded all over the world because of that high differential. But that high differential is gone. And now the ones that are dominating the world are the ones that tend to have higher population. And because are, some of them, their population is dwindling right now, they are even worried for their power. If they were not, if population didn't matter, why would King, uh, King Jong-un be crying, begging their women to have children? If you think it didn't matter, are they not educated? They have um, rockets that go into space and all the rest, have nuclear submarines and all the rest. Yes, he's begging his women to have children. 
this is a serious matter. If we keep, if we wait until our leaders start begging our women to have children, then it will be too late for us. Because India right now has a population so high that the, the continent, uh, the Indian population is the same as the population of the entire Africa. Yet their land mass is 12 times smaller. That should tell you something. The same thing with China. And these people have a, a lot of people. But when we try to do that, some of us are falling for this Western way of life, telling us that, oh, don't worry. It's OK. Uh, don't have it anymore. When they themselves are beginning to see the dangers of what they've done to themselves. This is why they're allowing so many foreigners to come into their country. 141,000 Nigerians went into the UK last year. They projected that in, in, uh, by 2030, the population of the country that is going to grow is going to be from foreigners. 90 something percent of them is going to be from foreigners. Why do you think they are doing that? Because they understand that this is a dangerous thing for them, just for them to survive. They are, yes, they are going to maintain high education, they are going to maintain high um, uh, this income, so they are going to be the upper class in their nation, obviously. Let's not make a mistake, they have not dwindled completely, they are still a large population, but they are going to be less and less. You're going to have more foreigners coming. The point I'm making is that it's important. Numbers matter, especially in democracies, when votes happen. The more and more, the other side keep getting more numbers. Imagine when they become 60% of the population of the country. Then the momentum will be unassailable, except you want to move away from democratic system. You see what I mean? So let's keep an eye on this one, because in the world, it's very, very rare you see a nation turn from Christianity to uh, this, in any, uh, from Muslim to Christianity. But the other way around happens all the time. And I will break this down to you. All those are thinking that you're going to fight uh, Northerners uh, because they, they want to Islamize Nigeria. Breaking news. All our religions, all our major religions are foreign religions. What are you fighting for? You should be fighting to open your eyes, not fighting them to maintain your own Christianity or Western way of life. Thank you. Right. Um, yeah, I think... Um... All of you have spoken. I um, think um, we've just covered every other place. I don't is if there's anybody that wants to add any um, any more. I would um, like to add something, sir. Um, yes, yes, please. I just want to say that. And thank you, uh, Mr. Chris, for the data you were giving us. Because when you're talking about the number of births, you should also um, mirror it with the number mirror it with the number of deaths as well. And there's one thing we need to also understand. Like in the north, we, there's a whole lot of issues that they deal with VVF. You can Google it. Google is your friend. VVF, um, you know, infant um, mortality, you know, disease, and also pedophilia. So there's a whole lot of things surrounding this, this so-called uh, reproductive um, ideology that you would, that that this put out there as if they are having more children. Or listen, if you don't have a healthy child, if you don't have a child that, that cannot survive up to five years old, then we shouldn't even count that as they are having more population. I understand where to Nigeria is going, but somehow it kind of deflected from the topic, you know, and, you know, that's why I was arguing with you, like, don't bring the career issue, because in the South, I, I don't know about any other woman that has said in the South, she's going to drop, she's going to drop having kids because of her career. It doesn't happen. It doesn't, it, I, I don't know anybody. I don't know where that statistics or ideology came from, because if it, I know it happens in the West, but in Nigeria, every woman from the South can also work and also have children. So career is not even part of the issue where people are having, you know, lesser children than those in the north. Because sometimes it's not really about quality, it's about quantity. I'm talking about election period. When you say, because you mentioned something to Nigeria regarding, you know, um, proper numbers. Yes, that, no, yes, numbers is important. But however, we know very well, this is Nigerian project, that in the north, they count animals, they count foreigners, they had underage children having PVCs to vote. So you cannot just put that as they have more children, so they have more population. I have lived at some point in the north, and I've seen the more state, for example. They don't, they're not really populated, but what does the statistics say? Thank you, Mr. Chris, for telling us that these statistics, we all know how this, um, uh, what they call it, um, population count went on in Nigeria. Thank God for the internet of today. Thank God for the internet. If the internet was introduced 20 or 40 years ago in Nigeria, we will not read data. Thank you. Did you know that? Did you know that Chris concluded that the northern population is growing faster than that of the south? Listen, it's like you're not still getting it. It's not exactly. about the growth of the people. We're talking. You're talking about numbers in relating to politics. That's where to I'm coming God. from. To no, Nigeria, is that not your conclusion? And Nigerians, to Nigeria, wait. You've already what are you already saying. To no, you can say yes or no. Don't. There's no need to make read the. Conclusion about, about what? Conclusion to about Nigeria. this. Complete your sentence, sir. 
is the northern population not growing faster than that of the south? It can grow faster, but that, but that doesn't mean that in the end, like I said, what's the mortality rate of in the northern child typically? By growing faster, it's taking by growing faster doesn't mean periods. that they might grow up to be the adult age that is that they can vote. No, That's my see, point. See, by so growing faster, at the end of the day, the numbers are, are false. The number no, of no, adults no, that are of votable no, age no, is no, false. No, That's no, my no, point. Please hear me out. No, when somebody says they are growing faster, they are taking all that into account. That you have, you have very uh, scientific to niger please yes i want to believe you are very scientific because in your very beginning the submission you made we are talking about the system being in equilibrium and if anything comes to disrupt that equilibrium the system will adjust itself to counter the effect of that uh, of that external factor that's the chatterless principle that's what we are talking about now listen to niger listen nigerians the figures in the north the population as it stands Nobody can trust those populations. Now, I'll give all of us a simple assignment. Take Niger State, for example. Go and look at the number, the voting population in Niger State. Compare that to the voting population in Imo State. Then look at the number of beavers that was deployed, that were deployed to Niger State. Compare that to the number of beavers that were deployed to, to Imo State. We are you supposed to deploy more uh, beavers to? Is it not where you have I more think, population? I think, I think you are right when you say that, but I think there's some another dimension people tend to miss when they talk about Nigeria. First, which what is the north? If you want to say Abuja from Abuja, me, I believe that the north starts from Abuja to the north. But most people, when they talk about Abuja, it starts from Benue. And if you do that, no, see, th see then Niger, you're giving it north. Let me let me finish listen. the point I'm making. Let me finish that extra dimension I'm talking about. If you do that, that the political north it starts from Benue to the north. Now you're talking about two thirds of the landmass of Nigeria. No, because now you, you are comparing two thirds of the landmass of Nigeria, the population in two thirds of the landmass, which if you, if the population density was the same, would have by far more population than the south. But because they are almost equal, that tells you there's higher density in the south, which lends, which means what you are saying is correct. It still doesn't account for the fact that it still doesn't um, uh, dis uh, dispute the point that there is more population in that two thirds and part of the country no, no two nine the thing is that i hope like i always tell you i like the quality you bring to the discussion but i hope people can always see through this small screen that you paint i said not i said so then later i zeroed down to ninja state and emo state i was taking two practical example look at the number no, of indicate where the border listen, line listen of the to Niger. Is... there's no way you can you can deploy more beavers to a state that is less populated. Okay, what north are you referring to when you say north? Did, did I not just give an example with Niger State? And Niger is not state. just north. What is your bordering? What where is your border? Okay, take another. Why are you state. asking about wait wait, wait, wait no, no, why are you asking about, about border? border? Me, why are you asking about border? Me, me, there are two north. Two Niger. Two Niger. Political there only north. North. There's there's only one north. north. No, there are I two knots. There's, there's, there's geographical knots and, uh, and there's any geographical knots and there's political knots. Listen, I only use Niger states. Any person, pick any state from the core north, northeast, you'll be. Look at the population of that state and pick any state again from the south. Look at the population of the state from the south. Then look at the number of materials that were deployed to these states. See, if you are talking about population... See, we have uh, to uh, have politics, a common ground. Listen, Where is your not listen, starting listen, from? Listen, listen. If you are talking about a population of election, let me tell you something. We are, we are not all See, in we are Nigeria. Just, we are going to talk when around people, in cycles, Chris. Listen, we are going to talk around in right, cycles. If right, you don't know right. where we are talking listen, from, where is your not when, starting from? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chris, uh, just run that statement up in 30 seconds. Okay. The statement I want to round up is this. We were all in the country when we, I'm just talking about the politics of population. We were in the country when we saw that people, where you have wars, the uh, 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 instability, people were collecting P PVCs in their millions. And the places where you have stability, they couldn't get their PVC. That's the po politics we are talking about. We are not blind to this fact. It's just like today. Now they break the election for Tinubu, and you want me to discuss that election based on the statistics just that in the in out. You just you want me to discuss theory. the election. There's no evidence to what you are saying. What? No evidence. What There's we no all saw what you are happening. Saying. All the all the stuff you accuse in North of, they do it in the South too. 
Okay. You, you just believe in conspiracy theory. You don't even want to tell us where your political where your not is is it's is already starting conspiracy. From. It's tell us where your not is starting from. That Something way we can I can understand what you're talking about. I know whether to agree with you or Please. disagree. Please. And they tell us two Nigerians are from the Sahel, and I know they believe me. I thought you were a scientific yeah. kind of person. You should know where it, it, the knot you are talking about because Abuja you, is you, 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 as you, you, geographical you, you center of Nigeria. You, you, you I am perplexed what I'm just hearing. I'm just perplexed. You, you said you don't know Nigeria. Yeah. You're know Nigeria. Yeah. only two years. Now you are telling us about two knots. You see and your your because your Abuja your was picked in Nigeria for a specific right. reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're dead in the center of Nigeria geographically. Uh, gentlemen and ladies, gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, Mr. Chris, right. Mr. Chris, I think we've, we've, we've told had you exactly more than enough time do. from. Um, I don't know why you are still Elvis. arguing. Elvis has to go, please. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. Just we, have, we have to. We have to be here. Day. Thank you very much, um, I Elvis. Appreciate you. Well, well done. Uh, uh, good night, oh, good night. Thank you, Mandarita. Please hold on, please. Uh, I appreciate okay. every one of you. Ogato, thank you so much for. Uh, Thank you, sir. that time to moderate for me that was a big relief although i was listening to everybody here <laughs> <laughs> you know say our work it be as they get as i'm doing that i'm doing another work here you know so but i was listening so it relieved me from talking and calling on people's name thank you very much for that and every one of you that contributed as you all know on this platform we all are learning every day you know so um Manarita, i would like you to give us a uh, final two minutes a submission over the uh, um, uh, uh, governorship candidates in those states. Just two minutes. Three of them. Just two minutes to talk about three of them. Um, sorry, was it played previously? Because I just entered new talking about... No, 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 I didn't play anything at all. We didn't play, we didn't oh, talk about, about three it. candidates. <laughs> yes, about the upcoming governor, governorship The upcoming election. Edo election. Well, the yes. poll is in the court of Edo people. Um, like, like I've always expressed, I, I do not have a candidate yet uh, because um, I'm still looking. Uh, mm. If you want to ask me about the, the candidate of the PDP, um, is not one to be trusted. For me, I do not trust. It looks like, you know, if he quacks like a duck, speaks like a duck, it's a duck. Um, the second one, I don't know where, you know, that one was plucked out from. I have nothing to say about the ruling party. Now, the third candidate, I don't know whether he's coming or going. Tomorrow he comes like a frenzy, like Andrew Liver Salt. The next thing, everywhere is like ice water. I don't understand because so far, to me, the three of them, they're just on the, it's like they're shaking. The three are shaking. But however, okay. my own calculation is the Edo not votes will be, will be the determining vote of who will become the governor of Edo State. Edo South and Edo Central, the votes are already split. But a do not vote be very, very significant in determining who will be the governor. That's that's what I have to say. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, uh, Mother Rita, you know you have a voice and uh, you've built that voice for so long on this platform for the past couple of years. So um, this your submission means a lot to the Edo people, but I would like you to find time to put yourself together to come up with your own candidate because it's very, very important because nobody... Uh, uh, I'm not sure anyone can afford to sit on the fence on this particular time because this is our state. You know, you, you just like everybody complaining about Obasa Kina, complaining about this and all that, the three of them cannot be bad at the same time. So one must be chosen by you. Uh, everybody, because on this platform, we're going to allow everybody to be entitled to who they, who they want to support. It's not like Peter will be during the time of 2023 presiden presidential election, when I came here trying to convince everybody that it's only Peter Obi, many of you now decided, including you, Madarita, you were already supporting somebody else until I worked so hard to convince you that Peter Obi is the answer. Look at the role that you've played in Peter Obi today. If I, you know, if they let Percy talk, go Peter Obi named in today now. You see, so I give myself credit for that because I worked so hard to convince someone like you, someone like uh, Mr. Alex, someone like uh, Madam. Madam uh, uh, Irene's and many others. So um, yes, but for Edo State, uh, uh, it's not going to look like that. But I want everybody, you, uh, Black Panther, um, you know, these are the voices here when it comes to Edo uh, State, uh, Mr. Alex, Madam Irene, and many others. In the next one month, I want you guys to work on yourselves. Think of one of the three candidates and come up and start singing the praises of your own candidate 
on this platform. I'm going to give the room for everyone to sync and uh, promote their candidate here. I don't have any issue with that, but we can't afford to sit on the fence. Thank you very much. What if they go and do an aburi after they get into office because you me, go and make them uh, select my somebody? Garage. Yeah, I've already chosen my candidate. You know, I've, I've oh, you see now, Mr. Candidate. Chris is even there with us. I forgot, <laughs> you see. You know, Mr. Chris is another bigger voice that is been with, that have been with us for years on this platform. So, yeah, you are part of the people that I'm calling Oga Chris. And many others that I did not mention your name as long as you're from Edo State. Uh, this is the opportunity for you guys to choose the right candidate because for me i don't too get headache for not complain and my own complaint is also giving me headache as well so let us choose wisely listen listen you are moderator i want you guys to understand that i've gi i've given the platform for you guys to promote your candidate that alone normally in other platform people are charging for it you can hear ibata already saying i need to feed my children i need to pay house rent i need to do this and many other touts you know those states are already fighting how they want to eat right now for me i'm not part of that and i've never charged anybody to do stuff like that on my platform so that alone is enough so moon i not ask me another question say who are the support i beg i beg i know i know ask you question i did my day i know ask you question by yeah. next week, I go declare for one candidate here. And uh, I go tell you why. Niger, 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 you ask let, me any let me ask. Let me ask a question, Nigeria. Uh, Niger, what is it that you want them to choose the candidate they perceive to be the least? Um, worse? No, no, no. There's nothing like least. We have three candidates to become. One of them must become a governor. You must choose. That's all. There's nothing like least or purple or. Yeah, but, but Madarita just said just now that she is not comfortable with any of them. And Gosh. then, the, then the, she don't. Then, she then you don't talk on it now. I said I am not comfortable yet. I said yet, yet, yes. yet. Anybody I am still that looking. In the next one month or so, because campaign will start soon. You are still not comfortable. They don't criticize any of them on this platform. It's most especially when you are from a do state. Okay, that's my right. Sense. to my fundamental right to criticize. Now, now you fight. You they fight for right now, B. Yeah, no, 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 see, no, see, no, do you know why it is important for me to speak? Because whatever I say, based on how I speak this candidate, Mother, it, will be, it will be, a, you know, come and bring your candidate. Let us know. See, the the issues on. are very clear. We have three candidates we have, uh, we have, uh, Aswe, we have, uh, the other one, and we have a pattern. See, uh, we, we look at these three candidates, I don't know why it is very difficult i cannot continue a pdp third tenure in a those states and apc by okay, virtue no campaign yet, Agbado, no campaign yet. It's, it's a no go go area for Agbado. so you okay, don't start to right. campaign no no campaign the, the no question campaign. the question i have is i have this question still what Quickly. if each of the candidates seem like uh, Agbado? And Shetima and uh, Aburi. Which one would you, you choose? Cannot, all of you them cannot are bad. assume yet. You cannot so assume. So Naja, I have answer to what I have answered to your question. The answer to your question is that I don't have right to choose anything for anybody on this. When on Peter Obi's phone, I work so hard. I got Chris. There's so much noise on your your what you are doing there. You know. Uh, in, in in Peter Obi's own, I work so hard to convince people. So. That was a very hectic job. You understand? That's what we are still doing today. Nobody paid me for this. Nobody, you know, privately yeah, or publicly. But, but the or was, it's because you saw that uh, the P2B was good for yeah. the role. Yeah, so that's how, what I'm saying. P2B didn't exist. You would choose no. Sokshawore. Is that it? But, no. but Peter, uh, no, I was already supporting P uh, uh, Sokshawore before Mr. Peter Obi moved to PDP. Okay, I see. Okay. Yes, Sokshawore so came Oscar. here. I show him on this platform. He spent three hours with us here that I'm with him. My platform and everything's with him. Niger Watch. It was when Niger Peter Watch. Obi decamped. That's when I changed my mind. So, but nevertheless, let's round up. Niger but Watch. Want... Yes, sir. No more bad government. Let everybody, Niger let everybody, wait now before you start singing your political song. <laughs> let everybody go and do his own due investigation. Everybody have a right to choose. And everybody have the right not to choose and be on the fence. But when we okay. are singing our own trumpet, don't 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 finish also. 
I want you or, to believe no, in no, that. No, 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 no. When the campaign starts, everybody can choose for themselves. That's not a problem. But the people that really have voice that I know on this platform, I've called you all out. I also called Alex out yesterday. You guys are... Uh, you, you, I don't mind you criticizing, but it will be much better once you've presented your candidate and start criticizing the remaining two. That will be better rather than criticizing criticizing three of them, and you want to stay on the fence. Then whatever that happened in those states, once one of them have emerged as a governor, if you come to this platform and complain, say this person demolish your house, or the other <laughs> one, or the other one carry your, or the other one. Uh, Run, carry, carry, your car. carry your money go dance for 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 strip club or the other one carry then I'll not remind you blow blow uh, 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 the cosy press will blow John I will try me blow blow again now 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 God now just watch uh, watch now watch oh is that the one that is teaching us this time we blow blow again don't 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 you know, you go to you go to alphabet B. He did that. You know, he did that. Thank you very much, my people. I appreciate you all. Let's round up right now. We'll continue from where we stop again tomorrow by 6 p.m. I really do appreciate every one of you, your effort that you all are putting in for us to have a better Nigeria in our time. It's something that one person can certainly not do. So let's continue to collectively put ourselves together to speak to our government to do the right thing. They are listening to us every blessed day. They are listening to us. So let's continue to put our efforts into it and do this together. I mean, God bless every one of you. Those of you that called into this show today, thank you very much. God bless you all. Those of you that came to the panel, I appreciate you. In fact, the people that are still right here with us, Ogaton, thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, Mr. Jonathan, thank you very much. Tunaja, thank you very much. Madarita, thank you very much. Oga Chris, thank you. Black Panther, thank you. Give us a mandate. Thank you. Uh, Oga CBD, Oga CM, and many others that came in that I cannot remember right now. Yeah, those of you that supported the channel, I'd like to quickly appreciate you as well. Adelaja Ogobiye, thank you very much. Jekyll Obedient, Jaja, Amazing Grace USA, thank you very much. And then Jay Iken, thank you very much. May God bless you all. May pocket never run dry. Then on the comment section, Mother of Omomi Diaspora, thank you very much, Mommy, for all you do. I appreciate you always, always, always. Madam Irene's Finance, thank you very much for all you do. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. Abu Azi, thank you very much, sir. I appreciate you always. Martina Oba C TV, thank you very much, Madam. I appreciate you. Thank you very much, Oga Chris. You are right there as well. Madam Origin, we can see you right there on the comment section. God bless you. Peggy Modi, thank you very much. Appreciate you, my people. Thank you, Madam my Bright. I can see you right there. Talk about oh, I can see you as well. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Africa is right there with us. Peg Modi is with us. Mazin Priest, thank you very much. Mazin Priest, you said uh, you schooled in those state and all that, so you have right to choose yours. Yes, certainly. We'll be looking forward to hearing from every one of you when it gets to the time of campaign. Uh, everybody have rights to their freedom of uh, 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 choice. So when it gets to that time, yes, you can, you know, Come here, tell us who you're supporting, but don't feel so bad when people are lambasting on your candidates. So, because you know, this time you remember for Peter will be own, we don't give any single room key for anybody to come here to lambast Peter will be. So he was locked on on obedient only. So that if you shouldn't check him throughout the campaign. Nobody was able to come to this platform to, to lambast on OB because I locked the key. But this one. The door will be open. The window will be open. The backyard door will be open. The frontage, the gate, everything will be open. Anybody can do whatever you like. So it's going to be buzz, 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 and balabu. May God bless every one of you. And yeah, now we draw the curtain. Take care, my people. Have a good night. I'll see you guys again tomorrow by 6 p.m. Remember that we're going to be streaming live here with Peter Obi. So everybody that is coming in, you can come on time so that we can take all of them together. Listen to what Mr. Peter Obi will be saying. Jot everything down. Then we start discussion from there. So we are also going to do our best to take at least four, according to the, what they promised me, about four uh, um, uh, questions from here, you know, that we're going to be passing to Mr. Peter Obi. So let's do this together, my people, tomorrow. My God, God bless you now. Good night and bye for now. No more bad government in Nigeria. By that word, the only media have been, that have been consistent speaking against the bad government and for the purpose for reformers. My that word, yo!